What up, dudes? Welcome to the stream. How we how we all doing, boys? Welcome back. Oh, time to get Scrooge in the in the Nuchin, lads. I have no idea how this is gonna go. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've already polished off all the easy classes. <laughs> we did Paladin. We did Paladin first. Then we did the cheesy, 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 cheesy Amazon. And then Assassin. And we're running out. <laughs> we're running out of the super easy classes. So from here on out, they're just going to get progressively more difficult. But I thought we could start with Druid. Um, I just want to quickly set up a little um, timer look sort of thing. So you can see um, just how slow I am. Okay, stopwatch, beautiful, oh there it is, oh it's there, oh sick, bro, technology wizard over here, hell yeah dog, what up Omac, how's it going man, we got Fred in here, Andrew, Marta of course, Steven, Alberto, uh, when's another mile per ring video, it's your favourite so far, oh bro, Marta, <laughs> Dude, thank you so much, man. Thanks for starting early. Oh, thank you so much for your generosity, dude. It was actually, I would love to say it was just, it was just for you so you could watch more. But I gotta come clean, Marta. I gotta come clean, man. It was just an accident. I um, It's early in the morning for me. So I'm, I'm still waking up. Yeah, but thank you so much, man. That's insanely generous of you, dude. Especially since you can't hang around for the whole thing because you, you you've got a real job. A big boy job, you'll take it. <laughs> Sorry. My guilt would have eaten me alive, dog. Yeah. Alright. Let's, um... Let's go, shall we? Let's go. It's noon, you schmuck. I know, I know, but I'm a degenerate streamer, Pally. I'm a degenerate streamer. Time is different for me. Uh... Scrooge, obviously. And we'll get the timer going, I guess. Beautiful. Yeah, as far as running goes, like, I've been running lots recently. I've just started getting back into it um, last week, which is good because over the weekend, one of my old professors called me fat. And I was like, oh, ouch. <laughs> he's, he's nice, though. We got that sort of relationship. Yeah. And then he offered me a job, so I was kind of like, all right, I forgive you. I forgive you. Yeah. A proxy member for two months. Good luck, Schmuck. Thank you, man. We're really going to need it. We're, we're honestly going to need it with this one. And Alberto, good luck as well. Thank you guys so much. So really big hits that we want to get is an Umrun for Duress and a Lemrun for Treachery. Would be so massive. And we'll have to decide how bold we're feeling if we, like, go in without one of those hopefully we have at least one of those um but yeah i think we'll, we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it yeah thank you guys so much and uh marta for the, he's just so generous man thank you thank you so much again oh <laughs> god damn it marta <laughs> hey fatty go for a run <laughs> since you're fat at all yeah i was like i didn't think i looked that bad oh my god <laughs> john clock upgrade fund yeah i mean i've thought about getting the official like speed run clock but the reason why i don't want to do that is because then um because then people might think it's a speed run you know what i mean and that's not the object of the exercise this is just to do it that's the mission it's not to do it fast it's just to do it yeah thank you guys so much yeah, yeah i ran for um 90 minutes yesterday like super slowly and i did have a couple of little breaks in there but i'm really happy with that like kind of like getting back on the wagon yeah because i want to run 100ks like do a 100k run next next um next year so you guys can just indirectly track my progress with that by me waffling on about it <clears throat> god schmuck no speed yeah we got that schmuck speed, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Two minutes in, John, and we haven't even left uh, town yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> on a world record pace here. 
So as usual, we got, uh, I cleaned out the stash for us. And should we just get a rolling bros? I'm going to crank it up to players eight because we are single player strats right now. What's up, Tom? Good morning, man. All right. Ooh, a lot. Ooh. Get that cash money. So again, like usual, cash is going to be so important because we're really going to want to tally a lot, especially Especially for farming those pesky little keys, you know what I mean? My friend, is Diablo 4 dead in the water? Ah, uh, I mean, like, people are still playing it and enjoying it, right? But if you look at the concurrent viewership on Twitch, that's not a good sign. <laughs> it's not a good sign. <laughs> but uh, I know that people are still playing it and enjoying it, but I think the masses are kind of like... They're a bit dunzo with it. <clears throat> but, you know, also, like, I am perpetually in an echo chamber. So, I don't know what people think about it in the real world. What's up, Juicy? Welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, it was like 600 concurrent views on Twitch. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's like three schmucks worth, <laughs> you know? Roxy, man, dude, thank you so much. What the hell is going on with you guys this morning? You guys are going nuts. Your wife's out of the hospital. Oh, that's so good to hear. And I said to donate as thanks to you for keeping her company while in there, schmuck. Oh, that's the, that's so good to hear. Uh, she's out of hospital, man. That's that's incredible news. Yeah, and so heartwarming that I could keep her. Um, it's a mild form of entertainment. Incredibly mild. Emphasis on the mild. Yeah. I'm so happy for you, man. Love the channel. Oh, thank you, dude. Thanks so much. I like our channel too. You know, if I don't say so myself. I, I probably, I, I definitely do need to upload more videos. <clears throat> but uh, that's the only, well, that's one of the big issues. Oh, that's that's a me issue. And carrion vine is just insane, isn't it? That's P8 Fallen's just melting them. Schmucky fans. <laughs> Only fans, baby. Only feet, excuse me. Excuse me. Um okay, let's go. I think we'll just get strength up to like 25 or 30 or something, just in case there's something we want to wear. But what will I wear? Sell that, and sell that, get a couple of those, that'll do, a new schmuck, what's the final builds we're going to Ubers with, okay, here's the loose plan, here's the loose plan, I have watched bits and bobs of Kano do this once before, so he did it in nine hours. And if you remember the um, the formula, like nine Kano hours or whatever Kano hours is, we could call it X or K. You just times that by, by 3.24 and then that's schmuck time. So him doing it in nine hours, that's a lot of schmuck hours. But I'm hoping we can do it in, in, in less than 18. Because we have been like slowly getting a bit more speedy. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go fire. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the YouTube link. We're going to go fire for up until hell and for getting some levels. And then we're going to go wind for keys. And then we're going to go, I'm thinking we go back to fire for nilly dilly. Oh, Marta, thank you so much, man. And then get all the miners in position with fire and then switch to wolf. So it'll be like, fire, wind, fire, wolf. As in werewolf. Yeah. Bro, right, thank you so much, Mater, again, man. And welcome aboard, five new members. One of us, Garrett. One of us. Alright, so let's go this now. 
Actually, we're pretty buff, so we could maybe even go P3 here. Beautiful. What's up, Jonathan? Welcome to the stream, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Marta, bro. <laughs> You're going insane, dude. Right. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. The stream's gone, been gone for 7 minutes and 52 seconds. Marta's gifted 25 sub subs. And 70 US dollars. Okay, that's let's put a cap on it now, Marta. But thank you so much, man. That's freaking insanely generous of you, bro. Especially knowing you have to um, go to bed soon anyway, so you, you know, can't hang around for too long. You can't be mild and mildly entertained for too long. But thank you so much, man. And then, <laughs> dude, <laughs> thank you, man. Honestly, thank you so much. Insa insanely generous. Real dollars? Yeah, freedom units. There's actually quite a significant difference between US and Australia nowadays. It's like 1.5. Yeah. So, thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. God damn it, bro. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And look at all these re recipients. Devin, Scooby-Doo, Ben got one. Hell yeah. I'm sure they're, they're super grateful too, man. The schmuck scription. <laughs> um, you're a nice guy, good content consistently. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks so much for saying that, dude. I try, I try and um, put out positivity, I guess. <laughs> doesn't always come across that way. I got a little bit salty last stream, but then I watched it back and I was like, wow, that was so much worse in my head, you know? <laughs> it was like so much worse in my head. <laughs> like I let, I let a couple of just, just like a couple of things just get under my skin. And then I was like, oh, I was like, you know, marinating on it for the whole stream and like thinking it was so much worse than it was. And I watched it back and I was like, oh, bro, it's fucking fine, dude. You know? It's like not a thing. <clears throat> it's 3 a.m. here. The good thing, Alberto, is we're going to be... We're in for the long haul, broski. We are going to be gone for... For 18 hours plus, probably. So... It might be 3 a.m. again. Who knows? 24 hours deep. Um, let's see. Keep it up, Schmucky Rock. Oh, thank you, Eric. Thank you, man. Yeah, I was wondering, okay, I might be getting a bit of ahead of ourselves here. But hypothetically, hypothetically, say we pull this off. I wonder who we're going to do next. Because <laughs> we tried with Sorceress those two times. And I failed miserably. But I think... We've, we've, like, gotten a lot better since then. But also, next hit delay changes have come in since then, which would make Bale a lot harder. Because he's a lot more brutal with the next hit delay changes. So, Sorceress is one we could try. I feel like I definitely need to do lots of practice with the Bale fight if we're going Source. But then I was wondering, like, oh, maybe Barb would be kind of fun. Because surely, in theory, we could do it with Barb. Like if we if we went a if we went a frenzy barb, and we had open wounds and crushing blow, and then we just kept smacking them in the face. Because knowing, because one of the really big things that that was kind of like stopping me from trying lots of classes with like all of Mephisto's minions, but if we just get really good at that Mephisto pull and then pop Cloak of Shadows with Nadir, then we could theoretically get Mep Mephisto on his own every single time. And that just means, like, the world is our oyster, you know? Smack him in the lem. Exactly. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. Are you doing Uber Solo Self Found? Yeah, we're going to do it with um, just stuff we found this stream. Yeah. So very Solo Self Found. Oh, Max Green. Hell yeah, dog. 
Yeah, you've probably got uh, Marta to thank for that. So thank you. Thank you once again to Marta. Yeah. Grab his lemon twist it. <laughs> the yoink and twist. Okay, let's sell that. Big money? No. Let's save that for a reroll. Five poison res can go. Two strength can go. That can stay. Okie dokie. So let's get our books online. And see if we can find some blue ones of these that are cheap for a reroll like that. And some cheapo two socket ones for a potential potential leaf base, but that's too that's too hefty. All right, that'll do. And then stock up on these little sap suckers. Beautiful. <clears throat> bang, 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 that's done. We'll go up to P8 again. It's gonna be a little bit sketch for a while. There we go. And then this can be our rejuvi page. <clears throat> Jacob, thank you so much, man. Cheers to you, dog. Dink. I'm looking into getting some new um or some more custom emojis, Jacob. And there may or may not be a mug of wine emoji featured in there. Unfortunately, this is just uh, a mug of coffee. Much to my dismay. <clears throat> Great. You know Kano found a Kuros in his run? Yes. Yeah. So in the one to Uber's run, the world record time where Kano, the absolute goat, who we we talk about quite a lot in this channel. That's because, you know, most of what I do is just copy Kano. He did it in just under nine hours. And in that run, he found a Kuros Guardian. So... <laughs> We're probably not going to find a Kira's Guardian. <laughs> but that's just insanely useful. <laughs> like, whopping, absolutely whopping all res. And can't be frozen on the helm. So, <laughs> really, the object of the exercise is just pulling this off somehow. But, uh, I think we can make it work. I think we can make it work. And at the end of the day, you know, we can just... We can just hunt down that that arm rune, which might make it a bit easier. I I don't think we go life tap one this time, just because we're going to be doing much less damage per hit when we're in wolf form compared to the compared to the assassin, where we hit like decently hard because you get the boot damage and um, and super fast. So we might do the switch between malice and black. We'll see. We'll see how adventurous we're feeling. Uh, let's just go five star. Can't say how I do love to see this stream. Oh, welcome, man. I love to see you guys here. Yep. Thank you for joining me on this, um, this fine morning slash evening slash, uh, slash afternoon. I should probably start being a little bit more speedy. Just to preserve brain cells for later on. Ribcracker, I feel you're gonna drop it. Yeah, Ribcracker, I don't know. Because Ribcracker is massive damage, right? I assume if we found one, we'd just use it. I don't, I honestly don't exactly know what's on Ribcracker. Like what, um, like what modifiers does it have? Like crushing blow, open wounds and that sort of stuff. I know that it's got like big damage. <clears throat> the thing with Ribcracker though, it's two-hander, right? So then my plan is to have a rhyme on offhand. So then we have can't be frozen on the offhand. Crushing blow, IAS, huge damage. True. I guess we could always put half on. And then you have the can't be frozen on, on the helm. 
Or I guess maybe we wouldn't use it for the whole time, but we'd use it for some situations. Like I think for the Andy fight, a rib cracker, rib cracker would be really nice. Like if you got if we got one hit with Malice, got the opens wound, wounds on, so then she wouldn't heal, and then swap to the rib, rib cracker just to smack her in the lamp, you know. Beautiful. Ooh. <clears throat> Hello. I'm gonna save this this one. And chuck that there. Attack rating, poison rose. Yeah, sure, chuck that on. Two decks. Don't mind if I do ski. Beautiful. All right, then we'll go there. Your computer just fried itself? Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> it's probably just got an auto shutdown protocol. If you give too many subs, it's like, we must be hacked, you know? <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> Shut it down. Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's okay though. The old cheeky restart fixes it. Okay, these enemies are kind of sketch in here. I think maybe we just keep rolling through that. We're P8 after all, so. You've had way more fun playing Diablo Immortal? Sweet. You spent $1 on Immortal and $100 on D4. Yeah, I played um, I played Diablo Immortal for th like three hours. I'm like, I enjoyed it fine. But uh, to me, it just, it just made me want to play D2. Yeah. So Diablo Immortal is actually kind of formative in, in me starting this channel. Sorry, the leaf blower. <clears throat> I thought it had stopped, but uh, it clearly has not stopped. I don't know how loud that is for you bros, but it's very loud for me. Hopefully there, uh, it won't go on for too much longer. The fourth restart got it back. Oh, thank the lord. Fourth time's a charm, just like I always say. You can't hear it yet? That's insane to me, because it's so loud. I did tinker with some mic settings like a like a couple of weeks ago, so. Like it it just picks up more stuff just like here. Not over there. Playing bl battle net at all? Yeah, heaps, man. I usually what I usually do is like at the start of a new season, I would like jump over to Battle.net and play the new season for a couple of months. And then when the season dies down, then I'll jump back to single player. Yeah. That's my... That's my pattern, normally. But these one to Uber's, Uber runs are just so much nicer on single player. Because you have the, the static map for farming the keys. And then being able to manip manipulate the player's ca command are just like... It's too good. It's too good. Uh, let's go here. This is a weird map. This is... Oh no, it's gonna be up there. Oh my god. It's gonna be over there to the right. This is probably gonna be dead end. But I'm committed now. Sorry, my brain's not firing. Unless... Speed runs ruined. <clears throat> yep. Oh well, at least we got some experience. Get out of here, buddy. And you guys saying hello to each other just honestly it warms my heart. You know? Gives such good com community vibes. 
Makes me so happy. Yeah, it's over this way. Strange layout. It's not, it's not over this way. What the hell? Am I going insane here? Oh, it's up here. Oh, there's this little dugout here. Oh, my bad. My bad, bros. <laughs> Take me home to the place I belong. Nailed it. I still can't get over the fact that I had my my monitor on 6B FPS. Like everything still looks so so good now that I've cranked it up to 144. It every all the, the colors are so vibrant, they're so robust. It's just so beautiful to look at. Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that. Have a quick snoop. If we can get a leaf base. There we go. There it is. And then just like cheap blue ones that we can re-roll like that. That'll do. Had the assassin run go? It went well. Yeah, we got it the second time. Second time around. And it was pretty smooth. It was pretty smooth. We did get... Uh, we did get absolutely shotgunned by Mephisto once. Like he... We basically just caught all of his charge bolts and then just got blown up from full health. I went back and, and looked at it and I was like, was I being greedy? But uh, yeah, we're on full health and yeah, just ate all of the charge bolts. But I, th I still think it's possible we... I still think it's very possible we do that run on hardcore. We might just need to level a little bit more because we're like level 71 or 72. Like maybe get to... 75 or something and and I also didn't have capped lightning res which was probably a mistake because we had an option right at the end like do we gain I think it was it was either seven or nine more lightning res so go from 64 to 75 with Mephisto's conviction or gain 84 life from a belt and I chose the life, but I think that was probably the wrong decision. Yeah. But all, all in all, went, it went well. Yeah. And then we died to Diablo once, but that was just stupid. That was, that was me just being stupid. Classic. Oh, I should have got uh, Staminas. Damn. Let's get some. It'd be annoying. Not hardcore and you unless you live hardcore. <laughs> yeah. And the legend of the red. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You need to do it on hardcore for the lols. Yeah. I, I'm sure I will eventually. I'm sure we will eventually. But I was kind of really excited about doing this one. Because this, again, is very far out of my comfort zone. Which is a good place to be. You know? As far out of your comfort zone as one can be whilst playing a game that you've played off and on for 20 years. <laughs> whilst being very comfortable. Are these guys close? They're kind of close. Vinny, what are you doing, bro? Get in there. Get in the fray, man. Eee. There we go. Just need Vinny to behave. Hard leather. This is, this could be two socket. This could be the uh, stealth base. Ah, just one. Come on, Vin. Nice dog. Banning TP. <laughs> the safety TP. <laughs> it's all about marketing. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Let's chuck that on. Grab that, grab that. All right, so obviously we need, we need Black Marsh Waypoint. 
And then hopefully we can yoink that Eth rune and it won't take us 45 minutes. Like the past two times. Although, it's almost taken us 45 minutes to get there. The Fallout TP. <laughs> oh, Andrew, man. Thank you so much, dog. Uh, for a wonderful day and night, keeping my work night interesting. Barbie next, loving the Druid pick. Yeah, well, well, thank you so much, man. I was... I was saying at the start, like, oh, man, we're running out of the easy classes, Andrew. <laughs> it's going to get harder and harder from here on out. Um, but I was thinking, like, what's the reason why we couldn't do it as Bob? You know what I mean? Like, what's the reason why we couldn't do it as Bob? Like, Bob gets all of the nice masteries. You get Warcry. You get, like, the... You get, you get the natural resist. You get the stone skin. You've, you've got your boo. And, like... As, as long as we can pull off the Mephisto pull with Nadir, which is something we'll hopefully try and do here. Ooh, look at that. Because I've never... I might need to do some practice at that pull. But surely we'd be able to do it, right? It would just be super slow. But, you know, I'm down for the grind. I'm down for the grind. I think that's... I'm actually kind of excited by that idea, Andrew. So I think prob- Yes. Yeah, we'll do Bob next. We'll do Bob next. Or we'll attempt Bob next. As long as we pull this one off. You know? Don't wanna- Don't wanna count our chickens before they hatch. <clears throat> Even though it's- It's 17. We have 17 chickens. Uh, what's the least fun class and why is it Barbarian? Freaking attack rating. Two words. Two letters even. A-R. Oh, what? We have Fissure already? Oh my god. I have been flapping around like nobody's business. Holy smokes. Okay, let's put... We're already level 12, I can't believe that. Bang, 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 bang. And we'll do something like this. We just gotta remember to go back to P1 before we um before we move too far into Countess's room. Oh Andrew, dude, thank you so much, man. Idea for a Halloween special, fly to the USA, trash as a Barbie of, of Pally, real life boxing match with Llama dressed as Necro. Dude, you know how like, you know, YouTuber boxing is a thing? I would love to do that one day. I would love to do that. For, I would find that so fun, I think. Yeah, but, but you need to have a certain amount of kind of clout, I guess, to be to be considered for that sort of thing. So that's, that'll be huge. If one day we get, uh, we get popular enough to like be invited to do some sort of YouTube boxing match, I would be so unbelievably down for that, you know? Unbelievably down for it. I'd even do it for free. I'd beat up Llama for free. <laughs> that was a joke, that was a joke. <laughs> hey, we got the Ethroid first try. I like Llama for it, you know? Just to clarify. <clears throat> Don't want to accidentally start any beef. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> Clip it and ship it, baby. <laughs> Clip it and ship it. <clears throat> how it all be that's this is how it all begins. Three attack rating. Get recovery. <clears throat> the stew is cooking. <laughs> our tall Lamo. I, I, don't, I, I have got no idea. Ooh, 10 FCR. That's, that's going to be really nice for the telly later on. That's a really nice find. And getting the Earth first run is amazing as well. <laughs> G-Love versus Lama. <laughs> yeah, we can do bare knuckle. No G-Loves. Cooley. I feel like Cooley would be a little demon, you know? He would, uh, I feel like Cooley's most definitely been in some street fights. 
is Druid overpowered? Uh, nah, I don't think so. I think Druid's really good for PvP, right? But um, for PVM, definitely wouldn't say overpowered. Wait, let's finish off this little sap sucker. Cool, he needs to commentate. Yeah, he'd be good at that. Yeah. I feel like Sweet Phil would be deadly. He's kind of buff, right? <clears throat> I'd, I'd much prefer to fight Llama than Sweet Phil. He's got that dad strength. Lama's dad too. Oh, right. Yeah, Lama's new dad. Oh, no. I didn't think this through, man. I need a kid. I need a kid. That's the only... That's the only solution here, boys. It's the only way out. I need you for the strength. For the power. Have you guys seen Bucky? How he, like, um... What's his name? What's, it, what's the name? Yujiro? How he's basically the whole idea behind having his son was so he would get strong to challenge him. I love that show. I've only watched... I haven't watched the, the original though, like Bucky the Grappler. Forgive me for my sins. I've only watched the Netflix one. Come on, give me a towel. Rail is kind of nice. Rail will take. Because now we just need tier 4 leaf and then tal for stealth. <clears throat> Three feels gonna hit you so far and you'll get cavities. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's like really strong. But, um. I just see red, bro. You know? I'm 260. Uh, okay, let's get Vitality. Got this guy going. Drop to plays A. Nice one, Bradley. Thank you, Bally. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> none of you bros would know this. <laughs> none of you bros would know this. Because <laughs> you, like, all have lives and stuff. You're not terminally online. But thank thankfully... I could count on, on Pally being a uh, terminally online degenerate like me. My oh, man. Will you show me your biceps? That'll be 10 bucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. Because Marta would actually do it. <laughs> You're connected to the internet by IV trip. <laughs> it didn't even flex. So I gotta save that for the for the OnlyFans page. When 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 we find something good, then then I might involuntarily pop a flex motto. When we find that Amarun. But doing it on command is just like, it feels weird. <laughs> Giving you five since you didn't flex. <laughs> oh, thank you, dude. Been unbelievably generous already this stream. I, I shouldn't have made that joke with you because I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> I, I knew you would do it. <clears throat> thank you, man. Yeah, if we found an Umrun, then that, that, that'd get a flex every day of the week. Druid can do Ubers since when? If you're good at the game, then uh, Druid can do Ubers. Now, whether or not I will be able to do Dru Ubers as Druid is, uh, remains to be seen. Ellen and Ithru. Wow. Ithru's got to be the highest that Countess can drop from here. Surely, right? Smokes. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if uh, a schmuck like me can pull it off, Josh. Yeah, but I, I the mainly we just need... The main things we need are we need 
a source of crushing blow and open wounds. We need good resistances so we can survive for a little bit. And we need to be able to isolate all of the Ubers. Um, so with the minor Ubers, it's, it's not too hard because we can lure Izzy back to the red portal. Uh, Duriel's normally just there, but if he's not, then that could get a little bit sketch. And with Andariel, hopefully we could lure her back to the red portal. Um, but we might just need to clear out a little bit of space to fight her in. We'll see what the map is. With Mephisto, we're going to kind of try and do a, a, the same pull as with the Assassin. So kind of get him to summon his minions, walk them behind a, a house, and then pop Cloak of Shadows, and then run back to the red portal. And then with Bale and Diablo, we'll, we'll try and trap them in a house. <clears throat> yeah. So the Mephisto pull and Andariel as well will be the most sketch. Always be cheesing, exactly. <laughs> Remember your ABCs. Matt dropping into lurk mode. Hell yeah, dude. Have a great stream. Thanks, man. Yeah. Hope, have a, um, have a great shift, I assume. Hopefully your your drive goes smoothly today. Ooh, Chip Ruby. So one thing we really want, as per usual, is we want one of every P gem, so we can make a prismatic amulet that gives us all res. And then ideally we want a bonus couple of perfect rubies, so we can craft some blood gloves, which give us five to ten percent crushing blow. So hopefully we get multiple rerolls on that. But can't bank on it. You better not find another pile. <laughs> you're banned from Countess. <laughs> yeah, you're running out of letters, man. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully we don't find another pile, we just find a natty arm. I still can't believe how unlucky we got both of the last times. Oh, no. She is going to be P8. We might not be able to do... Oh, we're 14. It should be fine. That fire enchant is pretty brutal. That's fine. Tear towel. Ooh! Ethrel. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now we have the leaf stuff. <clears throat> but we'll keep going until we get the stealth stuff. Alright. It's Ral tier, yeah? Oh my god. I, always, I can never f remember these. Leaf D2R. I just... They're, they're just muddled up in my head, you know? I second guess, guess myself. Uh, Tyrell! 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 <laughs> Tyrell! Oh, yikes. That's gonna sell for a lot, surely. Put chippies here. If we got a two socket armor, yes, ringmail. I think we we probably get speed penalty for ringmail, right? So maybe we don't get that one. But I don't actually know which ones you do and don't get speed penalties for. That is something I learned recently. A little bit embarrassingly how recently I learned that. Gonna keep Kano's VOD open just to compare pace. Oh, don't do that to me, Pally. Don't do me like that. I think at level, like, 19 minutes in, he had his stealth already and was out of Act 1. 19 minutes in. Insane. He's a beast. It's nuts. It's nuts. Yeah, he's so good. And the, th the thing that's so impressive 
I mean, there's lots that is impressive, but he's like doing a world record speed run, but he's also like reading chat and talking to people at the same time. Like, can you imagine that? Just like, he's not even, he doesn't even have his full attention there. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's like looking off, off screen to read chat. <laughs> That's just so, so impressive. His new vid was nut nutty. What what was the new newest one? Oh, she might have already spawned in. It's gonna be tight. It's like two screens away that they spawn in. I think that's P1. Yeah. Oh no, we don't want Tyr anymore. We want Tal. Although, what comes before Tal, boys? Do you guys know off the top of your head? Because we could cube up three of a kind once we get cube. Uh, depending on what's before Tal, I don't actually know on, on the top of my head. There. It's Ith. Oh really? Oh, damn. I thought Ith was higher. We only have one Ith. Okay, it's Ith. I thought Ith was, was higher. That's my bad. Mike Tyson Ith. <laughs> I broke my back. <laughs> Spinal. <laughs> oh, classic comedy. It's it, okay. Yep. Well, at least we're getting good levels. Spinal, <laughs> yeah. Interwoven gonna trust the matches. Hey, that's what I always do. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> Spinal. Um, you're gonna rock one build all the way through or reroute a few times. Yeah, so my loose plan is fire, like fissure, up until act two hell. Oh my god. And then go to wind for the countess runs and the summoner runs. And then wind until we get into act five because you can deal with all immunities as wind like getting through chaos and then go back to fissure for nil attack keys which should work out okay i think i've never actually done it before though and then go to werewolf for ubers <clears throat> so that'll use all respects that's my loose plan that's a little bit different to how um in how Kano did it in his nine hour time. I think he stayed as wind for the Neil Effect keys as well. But for me, I think it'll be a bit easier to do it as Fissure. Because you can just like pop a Fissure and chillax. And then if he's fire immune, just like re-roll. Re yeah. Fissure early game so OP. It's insane, isn't it? Yeah, it's insane. It was already insane. And then it got even better. Excited for the ladder reset? Absolutely, man. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really um, stoked for it. So it's 28th, yeah. So that means we'll we'll have a week of Project Diablo 2, and then we'll jump over and do the um, the D2R ladder reset. So we're we're spoiled over here, basically. He's just so good. It's nuts. It's it's so insane. Like these are P8 enemies. I mean, we are level 16 in the in the normal Forgotten Tower, but still.
did Fissure get a buff? The, um... Well, they changed the way next hit delay works. So... It inadvertently got a buff, yeah. Yeah, I believe so. With the next hit delay changes. Eld. Oh, come on, dude. <clears throat> I remember there was a time when I got, like, Tal F on the first run. Or, like, the first two runs. Like, three or four times in a row. And I was like, oh, this is so easy. But the past three times has been, like, so stinge. Like, unbelievably stinge. Two socket. Nope. Yuri Ungano, what do you think about Strickland Adesanya? Oh, bro, I love Strickland now. <laughs> I'm such a Strickland fanboy now. I think he's so refreshing and kind of funny, you know? And he just, sometimes he says some stuff and you're just like, whoa, <laughs> he actually said that, <laughs> you know? I love Strickland now. Yeah, I am so converted. Before, I was like, kind of like, you know, a bit whatever on him. Or like, man, this guy is a bit of a wannabe. But now that he's champion, I just love him so much more. Because he's, he's so down to earth. Um... And, I mean, I think Fury just absolutely dominates Inganu, right? Just picks him apart. Like, obviously, Inganu can knock anybody out with one punch. Like, one good punch, and that's that's a wrap. But it's like... It's boxing, you know? I, fe I feel like Fury just pieces him apart. It's it's a different sport. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm, I'm very happy Inganu's getting his payday. You know what I mean? Like, a whopping payday. Because if you've heard that man talk about, like, how he, how he got to the States, it's, like, so gnarly. It's, like, so... It's, like, such a cool story. <clears throat> I saw Strickland talk about Bradley Martin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because his, um... I think they're friends, like, that Nina chick. Who's, like, into interviewing everybody. Yeah, I was asking people about that, right? Tier F. Oh my god. She's hot. She's so attractive. I know. <laughs> She's incredibly attractive. Um, but she, I, 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 beyond that, I like her, you know? I think she's got good energy. You just want to see Dylan Dennis, KO, Logan Paul? Yeah, when's that happening? That's That's been getting spicy as well, hasn't it? Okay, leather we can do. I think that works fine. What happened to playing PoE? I, um, I just felt like jumping back to, to D2R, man. Yeah. I am going to bounce around and play, play more varied games in the future. But there's a bit happening in D2R at the minute. So sorry if you um you only like the the PoE stuff. I kind of yeeted on out of it without much warning. Probably could have done that a bit better. <clears throat> you got running the prelims this week? Oh, freaking GWS dog! The orange tsunami. I did not think they would beat uh, beat Port. I think uh, Carlton got incredibly lucky. <laughs> like Max gone. Max gone, absolute MVP for Carlton. Missed two sitters and then touched a certain goal on the line for his own team. I was like, oh, Maxi, Maxi, what have you done? So I think Collingwood beat Carlton. Um, ooh, Cold Rest 7, nice. And then with Poison on it as well, that could be useful. And then it's GWS Brisbane. 
Uh, I I know it's boring, but I think I think just the favorites win those. Brisbane. I mean, GWS. Admittedly, I, I didn't actually watch that game. I was all set up to watch it, and then like some friends from uni messaged me, and they're like, "Hey, do you want to catch up?" And I was like, "Yes." Yeah. So I actually haven't watched a GWS game yet. But I watched like the first five minutes. Carlton's vs Brisbane? Oh, it, oh, right, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, 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 because it switches. Oh, come on now. Yeah, because on the... On the, um... On, like, the layout, it, they, they cross over. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Um, so I think Collingwood wins, and I think Brisbane wins. Yeah. Yeah. More confidently now. I feel like Brisbane GWS would have been a better, a more close game. Yeah, I think Brisbane's going to absolutely roll Carlton. Like, absolutely roll them. I, lo I love that Carlton made it this far, though. Like, that makes me really happy. Yeah, that's, that, that, that game's going to be a shellacking, I think. Is Brisbane a new hero class? <laughs> yeah, season five. <laughs> new class, surprise. Been a while since you checked in. Hey, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, welcome. Lovely having you here. Are oh, you going, you're going to GWS Pies? Oh man, that'd be such a good game. I, honestly, like I don't go for anyone, right? I'm, I have no allegiances, but just watching, watching Collingwood games is, as a completely unbiased person, is so fun, man. The energy that the Collingwood fans bring is just electric. Honestly, they're so loud. It's the best. I don't know if I'd like to be there, cause like, <laughs> I'm a bit of like. I'm a bit of a baby where like when I'm at the movies, like movies are always way too loud for me. I'm like, <sniffs> but uh, watching it at home, like on my laptop and like you can hear the crowd and the commentators are like screaming. It's like the best energy, man. Like a Collingwood Carlton final would be so, so cool. I just, there's no way, no way. Oh, 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 okay. We could cube up ifs now. We do need at least one if, but we'll get we'll get more later on. Yeah, there's no way Carlton gets over Brisbane. No way, man. No way. But uh, happy to eat my words later on. We'll see. We'll see if they make a schmuck out of me. All right, we did it. <clears throat> we don't need. I think it's Thal runes that you start needing chips for. So we could just cube, cube up three ifs to a um a towel for freebies. I'm I'm pretty sure. All right, on the road again. You went to 2017 GWS versus Tiggs prelim. Amazing. Wait, they, that's the year where they fought, where they fought each other again. Where they, they were both in the grand final that year as well, right? Is that the year? 2017? Hit the like button, guys. Thanks, Corey. Yeah, please do consider dropping a like if you're um if you're mildly entertained. Really helps out. Oh, it's Tiggs Adelaide, right? Was it 2019? Was Tiggs GWS in the final? Like the grand, the granny? Oh, we got another one of those. Two thousand nineteen, yeah. That was not a good grand final, hey. Wait, oh, it's probably up here, hey. That was like so one sided. Didn't they win by like forty, fifty points or something? Hmm. 
<laughs> One by about 80, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Are you not entertained? Is that not what you came here to see? Imagine if I just whipped out a, a sword. I should do that one day. Just have a sword ready to go. Is Perth a cool place to live? I have no idea. Yeah, I've never... I've never lived there myself. I do have a friend from uni who lives in Perth. And her Instagram stories are always beautiful beaches. Yeah, and beautiful people. So, there's that. But uh, I haven't lived there myself. So I think it'd be cool. Yep. Patrick, member for five months, up the Waz. I don't know who Waz are. Is that some lingo that I don't know about? The Waz? Thanks so much for being a member for five months though, dog. I really appreciate it. You're so close to your East rune. We can buy you a sword plushie for this exact moment. Bros, you guys have already been freaking insanely generous this team, this dream. I could buy 10 sword plushies. Yeah. In fact, I might now. Uh, I kind of want Malice. Cool to get Malice just to um, imbue some boots or something. Ho hopefully we can get Run Walk. Oh, it's an NRL thing? True. I'm... I got no idea with NRL stuff. Yeah. I'm from Victoria. <laughs> so it's just like... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Obviously, there are lots of people in Victoria that like it too, but... <laughs> Buy one and, and save the rest for licorice and meat sticks, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the licorice, the, uh, the licorice supplies are doing well. I did tuck into them. Um, yesterday after I got back from this long run. But the salami levels are concerningly low for only an hour into the stream. But uh, we'll make it through. We'll overcome. I just gotta be a bit more sparing with it. Helping Storm made into the finals too. Hell yeah, man. I love NRL. I'm a big N NRL buff. A fair weather supporter. Heavy boots. We could use that to imbue. Mother's energy drink. Yeah, we got mother's milk over here. We got a coffee. Apparently, you're not meant to drink caffeine like first thing. You want to wait a couple of hours. And then, like, get the caffeine going. And then you won't crash as much. But... I'm not good at listening to advice. What GPU do I have? I have a, um... NVIDIA 3080. Yeah. Did I say that right? See if we can get a couple more re-rollers here. A thousand doubloons is kind of expensive, but let's do it. <clears throat> you watching Rogan? Uh, as in Joe Rogan? I watch, the way I consume Joe Rogan is like, I just watch little clips that pop up on my YouTube. You know? Just like little seven minute clips of like him talking to someone. Like I don't like listen to the full podcast. Hit recovery, lightning res, poison res. That's a lot of lightning res. 28, that goes up to 40. No run walk, but I guess we keep. Yeah, obviously we keep. <laughs> Not gonna freaking sell them. <laughs> the bear expert. Oh my god, what have I done? 
Yeah, like on every Joe Rogan shorts, like the top comment is always like, hey, Jamie, pull up that clip of a bear and then it's like, whatever's in the short, you know? It's so formulaic. Uh, let's see here. Do you play ladder or do you play solo? I play both. Yeah, I play both. Yeah, really excited for the new for the new ladder or just the, the ladder reset in what is it like two weeks now or something? Um, but with these one to Ubers things I don't I've always done them on, on single player. Hey Jamie Bond, that glimpse of regular schmuck playing druid. <laughs> yeah, regular schmuck playing Werebear. Pull up that clip of uh, Werebear mauling Ubers. 11 days. But who's counting, hey? Who's counting? All of us. Just found a monarch of deflecting. If I lasik it, would you get four open sockets? I don't believe so. Yeah, I think you have to find it with the jeweler's mod on there, which will give you four. Now, Lazik wouldn't give you four, I don't think. Yeah. But so close, man. Halfway there. <laughs> Halfway there. You, you get two max. Yeah, it's one to two on magic, right? Yeah. Building a J mod, yeah. Honestly, because it's so rare, even to get the deflecting, I get excited. Like, oh, what could have been? Uh, so level three, we just want to fang it left. What's up, Cheesy Wheezy? Um, did you just start the stream? We've been going for an hour and five minutes. Yeah. So, based on our, our locale, you might assume that we just started. But uh, we've been going slow. We've been going slow. We didn't have too much luck at Countess, you know. She was a bit of a, she was a bit of a, a stinge with us. And I've been killing lots of enemies when we really probably should just run past, past more, and make up the levels later on. Uh, you know. I'm no Kano. <clears throat> oh, maybe I am actually. Quick level one. I'll be here watching you slice those demons. <laughs> we are going to plunge the demons into the central core of the earth. Crack the, crack the ground beneath their feet. Beneath their talons. Pulse burn the impaler, that's such a good name. Take me home. Oh my god, I've got country road stuck in my head and oh my's not even here. Oh, we're in trouble, boys. Country road stuck in the head this early on to, in the stream does not bode well. Does not bode well for you guys that have to listen to my, um, my BS. You should do a Geed's Gauntlet with a bunch of, uh, gold fine barbs. Rushing to gamble, excess. Okay, firstly, it's pronounced Jeed. <laughs> no, I've never heard of that dog. Geed's gauntlet. So wait, you just get heaps of gold fine barbs, and then you just, then you just gamble lots? Because that does sound right up my alley. You know, you had me at gambling. I am a gambling man, after all. Gambling. <laughs> gambling with Jeed. Oh, surely it's just you to the right. 
surely. Yeah, nice. Druid, I know, Nimble, we're running out of the easy classes, dog. <laughs> we're running out. <laughs> We've done Pally, Amazon, and now Assassin. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> Crap. <laughs> We're getting into into the danger zone. Yep. When did you do Pally? Pally was the very first one. Yeah, it was in April. Yeah, we did Pally Softcore and then we did Pally Hardcore. And then we... And then I failed as Sorceress twice in a row. Man, that was brutal. But... It'd be nice to be able to pull off the Sorceress one. It's just that bail fight was just... I just couldn't do it because it, I was... It, was, it took so long to get there. And then I just needed to practice doing that bail fight. But I don't know if you could even... I'm sure you could still do it. It'll just be a bit harder with the next hit delay changes. Heavy boots... And a Nali Staff. Wait, run walk. Hit recovery. Oh. That could have been so good. And then Nali Staff is nice. Alright, cool. I think we just do that. Still still good more good stuff there, but let's just leave it. Hey Libra, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> What are you doing, dog? Liberal just brought a house, so he's not allowed to um, super chat. But thank you so much, man. That's 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 really generous of you, dude. Thank you so much. We traveled. But save that, <laughs> save that for your mortgage, dog. <laughs> what are you doing, Broski? <laughs> what are you doing, Liberal Chad coming in? Yeah, the silent assassin. Thank you so much, dude. Um, all right, I think we save these, this one to sell later. And then we can add these to gem page. I don't think we really need floors. Oh, we could probably chuck on leaf too. Yeah, we could. Level 19. Put it there. Nice. I think in here we'll just go down to P3. Just because sometimes enemies in here can be a bit sketch. You love the content greetings from ARG? Oh, thanks, man. I'm so glad you enjoy it. Yeah. Greetings from um, AUS, from Australia. To the blue, I'm alone. I wonder if timing him out stops the donos coming in. <laughs> Let's just ban him, Pally. That'll stop it. <laughs> yeah, if liberal, if liberal donates one more time this stream, then perma ban. I think that's fair. <clears throat> I think that's the only solution here. Man, if someone wanted to, oh man, they could just take me out of context so hard, liberal bro. Burma <laughs> <Bama> ban. <laughs> Thank you, dog. I was tempted to actually time him out, but then I was like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Too far, schmuck. Too far. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Oh, 
What's up, Lucky? Welcome to the stream. We're just getting go get, getting going over here, Luck. So we're level 19, uh, which means that we could just put our leaf on, which is pretty nice. So we get plus three to our fire skills. And once we get the cube, then we can cube up some runes to make a stealth. We, we didn't we didn't manage to yoink the Tal rune. Oh, whoopsie daisies. <laughs> Scrooged in thine nooch. Just got me. Is there anything we need here? I guess Oak Sage would be kind of nice. Just wanted to Oak Sage. Yeah, why don't we just do that? In light of recent events. And... All right, bang, bang. Let's get rolling. <laughs> nice, I know what I'm doing all night, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could probably make a druid and then catch up to me, Lucky, because we'd be going pretty slowly. Yeah, if you wanted to play alongside. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. <laughs> what a time save. I don't know how to read the map in this area, so finding stuff like that is just delightful. May I ask what the plan for the uber fights is? Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, of course. So, essentially, we're just going to go into Werewolf. And... We're just going to smack him in the face. Yeah, basically. And hopefully get off open wounds so they don't, they don't heal. And take their health down a lot with Crushing Blow. Yeah, but for a lot of them, it's we might have to be incredibly cheesy. You know, really mix it up a bit. That goddamn leaf blower, I swear to God. I'm streaming here, man. Um, incredibly cheesy and like get a couple of hits in and then go back and heal at Marlo and then like get a couple more hits in. Um, so it's going to be... It's going to be fiddly and it's going to be cheesy. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to do it. I've never actually done it on Druid before. So we'll see. I'm walking here. Yeah. <laughs> because like I don't think this time around we'll go life tap. When we went assassin we got the life tap wand right. And we could actually heal a pretty decent amount with life tap. But I think our DPS is just going to be so low that the life tap probably wouldn't be worth. Because we'll have to, to get the life tap off, we have to like get out of wolf form and then get back into wolf form, you know. Like it'll just be a bit, it'll just be a bit of a mess. Sounds cool, good luck. Thank you, man. We're going to need the luck. We're going to need the luck big time. Oh, nice. Here we go. You're off early, Proxy? Hell yeah, man. Kick the feet up. Crack open a brewski. How good is that? That crack when you just open a can of something? Ah, it's such a satisfying feeling. I bet they know it too. I bet that's by design. Probably fissure more. What's up, Nicholas? Welcome to the stream, man. I'm um, again for duress. Hopefully. Hopefully we find an arm for duress. If we don't, it would suck. But I think maybe we'll see how we're feeling when we get there. Maybe we go in with without a duress if we don't have it. 
because because we won't have the life tap wand on switch which means that it's it would be less annoying for a schmuck like me to swap between like for example like a malice on on one side to get the open wounds and then something like a black on offhand to get more crushing blow but having an arm would be really nice we basically want either a treachery or a duress i mean we really want that treachery man we really want that fade proc so hopefully we get both but we'll see i think honestly we've been pretty unlucky with with runes the past two runs so i i honestly i think it's more likely than unlikely an arm or at least get very close to an arm like from your two forges and from the the, the key runs and we're about to you for it we're about to you for it that's the way that numbers work right Retry and duress is the win yeah I think, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we probably just try and get both of them. Because I've never done it as Druid before, so we really want to tilt all available odds in our favor. We'll see. This is kind of annoying me here. I think we go something like this. Uber's five will cost you an arm and a leg. <laughs> nice. Cost me some emotional damage. That first assassin one cost me some emotional damage. That did not go as smoothly as I planned. In fact, it didn't go at all. I wonder if it could be over there. How do you get back into Diablo 2 after a break? Any fun build recommendations? Oh, fun build recommendations. I mean, I guess it depends which builds you've tried previously, but honestly, Fire Druid is pretty fun. I also like... I mean, it's hella generic, right? It's not going to be anything new, probably, if you've played a good chunk of Diablo, but I find Javazon just so fun. And how to get back in? I just, I guess you just got to fire it up, man. And then it'll win you over. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything specific. Just let it work its magic. Just start blasting. Exactly, Owen. Exactly. It'll sink its hooks into you in no time. Take 10 energy. The lightning res. Hopefully we find another. Oh, I really like this charm. Hopefully we can get more like that. I guess we could cube these. Or like three of a kind. But I'm just going to sell. Cash is important. John, man. John with the 10 gifted. Dude, thank you so much. You've been really generous this stream. Again, again, again. Thank you so much, man. John coming in hot in classic, uh, cl classic Darth Maul fashion. Thank you so much, man. Donated 50 freedom units earlier and now just wheeling and dealing out memberships. Thank you, dog. What a great community member to go, John. Yeah, John has been a really long time supporter of the channel. Alright, 
we didn't get waypoint, but we're close. We can just stroll. <clears throat> All right. What did I miss here? Yeah, shout out to your um to Proxy and, and, and Proxy's wife. Yeah. Really really rooting for you guys. Yep. What's the advantage of buying potions with classic D2 skin? So to buy potions like speedily, you kind of left clicked it, left click it, and then press enter to hit the confirm button. Because if you just right click it, then it's kind of slow. And you can do you can do that in in the D2R graphics, but the kind of once you left click it, the yes doesn't always align. So your cursor's not always automatically over the yes for you to slam enter. But on the old graphics, it always aligns. And customo. <laughs> customo with 20 gifted memberships. Thank you so much, man. Holy smokes, dude. Thank you so much. God damn, bros. Believe me, lost for words over here. And I'm never lost for words. I've always got something to say. Thank you so much, man. Going nuts? Yeah, you guys have been insane today. Honestly insane. Thank you so much, Customo. All green, yeah. The green army. Yeah. The green army. Tidal wave. Yes, Juicy knows what's up. <laughs> Great goblins, baby. And goblins gotta be one of my favorite words in the English language. Come into the fire. Yes. Glad Carlton sm smacked Melvin. Oh, Gustavo made. <laughs> I mean, they won. They certainly won. I don't know if I call that a, a, a smacking, though. <laughs> we were just talking about how Maxi Gold was the most valuable player for Carlton. <laughs> Missed two absolute sitters and then touched Clary's goal on the line. I was like, oh no, Max, what have you done, mate? <sighs> I felt so bad for him. But it, it's, it, it's more exciting, Carlton winning, for sure, right? It's way more exciting. And my dad goes for Carlton, so... Very happy for him. Happy that he didn't get let down for once. <clears throat> the theatrics. The theatrics of it all. And then Akers, like, almost missed that goal in front. Like, he didn't do the set shot. He just, like, booted it in, but, like, almost hit the post. Oh, can you imagine if he missed that? Did you already give up on Project Diablo 2? Dog, there's a new season in, uh, on the 22nd. Yeah, just gonna come back to it on the new season. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. All right, let's see what we got here. Strength. Fissure. Cranked it down to P1 here. Oh, we're probably going to be over. Well, we'll see. Because we want to be... Ideally, we wouldn't be 24 going into Act 3, just to make it a bit easier to shop for that telly stuff. But we probably won't be, actually. We'll probably be bang on 23. 
Can't wait for the new season. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to get back into it. I'm thinking play, starting with um, Rabies Druid. A build that I have never played in D2R. That was a glorious maggot. Oh boy. That was a really good maggot. Look at that. Look how short level 3 is. That's the shortest level 3 I've ever seen in my life. Wow. And this, level 2, just neatly to the right where it should be. This is honestly the best maggot level I've ever seen spawn. This one, oh, we had to walk an extra hallway. Oh, thank you so much, Customo. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be here, dog. All right, beautiful. Been watching all of your D2R YouTubes. Great content, glad I can see it live. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed it, man. Welcome to the live stream. Yeah, this is where I do, uh, this is where I do my best work. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not the truth. How much is Schmuck making from this now? Whoa, the old risky financial questions, hey? What a minefield. It's super RNG how much you make off, um, off YouTube slash streaming because it depends on lots of things. Like it depends on how many people watch. It depends on, you know, how many people become channel members or donate on live streams and stuff. So it's, it's the opposite of a stable income, but I would earn about probably on average, like 55,000 Australian dollars a year. <clears throat> yeah. Which is a, a truckload of money for playing, uh, for playing video games, you know, and making YouTube videos, but it's also, it's super unstable, you know? That's legit. It's like working in sales. <laughs> yeah, I'm just selling myself instead. I'm selling my feet. <laughs> Honestly surprised you told him. Well, I mean... It's just... I'm not like... I'm pretty transparent about it. Yeah. But it is, it is dicey. It is a dicey thing to talk about. Because, you know... It's just a minefield. But you know, I could like fall off tomorrow and then, you know, make nothing. Selling yourself, we need to clip that. Yeah, add it to the list of things to clip. <laughs> yeah. Pete Pigs are probably out of my price range. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just from selling four P pigs. Yeah. Ten ten G's a pop. <clears throat> and then I have to pay taxes on that as well, so it's a bit less than that. But you know, that's a pretty bloody good income for uh, making YouTube videos, I'd say. I don't know if it's a um I don't know if I'm gonna do it forever though. We'll see. We'll see. Like one of my old professors just offered me a job on over the weekend. Like to work as a vet again and I have to I have to think about like if that's something that I want to do <clears throat> you know because I feel like if I don't get back in now then I just never will so I probably won't to be honest but we'll see just have to think about it Oh, that was quick, uh, quick claw viper. I didn't even see it. I was reading. Do it. I don't know if my heart's in it, dog. We'll see. Might move on and, and go do something else. Effort, nice. I don't think we have one of those yet. Yeah, he has bumper safety. <laughs> Bop. 
the safety. Oh, we could have made stealth for ages now. Whoops, I completely forgot about that. We wanted um, to cube up the ith runes, right? Bang, bang, bang. And it's Taleth, I'm sure. I'm sure it's Taleth. No! What? That's not the two socket armor! Oh no! Oh, what have I done? Oh no! Didn't we put two socket armor there? Oh! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Oh no. Oh my hubris. My freaking hubris, boys. Oh damn it. <laughs> the speed run is ruined. It's absolutely ruined. Oh, we're doing freaking countess runs at level 21. <laughs> Jammed hard leather armor is piss. Oh no, it's the Tal rune too. We had a backup Eth rune. That's so unbelievably done. Why couldn't I just take the extra half second and make sure? I'm sure we had a two socket one there, but I must have changed it. Like maybe it got broken or something and I switched it over. God damn it. Damn it. Get back in those catacombs. Back to the tower, boy. <laughs> boy. It's like Llama speed runs. Candace runs at 21. <laughs> It's just so annoying because I know we're going to be inundated with towels later on, you know? Like, we're going to be swimming in them. Alright, come on, please, please, please be kind to me. Ith? Okay, just two more ifs. Just two more ifs. <laughs> oh, no. Just check these video settings here. Beautiful. Oh, Mater. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Uh, if you ever decide you're done with YouTube, make sure you let us know. You've got a huge following on Discord and a huge following on YouTube. YouTube, don't be one of the guys that just um, pops out for a year with no updates. We'll miss you. Dude, thank you so much for your generosity, man. I, um, no, I would never do you guys dirty like that. At least I don't, don't think so. Yeah, I, and if I was to pick up other work, um, then I wouldn't just stop doing YouTube stuff. I would just kind of, I'd still do it, like, just as a hobby. You know what I mean? Yeah, but thank you so much for your generosity, dude. You've been insanely generous. Like, if you look, look at the super chats up the top. Can you guys see that? Mater, 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 mater. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, dude. I'm, yeah, thank you. I expect a rebrand of regular vet. <laughs> nah, I, I, I think I'm, re I think I'm retired from the, the vet world. At least practicing, like in general practice. Like maybe I do like research or something or like something a bit more, um, just a bit different. But I just find it real stressful, you know? Yeah, we'll see. Haven't fully decided. Just something to chew on. Is this hardcore? Nah, softcore, baby. We've already died once, believe it or not. Marta, thank you so much again, man. Honestly, insanely generous, dude. Regular work life can be stressful. Oh, for sure. I mean... Everything can be stressful, but just like, just dealing with that much, 
death, you know, it's just like, it can weigh on the soul. Yeah. So I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if it's the, the, the profession for me. Yeah. Or if it's, I don't know if it's something that I want to do. Something away from having to deal with pet owners. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Hey, there it is. All right. Let's confirm. Confirm we're on the, uh, we're in the right armor. Phew, that could have been so much worse. <laughs> Got it in two runs. For you. Wait, and I'm going to look up. I'm gonna look up freaking Stealth so I don't get the rune order wrong. Stealth 2-2-R. Two, two, um, it's tal -Eth, right? tal -Eth, yeah, confirmed. tal -Eth, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, and delete the evidence. Come on, resist. Oh, yes! Seven lightning res is insane. That's insanely useful. That's a big hit, boys. That's a really big hit. Seven lightning rays in the bank. Fantastic. That's a phenomenal hit. Phenomenal hit. All right, I think we can go straight here because we've made stuff and made a new game. I think, although maybe not. There we go, there it is. Bro, I can pass. I can totally pass. Uh, this is fun timing to watch you because you're playing through your first druid right now. Just beat Nightmare. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. By the end of the stream, dead one, you'll have your torch. We can do it together. Yeah, werewolves for Ubers. Yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. You've never even attempted Ubers? I've never attempted Ubers as Druid before. So we're we're sort of in the same boat. Yeah. Um I think my next custom shoe design will be based off Diablo 2. What character would be best to paint on the shoes? Oh, man. No one's ever asked me that before. <laughs> I've got no idea. I feel like one of... I feel like either Mephisto... I feel like one of the bosses for sure, because they're the coolest looking. Like Mephisto, Diablo... Maybe not Bale. Bale's a little weird. But like, Duriel would be sweet. Like, Duriel on a shoe. That would be sweet. Make him ward traps, yeah. Uh, what do you like to better? This Redem or Diablo 2 LOD? Like, is in Red Dead Redemption. I've never actually played. I played Red Dead Redemption 1 a little bit, but like not that much. And I never played Red Dead Redemption 2. That's your talk what you're talking about. What's up, Lezard? Welcome to the stream, man. Oh, he meant the remaster? Oh, right, LOD or the remaster? Oh, I much prefer the remaster. Yeah, I think these graphics are just beautiful. Yeah, I love the graphics here. Uh, why is that not that?
They knocked it out of the park with the remaster. Yeah, it's so good. It's actually so good. I was actually watching this super old VOD of um of Debrunsky streaming on YouTube from it was like from five years ago, right? <laughs> Just by chance, like last night I was like watching a little bit of it. And it's him playing LOD, obviously. And then someone asks him, Do you think they'll ever make a remaster? And he's like, nah, definitely not. You know, it would be awesome, but like, it just, it, it won't happen. And then it's just like, <laughs> that did not age well. Or actually, no, it aged very well. Yeah, we're honestly so lucky to have this. And then I heard a theory the other day that, um, someone was thinking that the reason why they, they made the... D2R remaster is to kind of like drum up hype before Diablo 4. Which kind of makes a little bit of sense, you know? I don't want to get like a too conspiracy theory about it. But it's like... Because like I was so surprised when they made this. That backfired? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it backfired. Because it's like they had heaps of sales of D4, right? You know? Like that's the... It's the biggest... It was at least the fastest spell selling Blizzard game of all time, right? D4 had plenty of hype. Yeah, yeah. Insane amount of hype. There was, a, there was heaps of marketing for D4. Yeah, so many of my friends sent me, like, photos of, um, like, Diablo 4 billboards. Yeah. <clears throat> They're like, hey, you like Diablo? You're the Diablo guy. But right, let's keep that for the re-roll. Ooh, we're gonna be rolling in the, rolling in the cash over here. What's that? Lightning, no. You can absolutely believe the theory. Yeah. I mean, it's plausible. I don't know if... It's just fun to think about, at the very least. They made their money, but you, Lama, Dabrunsky, Phil are all steering D D2R for the most part. Yeah, I mean, the l they made the initial bag, but I think what they wanted with D4 is to kind of make ongoing money, right? Like WoW does. And so that bit, they probably missed the mark on that because the retention doesn't seem to be very good, the player retention. Because what's insane, like, if you... I don't know how many of you bros are on Twitch. I'm not on Twitch, but I fired up Twitch the other day just because I wanted to snoop around, basically and see how many like concurrent viewers there are in different categories. And the concurrent viewership for Diablo 4 is quite low <laughs> on Twitch. But also like Diablo 2 is insanely low as well, but it's like, you know, that's Diablo 2. What, what do you expect? Yeah, more viewers on D3. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, there is a new season of D3, right? Like season 28 or something. But still, like, that's the old game, you know? Square is over here, right? Viewers on Twitch have been below a thousand for a week. Yeah, I mean, that, that number blew my mind. You know what I mean, Ryan? Because it's like, that's just like five schmucks. You know what I'm saying? That's five schmucks worth. Five schmeckles. Like, that's not much at all. A, a schmuck isn't a large unit of measurement to start with. <laughs> and it's only five of them. Yeah, new D3 season. But even factoring that in, I still think it's crazy. It's because no one's streaming D4? Yeah. But it's, they they go hand in hand, right? Like they're really tightly interwoven with each other. They're just like, people 
people, you know, won't stream if people aren't watching. You know what I mean? If heaps of people were watching, then heaps of people would stream. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, what the hell? Can you- you guys have to be able to hear that, right? It's like whipped out a new tool. God damn. <laughs> he's blown up all of the leaves into one patch, and now he's whipped out a freaking circular saw just to cut them up into a, like a fine little powder. Apparently players numbers are still decent. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Well then that's a different story. I was just inferring off, um... Off the Twitch numbers. Yeah. I do think, I do think that, um, just kind of going off that a little bit, I do think D4 is one of the games that doesn't really translate to streaming super well. You know, it's kind of like, it's fun. I, I do, I do like D4. Like, I, I'm very disappointed by it. I'm very disappointed by the end game. But I really like the 1 to one to 70. But I do, th I do think it's more... It's more kind of fun to just kind of, like... Chip along solo. But when you're streaming it, it's like... I feel like there is sometimes there's, like, not that much to talk about. You know what I mean? It's just, like... There's just not that much going on. Which would make it harder to stream. Unless you've got, like, a really... Unless you're either super, super good and, like, super speedy, like Wajito or something. Or if you've just got, like, a really good, you know, pe personality and stuff. And I am clearly... have neither of those. Oh my god. Bro! Are you fucking kidding me right now? Can you guys hear that? You could... you surely you can hear that. God damn. I can't hear myself think over here. You can? Good. <laughs> we hear it when you speak. Oh, man. Only when I speak. Oh, maybe the mic's like only picking up audio when I speak. It's not super loud for you? Okay, phew. Thank God. Um, we could get Thorings here, but I think we'll be okay. We'll see. Just because Fissure is so strong. I probably should have done, um, Tombs on P8, that's my bad. There it is. Come on, resist. Ah, it's only three, but I'll take a three. I'll take a three. Honestly, any resist we take, we yoink. We absolutely yoink. Oh, Marta, thanks so much, man. Yeah, sleep well, my dude. Yeah, thanks so much for your... Completely insane generosity, bro. It's on, honestly been on another level. Yeah. We will we will be here tomorrow. We're in for the long haul tonight. So maybe maybe see you tomorrow. <laughs> You're in your guardian, so it's adding to the ambience. <laughs> ambiance. <laughs> What's the setup for Ubers with Druid? Uh, we're hoping to go Werewolf and Fury and smack him in the face with, like, Malice for open wounds. And then hopefully we have a Treachery so we can pre-buff with Fade. And then hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll have a Duress so we can get Crushing Blow on the armor. Ooh, nice. Magic find. And then we'll have Crushing Blow gloves as well. But honestly... I don't know how this is going to go, fellas. Doubt it, you work 14-hour shifts. Damn, dog. Okay. Well, the VOD will be there. The VOD will be there. So you can see our glorious victory. Yeah. At some stage. This is pretty exciting. Usually when I see the streams, I'm at work and you're just about to do Ubers. Oh, now you get to see the build-up. Sweet, you get to see me flapping around for um for like ten hours beforehand. 
Okay, let's see. Put that there. And I guess maybe we'll get one more level and then we'll try Snoop the Telly Staff at 23. Hey, Schmuck, thoughts on new seasonal updates? <laughs> There's a bit to chew on there. Yeah, a bit to chew on. Um, well, where do I start? Yeah, where do I start? Honestly, just so much to go through. Pretty disappointing, hey? But, I mean, honestly, like, they're not making money off the game. I know this is kind of... This is sucks that this is the reality, but it's like, oh, they're not making money on it, so we can't really expect much each season. <clears throat> um, one thing I do really like is we can still be disappointed, though. That's for sure. I'm very disappointed. But one thing I did like is when... You know how there was that, like, that blue message thing? They were like, don't expect any changes this specific season. I liked how they put in that word specific season. It just gives a glimmer of hope for future seasons. A faint glimmer, but still a glimmer. And when you play D2, you just gotta take what you can get. They should just charge for some tabs like Path of Exile does. Yeah, if that was in exchange for them providing more updates, then I'd be I'd be down for that. Yeah, just a couple of paid quality of life things. I would I would for sure be down for that. I'm not sure how like everyone would feel about that, but um I would like it. <clears throat> What's up, Craig? Welcome to the stream, man. Rolling in runes. Character slots would be nice too. Yeah, I mean, I a lot of people have that issue, but uh, I haven't run out of character slots on online yet. I guess because I played a good chunk of single player and do delete a, a lot of characters. It's a good compromise, yeah. I mean, I feel like most people would be happy with that. I'm sure some people would be salty about like, oh, what, I gotta pay for, you know, this stash tab, but it's kind of like, oh. you don't need to buy the stash tab. You definitely don't need more. It's nice, but you don't need them. Did you hit your cap recently? What is the cap? Like, how many online characters can you have? Uh, what's going on here, boys? Let's let's get a staff and we'll figure it out later. Twenty-five. Ninety-nine. <laughs> yeah. I just. So are they twenty-five characters with different builds, or do you have some double ups? Like, do you have two Hamadins, for example? All right. So let's have a Snoop here. We want to look at the red ones, like this. Frost Nova. Just mu oh mules, of course, of course mules. How could I forget? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta crack open some more free games, boys. You bunch of hoarders. <laughs> With your 18 different mules. <sighs> yeah, fair play. Fair play. I guess I do just give a lot of stuff away. Because I am um, altruistic and you should all praise me for my good deeds.
it's good salami. No wait, it's great salami. It's great salami. Stash tabs, big smuling. Yeah, it's kind of two birds with one stone, right? More stash tabs, you need less mules, so you take up less character spots. And then they get money. Three birds, one stone. I hate mules having to switch every character every time you're looking for something stinks. Yeah. I need to have better mule like organization personally. Like label my mules better. Like high rune mule, like mid rune mule, like skiller mule. That's something I did recently on single player and it's so, why is my mouse not working? I can't click. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, it's so useful. Just this skiller mule is so useful. But like do that more. A more robust mule system. Stash tabs are better as dropping and switching it can be iffy, yeah. And what do you which which do you add? Do you add personal stash tabs or more shared stash tabs? Because if you add a shared stash tab, it's shared, which is nice. But then it's only one. If you added a personal stash tab, it's like one per character. You know what I mean? I feel like the simplest way to do it would be to add more shared ones. More shared. I feel like that's the simplest approach. Um, the problem with financial tab for runes and gems, they're concerned about duping. Yeah. I mean, I hate that excuse <laughs> from them. I hate that excuse. It's just like, I just don't think that's their problem to fix. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, we can't do this for, you know, 99% of the players, which would make their life better because we're playing out around the 0.1% who might exploit it. You know, it's like they can... Oh, Telly. Ooh. 150K. But we've got good money. So we need to scrounge together 100K. We can do that. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> All right. We'll just uh, sell off a couple of Bitcoins and we're good to go. What's this doing here? Get in the bin. So these should sell up for a lot, first of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, 50 more K. And then these were our re-rollers. Where are they? Oh, not that one. Yes. Nova should be good. And firewall. 15. 3,000. Big money. Big money. Nope. That's a miss. Telly. Oh my god. Imagine if we got a telly stuff. <laughs> well, that solves our problem. Healing. Healing should be... I had a high level cap, yeah. Oh, we're so close. We're so freaking close, bros. I guess we do one more. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Wait.
Nice. All right, on the road again. What's up, Kane? Beautiful. Telly stuff. Dick. <clears throat> now we just need one more level, and then we can use it. Then we can burn through cash like nobody's business. Sell that one. Surely that sells for a bit. What's up, Jay? Welcome to the stream, man. We're slow. We're slow gamers today, Jay. We've been super slow gamers. What's up, Jace? Welcome, man. I gotta break it to you, Jace. I gotta break the bad news. We are. On softcore again today, Jace. Forgive me. Forgive me for my sins. <laughs> for my soft, soft core. Single player should get more tabs and character slots. Don't you have unlimited character slots on single player? You'd be crazy to do a hardcore turn. <laughs> there we go, that's the energy I needed. <laughs> It would be huge though. We'll see how today goes. No, no, no. Actually, the next challenge, if we pull this off, I, I kind of want to do it as Barbarian. I don't know. That one would be an absolute slog. Yeah. Just if the leveling is Barb. Oh my god. The whole thing is Barb, actually. <laughs> up, dog? Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome on in, guys. We just, if you're just joining us, we just bought our telly staff and we just need to get half a level and we can use it. And we got our stealth first try, first countess run, and our leaf. Stealth was an ordeal. Some of it was RNG and then some of it was just my bad. Okay, great marsh over here again. I joined because you drew it looks like Mel Gibson. <laughs> he kind of does, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Put your phones away, boys. Keep them out of sight. Are you running P8? Yeah. So we're flicking between P8 and um, and and P1 basically just to. Just a really power level, even though I'm still doing it remarkably slowly. No summons. Oh, true. Forgot about those little sap suckers. Thanks. Dark say you welcome, man. Been a hot minute. Yeah, good to have you here, dog. you able to set players on D2R on single player? Yeah. Same as, same as LOD. All right, let's get this going. Beautiful. And caverns. So it looks like we're gonna have to delve through the Great Marsh again, bros. Freaking classic. Absolute classic. Is the... Oh, we already killed the, the big guy. Yeah, ring mail as well. All right, all right, all right. That's a good old grind. It's going well, man. It's a slow grind today. Yeah, I feel like we're moving, um, moving super, super slow, but slow and steady. Maybe we save that for extra doubloon, doubloons later on. And unfortunately, Great Marsh, like I said. Don't have Kane? Nah. <laughs> Kane can save himself for once, you know? 
Just like life. No one's coming to save your boys. You gotta break out of the cage yourself. We'll save Kane in Nightmare and Hell Mode though. Because we get a rare ring. Which could be good. Yeah, so I think it's worth a Nightmare in Hell. Depending on what other rare rings you've found. Yeah, or, or what other rings you've found. Kane gives you bad rolls anyway, yeah. <laughs> Factually, statistically. Uh, what do you think about the new season? I... I mean, I think it's disappointing. Even though I had no expectations, I did have a little glimmer of hope that at least we get something. You know, like a new rune word or something like that, or... Um, so I'm disappointed on that front, but I also, I'm also just cognizant of the fact that it's kind of like, I, I don't know, like, for example, like when you buy a PlayStation game, or just as, because that's the first thing that popped into my head, or just like when you're a kid, right? You bought the game, and that's what you got. You got the disc, you got the game, and you didn't. You didn't expect any updates or anything like that. So I, I honestly feel like every change that they make is just a bonus. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's still very disp disappointing, right? But... I'm not gonna like... not gonna like whine about it or anything. <laughs> Just got your first ever Sunday. Hell yeah, man. What uh, what a roll. What type of Sunday? If they didn't act six, I'd pay 50 or so. They should do it. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, if they made new content, like, I would be so stoked about that. And I would, you know, as long as it was good content, then I would, yeah, definitely fork out for it. I think there's a lot of money on the table. Like, like you guys are saying, like, stash tabs, you know, that sort of thing. And like, if they made an expansion, I would, I would buy the hell out of that. Yeah. <clears throat> that would rock my world. Fire 75? Nice! Yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, 75 is a good roll. I feel like fire is a little bit low priority. But still, still nice to have. They did Act 6, it would be so bad the game would die. <clears throat> you reckon? I think it just depends on how well they do it, right? I mean, I've said this a million times, but the, the change that, that I hope to see that I think is possible that they do do is just tinker with uniques a bit, you know? I have no idea where I'm going. Amulet, come on, boys. We want resistances. We want life. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Five cold rares. It is resistances. <laughs> I guess we take that. I guess we keep that. I mean, we'll just chuck it in later. We'll put it, probably keep it in the stash. What the flippery dippery hickory is going on here? Oh. Maybe it continues like down to the right? This is some facts. <laughs> facts straight to your fax machine. <laughs> Spitting straight facts over there. Biggest act three, <laughs> yeah. Classic act three. I know, I love it when you can go straight from spiders into flare. But I've got no idea what I'm doing, boys. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. For a change, I'll be honest and transparent.
Project Diablo 2 with D2R graphics could be the best game of all time. Yeah, that would be huge. That would be actually huge. Like, I love freaking just slamming stuff with Worldstone shards. Like, for me, that's so fun. And also so brutal. Because every time I find something good, I have to do it. There's, it's non-negotiable. Wait, where the floop are we going here, bros? Wait, this is spider. Don't tell me. No way. That's an end. That ends there, right? That doesn't continue. Surely not. And then that. That's spider there. And then this is all great marsh. Surely Flare isn't just there. I, I didn't realize I didn't look here. If that goes off to the left there. Maybe we go over there. This is a long way to walk back. <laughs> a long way to walk back to be disappointed. But I didn't realize I didn't look up there. Should give Tyrael's teleport? Yeah. Teleport and then some, I reckon. I don't know. I don't think teleport would be enough. Yeah, yeah, the first one. I, yeah, I think you're right, Pally. The first one wasn't it, but there's a possibility this one could be. That so we can get six rows. Although, oh, there we go. Nice. This has got to be it. It's got to be. Yeah, right. What um, Waldo said. Yeah, Enigma's just so far ahead. No, like all of that magic find, all of that strength, all of that that other good stuff that it has that I've completely forgotten about. Yeah, so the materials would need like a, a, a smidge more than just teleport, right? I guess barbs might use it, I don't know. I don't know what barbs do nowadays. Because it has, um, it has can't be frozen on it, right? Materials. So that would, uh, that's a, that's a thing that like, I feel like AR is such an issue that even if you had, if you were like a class, like a barb, and even if you had a source of can't be frozen, you still might wear a Ravenfrost, right? Just for the attack rating. Oh my God. Oh, did you see that? Cast rate with 28 lightning res. Bro. That's nuts. FCR with 28 lightning res. Hot tamales, man. That's going to be so nice for keys. Like, unbelievably nice for keys. That's so nice. Man, I'd almost wear that in, uh, like, just in a ladder character, you know what I mean? Huge find, right, Corey? Huge find. Like, that's going to be so good for Ubers as well, you know? Just a 28 lightning res ring. Oh, this is... Okay, my bad. That's a really, really, really good hit. Really good hit. Exactly, exactly. That's that's for sure the one of the rings for Mephisto. Like, if we find something better than that, then that would just be insane. Yeah, that. Gaming with Ayura. Welcome to the stream, man. Hello from the Philippines. Hello from uh, from noisy Australia. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Sorry about um. 
whatever that noise is in the background. It's so loud. Okay. We just got two really nice shields as well. So this we can make Ancient's Pledge. And then we got one of our two socket bone shields to make rhyme in. Yep. The two socket bone shields are really easy to shop from Drogman. But nice to get it, Natty. Um, is this it? No, it's the dead one. A nice red ring, maybe? Yeah. Well, it raises so many questions now, Corey. It's like, do we even bother saving Kane in, like, nightmare mode now? In nightmare and hell mode? I think we probably still do. Because <laughs> this isn't a speed run. We're just seeing if we can do it. So, I think we still save Kane for the red ring. Leave him. The freeloader. Yubi. Alright, I want that. Okay, I'm kind of getting annoyed at this inventory. I think we ditched some stuff in town. Save Candy's Jill. Let the old man run. <laughs> Oh man, mixed messages from you bros. Nah, I'm gonna sell that. That will stash. You got a 21 Myra's on your single player light source? Nice find, man. Myra's on single player, that's a huge find. Really huge find. Um. But gamble the 29 all res 30 MF Emmy. Should I run the 21 Myers and keep the plus two skills or get the 30 MF? You're at 263 MF right now. Hmm. I think that's just personal preference. I think with a um I, I mean I know this doesn't really help you much, but what would be best for you is probably a rare amulet, right? Where you can get plus two skills and maybe a bit of magic finds. On there as well um, but I think it all depends on your clear speed so mm -hmm. if you're happy with your clear speed without the bonus plus two to skills then chuck the magic find on but if you're killing stuff a bit slowly and it's annoying you then I would um, I would get the bonus skills yeah I mean 263 magic find is pretty good like you're in the realm of diminishing returns Um, personally, I like to get to 300 though, but that's just, that's just me. Oh, it's this one in the middle. Oops. I think we teleport back rather than use waypoint. Because we did run a little, little while. Oh no, I burnt through them all. Keep the Myra's. Should not have wasted my tellies like that. Uh, row, row, row. There we go. Come on, Omez. 18? Oh, no! What the flip? 18 faster cast rate. I mean, 18 lightning res with 10 faster cast rate here as well. That is a sexy set of rings. All right. It's not looking good for our boy Kane. It is not looking good at all. Oh, man. The one-two punch. Holy smokes, bros. Kane better get comfortable, lads. That's definitely an upgrade. That's insane. Two, two 10 FCR rings with really good lightning res on them. That's insane. 
Because, like, sometimes you just don't find any good resist rings at all in these sorts of runs. Like, I think on the last... On the last one we did, on the Assassin one, we just, like, didn't find any good rings. We found one good ring, but, like, the other one was really crap. Wait, can this be Nokazan or Oak, right? Wait, Nokazan would be so good for Diablo. Nokazan would be so nice for Diablo and for farming Dikis. Vanilla Thack, Nokazan would be insane. Because Corpse Explosion is 50% physical, 50% fire. So we just don't want this to be Oak. Eye of Etlich. Oh, I didn't even know it could roll that. Oh. Alright, well, five light radius. Let's take it. <laughs> Let's take it. I completely forgot that that it, that existed. I'm gonna be honest. Completely forgot that existed. Well, take the um take the skill. Skill's kinda nice. Light radius, baby. <laughs> skill's kinda nice. Getting a skill early on is is pretty hot. Ah, oh, I was so ready for that to be Nokazan. Damn. Yeah, let's just go in here. Probably should have got book first, but you know, who cares? Trade the quest item. Yeah, once we have book, we'll go. We'll go chat to the um, what's his face? Alcor. Damn it. Why don't you people just leave me alone? Just hope for an Andy's Helm this run. Ooh. Andy's Helm would be really nice. I think. But also like a triple Oort Helm and a ground for Meph is just so good. But uh, the Lilith fight is going to be one of the hardest ones. So Andy's helm would really help with that. Or we could get Akira's like Kano did. What's up, Jay? Welcome to the stream, man. How you doing, Schmucks? Yeah, I'm doing good. Doing good. I went for a um a long run yesterday, or or a long run for me, so I'm feeling feeling good about that. Went for I started running again last week. And like I've been trying to, I haven't been recording speed or anything. And I haven't been like recording it on like a watch or like on Strava or anything like that. I've just been like, just doing it for myself, you know, but like going off time. And so yesterday I started at running 45 minutes, like super duper slowly. Right. And then yesterday I ran 90 minutes. So really happy with that. I did have a couple of short breaks in there though and again like sloop, super super slow pace like it probably would have been an hour and a half to run like 11ks or something need to get back into some kind of exercise yeah for me it's just like i need to treat it as essential like an essential thing for me to do for my brain yeah. i'm too fragile <laughs> too fragile otherwise How's your wall counter doing? Yeah, good. What I've done is just like, um, what's really helped more than that is after each run, I would just like, I've started like just writing down, you know, like how far I went and just some thoughts during the run and like how I felt and stuff like that. And that that's something that's been really helping to just try and write that down the second I get home. Um, because it's easy to forget, you know, like after, after a run, you often feel good and it's easier to forget that feeling. But if you write it down then I feel like it's harder to forget, this helps me keep the momentum going basically. 
Um, and then on that 100 thing, I've just been doing a little dash after each run. Yeah, but it's the riding that's been really helping more so than the, the 100 on the wall. I've never been much of a rider or a reader, so it's, it's new for me. Why don't I play PoE anymore? I'll go back and play PoE at some point, I think. Yeah. But I'm just having fun playing other games, basically. Stuff in black and white helps when you're not feeling so great. Yeah, what I've been doing as well is... Like, I've been listening to David Goggins' audiobook. Like, listen to a chapter of that each run. Like his, not You Can't Hurt Me, but his newer one that I've never heard before. And then he's got some pretty like gnarly, <laughs> some kind of like gnarly strategies. And one of them I kind of want to try is like, he, he did this thing where he like screenshotted all of the messages from his haters and he printed them out and then he read them into a, into like a, a voice recorder and then he listens to them like while he runs and around the house and he like uses it as fuel and I was like wait I kind of want to try that you know <laughs> to take them their attempts to tear you down and use it as fuel you know that's so baller that's the most quintessential David Goggins thing that I've ever heard internet comments I know yeah exactly Goggins is a gem yeah, he's really helped me in my life, Goggins. And he's helping me again now. Follow the guy before he came mainstream. Yeah, I kind of got into him... Um... Like six years ago, so he's a bit... He was a bit mainstream, but less so than he is nowadays. You love Strava, use it on private. So many awesome features, notes, stress level, and that sort of stuff. Yeah, I'll get back into um, kind of recording data, like Strava and that sort of thing. But for right now, yeah, I think it would kind of bog me down just cause I'm so, I'm, I'm really out of shape and like I'm not running fast or anything. So I just want to build up the habit first and, and not like stress about you know, all of that data and stuff and like going fast or slow or anything like that. But like once I've got the habit established and I'm, I'm, I think I'll get back on Strava or some, something equivalent to that. He's doing it again. <laughs> This one's going to be more brutal than the assassin. Yeah, this is going to be a long one. I'm hoping we can do it in under under 18 hours, but we'll see. That might be that might be a bit ambitious. What's up, bro? You were able to catch the, your redemption? Hell yeah, Daryl. <laughs> it was, um, fan biting when you completed it. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God we didn't have to do a redemption redemption arc, right, right Daryl? You know, we just, we only had to redeem ourselves once. You. <laughs> it could well be a redemption for this one too, we'll see. We're here for the ride no matter how long. Oh, thanks, Chrome. I'll remember that when we were uh, 17 hours deep. Fanboy, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought like biting could have worked, like biting your biting your nails and stuff when you're nervous. Yeah. 
Yeah, that felt good to get that one back. That felt so good. I needed I needed a win. I really needed a win. Go there. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's cash in these. Actually, no. We'll... Well, maybe, maybe we'll find Mephi or the waypoint and then we'll cash those. Look at that FCR, boys. Glorious. Freaking glorious. <laughs> we'll spend the night together? Together in my room. <laughs> Classic. Cheers, you love the game? Oh, I love it too. So good. Gonna do this all in one city? That's a plan. That is the plan. Yeah, we'll have to do a quick break in the stream just so the VOD is preserved. Um, because weirdly, I know, I still can't wrap my head around it. Not everyone has 18 hours free lying around. Um, with no warning. So we'll, like, once we're, like, 12 hours in, or when there's a good kind of cutting point, we'll, um, just stop the stream and then start it straight, straight after. But yeah, one sitting. Unless something goes wrong, you know. Like there was one time where I just started feeling really crook. And that one we had to do in parts, but. I just feel like it's more fun if you do it in one sitting, you know? Feels like more of a more of a journey. If you do it in parts and it's just like, ah, that's just like every other Ubers, you know? Oh, hell yeah, Daryl. Hopefully I didn't swear too much. Wait, minus 17 plus 15. Did someone find a Griffins? Oh, got a solo self fair Griffins from a Terra Zone. Hell yeah, man. Nice roll, too. That's a good roll. I'll take that 17 15. Oh, oh. Ooh. Six gloves. Is it two piece or three piece that you get the IS with six gloves? Does anyone remember off the top of their head? Because that could be interesting. Doing Ubers with SIGs. I would click that. I would click that thumbnail. It's two piece? Ooh. If we found the belt, that actually could be a goer. You guys know how I feel about SIGs belt. Because the gloves give you like 30%. But then we wouldn't get the crushing blow. We probably always want blood gloves. Ah, never mind. Scratch that. Let's go there. Actually, I want to buy... Did I just sell? Six is goaded. Buy res. I don't know if there's any of these I should be getting. Yeah, I did Ubers in full SIGs. Yeah, I saw, um... Uh, what's his name? Kali FXD did uh, a series where he did um, Ubers with, like, weird gear. This is, like, a year ago. And one of them was with SIGs. Yeah, it's a really good video. Yeah, I remember I watched that, like, eight months ago or something. But I remember when I watched it, I was like, damn. Wish I thought of that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it beat me to it. <laughs> That's a good idea. Was that guy a regular schmuck or a hardcore schmuck? I think it was a uh, softcore schmuck. But I still think doing Ubers in SIGs is pretty hardcore. 
He popped into your stream right at the end of the last one. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn. You guys have to point it out if you, if if he's here. Yeah, because I really like his videos. They're really good. Damn, I missed it. It was like right at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, right at the end, I'm like so. I'm so distracted. <laughs> I'm like so tired and just like so relieved. Three seconds until you stop stream. Okay, that's fine then. I don't look like a dick being like, ugh, you are beneath me. I will ignore you. Well, maybe I still look like a dick, but. <clears throat> Alright, I should probably probably waste not waste time killing these bros. I'll just fissure and run. You miss the Ubers leveling? Yeah. I remember when that was a thing, but I'd never I never did it myself. Oh, Oort Rune's great. Just because I was too young and like I didn't have friends to do it, do it for me. What's up, Philip? Welcome to the stream, man. Good morning to you too. Yeah, look, capped lightning res. I still can't get over how good those rings are. 10 FCR on both of them, then 28 and 18 lightning res. Freaking glorious. You were 18 and balling? Oh, dude, that's the perfect age. That's the perfect age to be, like, balls deep in classic LOD. That would have been such a glorious time of your life. Just kicking back, kicking back, playing Diablo with the boys. The golden days, exactly. Yeah. It's like that line from The Office. Um, if only you could tell you were in the, the good old days while you're actually in them. Because who knows, boys? We could be in a new set of good old days right now as we speak. In fact, I've got that sneaking suspicion that I am. Oh, hello, Izzy. Nineties feel like the legit good old days. Simpler times, wasn't it, man? Simpler times. Randy. We're always in the good old days. We're just blinded by stress and worry to realize it. One thing that I heard recently, or like reheard, that was kind of like, it's kind of, it's kind of a nice thought. Is like, if you've got a problem, just think about, think about, in a year's time. Will I still, will this still be a problem for me? You know? Will I still care about this or think about this in a year's time? And most of the time, depends on your problems, obviously. But most of the time, it's like, it would be completely irrelevant in a year's time. So how much of a problem really is it? It's just a soothing thought. A soothing message for me that I heard recently. Blind pet? Yeah, Vinny keeps dying, so... <laughs> I've been neglecting summoning him a little bit. So what does this synergize with? Firestorm and Volcano. Go there. Who's going to care in a hundred years? <laughs> Nothing matters. 
<laughs> then you just end up in a pit of nihilism. Either nothing matters or everything matters. Unless you've dealt with it, it'll probably be a worse problem. <laughs> That's not where I was going with it. You flipped the script on me. Yeah, exactly, Proxy. I'm glad they said that to you, man. Yeah, permanent solution to a temporary problem. Yep. I hope you're doing better, dog. Yeah, I know what I know what that's like, man. Just in the pits of hell. And it feels like there's no way out. And when you've been there for so long, it's kind of like you forget what it's what it's like to not feel just like nothing, you know? Alright, do we do I think we do do forge, because we want P Ruby so bad. And like ams are nice. Anyone know the movie Idiocracy? Never heard that. Idiocracy? Is that Idiocracy? Is that a word that I don't know? Idiocracy? You know a movie that I remembered of recently that I actually really liked is uh, Cloud Atlas. It goes for like three hours. <laughs> it's very long. <laughs> But, and I've only watched it once, but I really like it. I'm going to watch it again. It's like one of those movies with like multiple storylines. And like some of the storylines are like way better than others. Oh, Shale is huge. Wait, Shale is huge. Wow, that's such an early Shale. That's such an early Shale. Because now we can make, um, now we can make Rhyme. Once we've got like a spirit. Force Ruby, nice. And Am! Oh! <laughs> Am is so good. <laughs> that Now we just need um, Thull and then a Spirit Base. I can't believe that. Hit Flawless Ruby, hit Shale and Am there. That was absolutely worth. Absolutely worth. Everything's coming up, Schmuck. Just need that arm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hopefully we're not burning out, burning through the luck too early. Um, why don't we organize these a bit better? Is it Eth Shale or Shale Eth? I feel like it's Eth Shale. And then... Cal, Thal, Ort, Am. We keep that for Gem Shrine. Alright, we're cooking. We are cooking. I don't think we'll ever use six, but let's keep it anyway. Yes! Exactly, Corey. <laughs> the way we made it last time was kind of fun, though. Like, we didn't find an arm, but we found a pull, two lambs, and three fowls. Yeah. Coco Mal, yeah, Sanctuary. What's up, Frankie? I haven't checked out your um your latest video yet, but I'll, I'll um you recently just released one, right? I haven't snooped it just yet. Shale is first. Oh, it's Shale Eth. I always forget those two. Like stealth, rhyme. I've done it like a million times. You'd think I would just lock it into the long-term memory, but... I just can't remember. God. Your video where you crafted a bear? Yeah, that, um... 
That hurt the eyeballs to watch, didn't it? Oh, choking gas is huge. Choking gas is really nice. Because the broski up here is fire immune. So that's going to be really useful. And ought is delicious, as per usual. Need to change the name to Average Mark here. <laughs> if we can pull this off, then I think we would have earned the title to Average Mark. Want Ubers as Druid. Then I think we're worthy of the um, the average title. For now, though, I'm feeling pretty regular. All right, let's go this way. Come, come. Very good. Ooh. Don't have any TPs left. And no healing pots. What, what, what could possibly go wrong? Schmuck loves the Ord 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 Helm. Yeah, well, previously I'd been rocking around. I've been rolling with ground for Mephisto. But I know that Kano uses Ord 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 more than ground. So I guess it's just a question of like, if you can reach 300 lightning res with the ground, then I think you go that. But if you're below 300 lightning res, then I think you go odd, odd, odd. So we'll see. We'll see what we end up on. Having these rings will, you know, really help, especially this one. Sweet. Rail rune. My wife from the other room. <laughs> what the hell is an ort? <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> Who are you calling an ort? <laughs> uh, let's... Nah, it'll be fine. We might need to get a merc. But choking gas could be enough to finish off this bro. We'll see. Dude, everyone's so cool in here. Yeah, honestly, you guys are the... The best, dude. Like... Just the, the positive energy from you guys, like, I, I don't want to get too cheesy on you, but it, it really just makes doing this for me so much fun, you know? They're legends, aren't they, Frankie? Alright, that's it. That's enough. That's enough being nice for now. <laughs> for now. All right, let's go. Oh, we got Vinny the Vine. Oh, I completely forgot about Vin. Get in there, Vin. Okay, Vinny the Vine, we got this. Although I don't know how their poisons interact with each other. Like, I don't know if they would override each other, right? I feel like mine is better. They stack? Oh, sick. I definitely don't deserve that average title yet. Still a regular old schmuck. Learning core game mechanics. <laughs> like, how poison works. Okay, we're out. Smack him for the last little bit. That's why I love your content, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we're learning together. <laughs> Wait, flea three socket flail could be malice base. Beautiful. That's beautiful. That means we don't have to use a um, don't have to uh, use a lazik on it. I mean, we won't have much... We won't have much base damage, just hitting with the... hitting with the Malice. But we do get the... It's a, it's really about the Crushing Blow, and then the Open Wounds damage 
might finish him off. Yeah. No wasting Lazic this time. <laughs> nope. Saving it for the spirit base. I've learned from my past my past failings. I want to get health pods. Soft core strats, man. One will be fine. <laughs> right. I'm gonna walk in at Diablo. Just one step. One more step, Mr. Frodo. Got him. Fantastic. <laughs> Be sure you don't have a one socket flail hanging about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to burn any more runes. Any more than we already have. <laughs> Got him. I deserve that one. Holy macaroni catching you live. What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, you get to see me bumble about in real time now, dog. That's where I do, um... That's where I do my best work in real time. It may or may not also be where I do all my work. Alright, let's put that there. Level 27. Kicking goals with the levels. And 25 charges. Should be chill. What build are you aiming for to tackle Ubers? Yeah, so we're gonna go... For Ubers, we're gonna be in Werewolf, hopefully. Um, Werewolf with Fury. But I've also never done this before. So it could absolutely crash and burn. I would say, honestly, probably 60% chance we pull it- 65% chance we pull it off. I'll give us 65% chance. But I'm a gambling man and I like those odds. Vinny's about to solo Ubers, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he hit Diablo then at all. <laughs> He's a smart vine. He's just like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of this. Yeah, Werewolf with, um, basically Werewolf with a source of Crushing Blow and a source of Open Wounds. So Open Wounds so they don't heal, and then Crushing Blow to do the bulk of the damage. And we might have to do some Ubers, like, in a very cheesy fashion. Just exploiting, going back into a portal and healing at Marlow getting a couple of hits then uh, back into the portal but you know like I always say you know you got to remember the ABC's always be cheesing baby oh my. what does crushing blow do it uh, it deals percentage based damage to enemies based on their remaining health. So, I can't remember exactly what percentage it is. It's like 30% or something like that. So the first hit that hits Crushing Blow will take off 30% of a boss's health. And it'll just keep going down in, you know, smaller and smaller chunks until you get them down to a slither. Yeah. It's busted for taking down bosses. It's crazy? Yeah. Yeah. And then you need... And then obviously... It's a percentage of their remaining health, right? So you'll never be able to... Kill an enemy or finish an enemy off with crushing blow damage. Then you need another... Sort of damage to get that last little slither. And so... 
we'll have a bit of physical damage from our from just hitting them but then we'll also be doing damage from the open wounds like per second so that'll help us as well yeah but one of the really tough issues is because we're going melee right it's going to be hard to hard to hit them like our hit chance is going to be really low but malice does really help with that because that reduces enemy defense each time we hit them and we'll being a wolf helps you with your attack rating as well and then we'll probably go max block so we'll dump like around 180 into dexterity and that'll help us too i'm so sorry about this noise bros <laughs> I feel like it's pissing me off more than it's pissing you guys off. But god damn. <laughs> it's so loud. Let's see. You can kill Ubers at 18. Uh, but need crushing blow on life tab. Uh, yeah, on, on a smiter. You absolutely could. Yeah. I, I definitely don't think you could do it on Druid at 18, though. Yeah, Druid is a lot more sketch than Smiter. It's not too bad on your end. Okay, that's, that's good to hear. Alright, we need one more set of barbs. I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. Hiding. Smite's too OP. Yeah, for Uber, Smite is just insane. Hmm. We can't hear it unless you're talking? Okay. I'll just shut up then. That must have been a setting that I changed on the mic where it's like only has sound coming in like when I'm talking. I don't remember putting that... I don't remember putting that setting on, but... It's actually quite a good setting. Reading between the lines, I see. Yeah, finally. <laughs> Maybe I'll cra crack open my prepped meal and have the 10 minutes of uh, muted schmuck eating stream now. Everyone's favorite bit of the one to Ubers when I'm muted for 10 minutes eating. Try not to take it personally though. All right, Threshy boy, what you got for us, man? I don't even know what I want. Goblin toes. Give me the goblin. No mute full ASMR stream. <laughs> but it's like, I enjoy my food more when I know that you guys can't hear me chew each bite. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm not muting myself for you guys. I'm muting myself for me. Everything's about me. What's up, Andrew? Welcome to the stream, man. Stay hydrated. Ah. Just getting hella self conscious about every bite, yeah. Pretty good, um, Frozen. So this is... God, is this the one where you go up or is this the one where you go across? Should really learn these. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Do I not have telly? 
Holy smirks, man. Do I not have it? Oh, we're, we're out. God damn. <laughs> Glad to catch a stream. <laughs> Almost caught a death there too, Andrew. Jeez, that was close. That's so nice having that malice base there ready to go. Just one less thing to think about, you know? And I hate thinking. I hate thinking. Thank God this isn't anti-hardcore yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd play differently. I'd play differently if it was hardcore. Also, I tell myself. Oh, it's the one where you go up. Whoopsie daisies. Fantastic. What does mana pot taste like? Refreshing. It tastes like a uh, replenishing shrine. Why are you so conservative with gold? Is gold that useful for this strategy? Gold is really useful for repairing teleport charges. Each teleport costs like $2,000, I think. Yeah. So I should probably be teleporting a bit more sparingly. And we're going to want to teleport a lot, a lot, a lot when we're farming keys. Yeah, just to make it heaps more smooth. Tastes like a sap psycho. <laughs> yes. The language is pro proliferating. Oh, Proxy, man. Thank you so much, dog. Good night, everyone. Good luck with the Ubers. Um, remember to pull the Ubers. Like, talk to them like puppies. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It wouldn't have worked otherwise, Proxy. It wouldn't have worked otherwise. Thank you so much, bro. And sleep well. Yeah, might um might see you tomorrow morning. Like would might be just in time for Ubers. I think off the top of my head, um, Prox, this crystal sword goes up to three. I think in Worldstone and above, they go up to four. But I think that one just goes up to three. I could be wrong though, I'm not sure exactly when the cutoff is. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> Pally. <laughs> come, come. I thought it was cows. I think cows is included in there as well. But I, I think, I'm pretty sure Worldstone is. Yeah. Yeah, they're four in Worldstone, I think, as well. It should be four. There's a good, there's a really good list on uh, Max Roll that shows you exactly. I think Macro Bio Boy might have written it. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> That's so nice. Thank you. Thank you, Ancients. These guys should be sh super chill. Don't know what Talik's doing over there. Oh, Vinny. That's right. 
Smart, smart battle tactics. That was an insane map. That's never happened to me in Ancients before. Oh, this Talek's gonna be a bit slow, but... At least you run through multiple, multiple firestorms. Or fissures. Frozen Tundra's error level 27 being three open sockets. Okay, sweet. And when does it go up to um, four? Do you know? If you're if you're already on the page. Is it like all of Worldstone or is it just some levels of Worldstone? Because I know for sh I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that three and up of Worldstone is you'd get the four sockets on Crystal Swords, but I don't know if Worldstone one and two is like that. Okay, yeah, so Drifted ca Cavern would be. Yep, okay. You still remember the Fissure save on Diablo Bone Grace and during the Know Your Run? <laughs> Me too, dude, that was so clutch. Yeah, I got caught in the Bone Prison and then Fissure instantly tapped the Bone Prison. That was so lucky. Yeah, I still remember that. Oh, dude, I'm so glad you do, too. We got so lucky with that. Yeah, that is actually one thing that could really screw us up with the Diablo fight, is Bone Prisons, because we'll be in wolf form. So to teleport out, we'd have to... You know, get out of wolf, then teleport, then go back in. So that could be a potential issue down the line, but I guess we'll um we'll cross that cross that bridge when we come to it, or if we come to it. So this longsword could be right. Wolves don't keep level two longsword. I'll have a, I'll I'll look it up on max roll once we um. Once we're in the in the chamber. <clears throat> Dude, good. Thanks for tuning in, man. Yeah, sleep well. Sleep well. And and thank you for the good luck. Wait, we're probably gonna need it. So uh I appreciate it. I'm pretty sure this long sword's good to go. Yeah, beautiful. And conveniently, we've got a Lazik ready to go. We just need a Thal rune. Come on, dudes. Into the flames. Topaz, nice. Fantastic. That's it, yeah? Someone foxing me. Looks like it. Let's get a mount for this broski. Come on, moment of truth, lads. Got him. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Got him, coach. I ah, couldn't resist. So we need Thal for that, and then we can make this Prime D2R. 
is Shale F or S Shale? Shale F. Okay. So we just need Thal and then we can make Spirit. And just a bit more decks. Um Maybe we get uh maybe we get cold act three merc might work. I mean we could really just get any merc, couldn't we? Sana, welcome to the stream, man. It is a beautiful day today, isn't it? Really beautiful beautiful day. Making spirit souls one of the most satisfying things in the game. Yeah. I mean, the leaf is so buff, so it's not like a massive upgrade, but like, it's spirit and rhyme. It's not just spirit. Like, leaf is just so, so beautiful. The FCL is gonna be really nice for the telly as well. Oh no, wait, it'll be on Switch. Never mind. Scratch that. Wait, what? The lightning dude? We got a cold one. Oh well. Still works fine. Why don't we go up to players eight, see what happens. Got a bit of extra levels here. What? If only we were doing the one to Uber's Bob run now. Although this probably wouldn't be good. So this goes up to 40% magic find. 36, not a bad roll. Not a bad roll. Okay, these guys are a bit sketch. I think we just sacrifice summons here. And then Lister, I think maybe we go down to P3 or something. The out of all. Oh, too late, too late. <laughs> oh, it's fine. At least we get uh, good experience. P8 Lister. Jeez. In bail. So hasty. Such a hasty little hobbit. together. Alright, that's good enough. Come, come. I'll do, pig. I'll do. I am Mala. Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that. Now, hopefully, fail turns here. Yes, nice. It'd be fun to learn how to do a bail skip one day. I don't know, I've never actually done that before what the, all the actual pro gamers do. Mike, have you tracked your uniques for a growl? I haven't. Yeah, I haven't tracked them. 
just like officially but I've just got a kind of list in my head of like ones that I haven't haven't found yeah so there's like six there's six super rare items that I haven't found a Zod, a Cham, a Stormlash, a D-Web, a Tyrael's Might. But there, there's a possibility there's like some like niche little, you know, like low level items that I haven't found as well. That I'm just not like cognizant of, you know what I mean? So I probably should get an official Grail up and running. <laughs> nice babe reference, I know. <laughs> You get a bit of, uh, get a bit of everything on my streams. <laughs> just get a get, bit of Chael Sonnen, you know, a bit of Babe. Yeah, just, just a mix, just a variety. I'm a variety streamer. Is Stormlash good? I found one with mid-roll. It's good for, like, niche use cases. Like, it's really fun to have a Stormlash with a kicks in for Ubers. Like, that's pretty baller. But I don't think it's like it's like widely used, but it people do use it for um, niche stuff like that. Sean, member for four months, man. Eight months. What the flip, dude? Thank you, dog. Eight months. Holy smokes. Four months till on rune. Thus the grind continues. Yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. Yep. That seems about right. 12 months to get a high rune. Yep. You must be playing single player, Sean. Thank you so much, much, man. That's that's insane. Remember for eight months. There we go. Got a couple of things to sell here. Beautiful. On the road again. I think probably worth maybe doing one or two Countess runs, seeing if we can snag that, um, to snag that Thal rune. Haven't even found one in D2 ever. Yeah, hopefully you get it before, <laughs> before the 12 month mark. Or, or, or maybe the day, the day it ticks over. That would be fitting. Uh, treasure cast three items are super hard to find during regular play, unless you're target farming in normal. Yeah, exactly right. There was this item that we found in one, like one to Uber's playthrough, like gray form or something is like this quilted, it was this unique quilted armor. And I was like, I have never seen this before, you know? <laughs> I don't think I'd ever found it before. It's called like gray something. Ooh, flawless to pass. Blizzard. Could fix this skipping waves. I kind of like that they don't fix it, you know? Because it's like, it's part of the game, you know? It's like something that speedrunners do. Like, I, I like it. I like that it's there. It's a quirk. <clears throat> Never done Ubers on your own? <laughs> You're crap. Hey, dog. I'm, I'm not good either, <laughs> you know? I just play a lot. I just play a lot and copy people that are smarter than me, Max. That's that's all I do. And then get a lot of help from you, bros. You finish the sin? Yep. Yep. Second time. Second time's a, char a charm. Yeah, it'll be fun to do the sin on uh, Hardcore one day. But we'd need to level a bit more, I think. Just so we don't get, you know, blown up by, like, shotgun down by meth in, in one fell swoop.
fallen. So good at dodging. Don't fix anything, please. Yeah, I mean, I think if something's been there for so long, it's just kind of like, just leave it there, you know? It's part of it now. But I'm trying to think of if there's anything that I do want them to fix. I don't... I honestly can't think of anything. Anything that I would want them to fix. But I'm sure there's heaps that are just escaping me. Oh no, one monster left. Oh my lord! What have I done, bros? What have I done? New rune words would be nice. Oh yeah, like new stuff would be excellent. But like them actually like fixing something. Like changing how it worked. A loot filter. Unsummed. <laughs> Stacking currency. <laughs> yeah, for... Sorry, I didn't articulate myself very well. For me, that's like adding stuff, but like fixing, like for example, with the wave skip, making it so you can't skip waves anymore. You know what I mean? Like I love them adding stuff. I would love them to add stuff. That would be a dream. And in light of recent announcements, it will stay a dream. One monster left is the worst. Yeah, if you guys... You guys would all know about this, right? The little... The Easter egg. So if you go down... If you go down to... Less than five monsters. Where it starts showing you how many are left. Then... One of the... Shamans... Revives Fallen. So it's above five monsters. Then it shows six, six, six monsters remaining. Did you guys know that? There's got to be at least one of you guys that doesn't know that. <laughs> it's my one little factoid. Uh, let's just sell that. It's annoying me. You didn't? Yes, I got one of them. You got one of them. Evil Waver? Oh, man. A couple of you dudes. It is really cool, right? Yeah, we should do it one day. That probably actually would have been a good opportunity to do it. I guess we could try do it in hell mode. What am I doing? Because when we do Dan, we'll be... We'll do Dan as... As wind, so it should be fine. Yeah, you just have to remind me. Try to do it. All right, this could be hella sketch. Because we are a plays eight in hell mode, level 32. Oh, nightmare mode. Excuse me, it's not hell, it's not hell. <laughs> it's such good experience though. And now when we find that Thal rune, we can chuck on, we can chuck on the long sword. What happened to Project Diablo 2? I'll be back in the um, the new season. Yeah. So... Is it like a couple days? Yeah, four days? New season? It's, no, it's, no, it's not going to be my main way of playing Diablo, though. Yeah, just FYI. Yeah. Like, Project Diablo 2 will be something that I come back to for new seasons, but it's... My main way of playing Diablo will always be D2R. Unless, you know, I just get addicted to the slam. You know, get hooked on the slam. You say that now. <laughs> It'll get ya. Twenty eighth. Yeah, 28th for D2R, 22nd for Project Diablo 2. We're feasting, boys. We're feasting. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I 
I should probably pick up the pace a little bit. Be going so slowly. Ah! Oh my god. That was so sketch. Freaking tactical level in there, thank the lord. Wow. Read a hurricane, want a cyclone armor base. That's kind of good. <laughs> Calculated, yeah. <laughs> Tactical level. Uh, I see you guys have also read the script. In this lovely pre-recorded stream. So that crystal would probably also be four. We don't need it. Uh, I'm just gonna do one more thing there just in case. And have a think about, we've got a three socket longsword here. I think we could make malice in that over the flail. I just don't know if there's any reason to. Straight up pop a safety there. Oh, good thing I popped a safety. One, two, tapped. God damn. The old one-two punch. Wow, we are so dead. Jesus. That was, um... This was a bit of a reenactment of uh, Strickland Adesanya there. Just absolutely walked down the octagon. Picked apart. Give me my gold. A full-time streamer? Uh, I don't like saying I'm full-time. I was thinking about the, that the other day. <laughs> I don't like saying I'm full-time. I'm a part-time streamer. I'm a part-time schmuck. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't really, like, consider it, like, my full-time... You know, 9 to 5, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but, uh... It is my, um... My only source of income. That's what you mean. Do you have a job? Nah, I quit my job last year. I'm a, I'm a small business, business owner. I'm an entrepreneur. Coming out with a line of mugs. Yeah, another job. <laughs> oh, thanks for... Thanks for saying it like that, RK. Yeah. It's funny, like... I I say that myself. Like, get a real job, you know what I mean? But, like, when other people say it, I get, like, there's a little twang in me that gets, like, a bit defensive, you know? <laughs> but it's like, I don't have a leg to stand on because it's like I make that joke myself. It's okay for me to say it. It's hard work. Oh, uh, I mean, it's just like a anything. Like some things, you know, everything has its own challenges. But comparatively, it's, it's pretty cushy. You'd buy a Papa Safety Mug for so fast. <laughs> Thanks for saying that though, Corey. Uh, how do you rate your lore on the Diablo universe? So bad, bro. I'm so bad with lore. Yeah, I need to, um... I need to study it more, honestly. Yeah, or just, like, watch some YouTube videos on it. Because it's the stuff I know is, like, so cool. But I just don't know very much. You're just ashamed because you don't show titties, yeah. 
<laughs> basically, if I was a thirst trap channel, then uh, then it would feel like a real job. Uh, our ring. That's what we wanted. That's why we saved Kane. Oh, here it is. Oh, nice. 18% magic find. Wait, that's great. <laughs> Sweet. Let's, uh, why don't we keep that on, actually? I think that means we go down an FCR breakpoint for Telly. But I think 18% magic find is pretty, pretty nice to have. Next stream gonna be cutting long shirtless, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give you one just as a teaser and then chuck it behind a paywall. Flawless Safi, beautiful. You streaming until you defeat Ubers? Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Well, what we're gonna do, Seth, Seth is we're gonna stream until we until we get up to Ubers. And I'd say there's probably like a 35% chance we we fail. And by we, I mean me. So this could just be attempt one and we could need to uh, go back to the lab and try again. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. Just stream until we beat Ubers. You have the chair, so it's a thirst trap, yeah. Working on getting a chair emoji as well. <laughs> Fury or Harmony for Druid? Yeah, really good question. Really good question. So, one thing we could do is we could cheese Ubers using the Harmony strat, right? Like Harmony and Fissure or something. But I kind of don't want to do that. You know, I want to, I want to kind of Druid as a werewolf. Yeah, so Fury. Yeah. But that's a really good option just to do the harmony cheese. Nice. I've, I feel like I've kind of like been there, done that. You know what I mean? I kind of want to try, try something different. And by different, I mean virtually the exact same thing as we did on the assassin, just with a different class. It'll be harder than the assassin for sure. Good morning and good luck from Austria. Oh, thank you, Stefan. Yeah. Good morning to you too. Or oh, good afternoon from uh, Australia. <clears throat> Are we going Team Jake and I try like this one? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. In the, um, I actually watched that like a couple of years ago. And let me tell you, bros. Oh, dead one. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate it. Are you still in Night Wait, Nightmare Dead One? Or did you finish Nightmare with the Druid? Yeah, let me tell you, dog, that Twilight is great. Twilight is really fun. You know how there's like good bad and there's bad bad? Twilight is good bad. I strongly recommend. And, uh, Alexandre, welcome aboard, man. Welcome to the Enterprise. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, dudes. I guess the plate would be nice. Twilight slaps. Twilight is so good. I could rewatch that right now, honestly. It's 10 out of 10. It's 10 out of 10 phenomenal. I could not recommend it highly enough. In fact, what are you boys doing here? You know? What are you doing here? Oh, what? What? <laughs> oh, snap! Oh, what the hell? Where did that come from? That 18% magic vine coming through in a major way. All right. So, I don't even know what this can be. I don't even know what this can be, but surely we want, it can be at least Nagel or Menald, right? Surely we'd want uh, Nagel here, right? No, oh, Menald. Oh no! <laughs> God damn it! 
Damn, that's not even it's not even the, the stage of the game where Minald is good. 20 life, replenish life, regen mana. God damn. It's been a hot minute since we found a Minald. It's been a hot minute. Yeah, I I don't know what else that could have dropped. Cause like a Raven for us or a dwarf would have been insane. But I don't know. Surely we can't get those Act 1 Nightmare. It could have been an SOJ, actually. It could have been SOJ. Because from Nightmare Andy, you can only get Nagel, Minald, SOJ. So surely there are the only three options here. Is there ever a stage where Minald is good? Yeah, super early. Super early on. <laughs> like uh, Act 1 normal. I don't actually know where they start dropping. And we want two socket in the bone shield. The character creation screen. <laughs> yeah, anything beyond character selection screen. <laughs> and they really fall off. <laughs> but for that moment in time, they're they're biz. <laughs> oh, flawless ruby is actually really good. Man, these guys are lighting us up. There's P8 here. So, it's a bit sketch, but... Getting pretty decent experience. Lulus Ruby is incredible. Yeah. Go down to P1. So we really want Thal. Ooh, Soul is great. Take a Soul. Soul is really nice. Because we can use soul for um for a lore if we found a two socket helm. Or we could just buy a vendor a two socket helm. And resist? No. Okie doke. Let's do another one of those and maybe try and make it a little bit more speedy. Still get good levels. Hey, what's up, Ikari? Fuck this stream. Oh, you sent an email back. Amazing, 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 amazing. I, I haven't. I didn't build up the courage to open my emails yesterday, <laughs> but I'll, I'll try. I'll try to do it. I know it sounds so pathetic, but um, yeah, just opening email is just a really. It's really hard for me sometimes. Sometimes there's like a little voice in my brain is just gonna be like, never mind. You, know, you guys don't need to hear the inner, inner workings of my anxiety. Yeah. Some days it's just like, nope. Oh! These freaking archers are nope. Okay, let's yeet on out of here. Oh, a chassis emote would be good. I mean, we do already have the, the, the gabbage emote. But, you know, more is more. Sometimes more is more, right, Pally? <clears throat> I mean, you could put both emotes together. The bin and chassis. The really hammer the, hammer the message home. As the saying goes, two emotes tell 3,000 words. That's so relatable. Yeah. I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> but also sorry you feel that way too, Corey. Okay, amazing. Good. Great to hear, Akari. Yeah. I will... I'll get back to you. 
If you guys have any um, emote ideas, then uh, sound them out in chat. Like custom emotes we could create. A big D. <laughs> a big D and a little D. <laughs> You know what I should do? I should freaking add a Lemurin emote. I should really do that. That's one I could just do myself. Schmuck's feet. <laughs> we do have the Hasty Hobbit, which does have a pretty prominent foot in there. Tear. We don't want Tear, we want Thal. Yeah, Lemrune's a good call, Steven. I could probably just even add in one of those myself. You know? Just upload a Lemrune. Four decks is quite nice. I think we actually keep four decks. Um, because decks is hit chance. And block chance. So that goes in there. We use this later pile. Angelics would be good. Oh, if we had two peaks Angelics. Does Angelics give you resistances though? Like, I don't think... I mean, the attack rating would be glorious. But unless it gives resistances, I don't think we could sacrifice two slots. Two slots where we need to be getting resistance from. Bubby dog for the cum cum. <laughs> A lemon rune. <laughs> These are all such good ideas. Wow, perfect hair. Really? Does it look good today? It's my bed head. My bed hair. A sap sucker emote. <laughs> oh, keep him coming, keep him coming. Just gotta find like a dozen five or res charms, yeah. I've only found one five or res charm that I can rem remember in my life. Yeah, pop in a safety emote. That's a good idea, yeah. I wonder how, because one of the other challenges with emotes is because they're so small, right? So, some things are kind of like hard to translate to as such a small, such a small image. But I'm sure there could be a way to make, there's a way to make most things work. Just a little TP. Could work. Or it could be like a portal with like a little, little goblin creature like halfway through it, you know? Like halfway in the portal. Like uh, how you go through portals in the game portal. <clears throat> Keep with the goblin theme. The goblin branding of the channel. That actually does work. I actually quite like that. What's up, Nova? Yeah, things are going really well, man. We're just in the start of Nightmare. We're hunting down a Thal rune, hopefully, and we can get a spirit online. Although, oh, small charm is kind of nice. I'm just contemplating, like, maybe we just keep rolling. You know, because the leaf is good enough for now. 11 attack rating, I think we keep that. But I really kind of like that portal idea. In the last stream, there are a few instances where lifesteal expired and you didn't notice. Yeah, so the life tap wore off and I didn't recast it. <laughs> that does that does sound like me. Yeah. I mean, sometimes... I'm sure there were times where I didn't notice, but uh, sometimes I did notice but kept kicking anyway. Yeah. 
But that's the joys of uh, being a being so slow. But by the time you get up there, your your brain's turned to mush. <laughs> and I do lots of stupid things like that. I don't think we're gonna go with um, life tap this time around, which which is gonna be painful. But uh, it'll mean there'll be less situations like that. <clears throat> What's one of the most memorable GG rare items you ever found that wasn't unique? Uh, I found this this pelt in the Chaos Sanctuary that was a f rare um, Falcon Mask like this that gave 5 to Tornado, 1 to Summon Grizzly, and gave like Fire Res and Life. Yeah. And it blew my mind. It blew my mind. It was by far the best pelt that I've ever found. But, uh... If you upload any rare item, then you're always just going to get roasted for it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's inevitable. <laughs> There'll be some degree of roasting. It's like, yeah, it's good, but, you know, it doesn't have this. You know? <laughs> it's like, well... It's it's always going to be missing something. It's never going to be perfect, perfect. That's like 1 in 10 billion, you know? <laughs> Still really good. Yeah, that was probably the most memorable. Yeah, the, I, I think the... The itemize... I mean, the itemization in D2 is just so good. Because it's like, I feel like everything is... Everything is useful to some degree, right? So it's like you've got white items for bases, like some of the blue items you always want to look at, you know, like these, like circlets and stuff, like some of the, some of the rare items you always want to look at, and it's like depending on the slot, like any one of them could be best in slot, like it could be a unique, it could be a rune mode, it could be a rare item, and like it could even be a blue item. So it's just like everything is kind of, kind of like in its place, you know? <clears throat> with a bit of kind of, with a bit of dominance from rune words. Like it could be better, but it's still, it's still so good all in all. Dol and a Ral. Wait, what makes Thal runes? Is it three orts? Three orts is a Thal? I don't know if we want to cube up three orts. I feel like orts are too valuable. Um, still do a couple more of these. We're getting good levels, good cash. But there might come a point in time where we just we just move, call it and move on. We'll see. Good morning from Germany. Hey, good afternoon from Australia. Welcome to the stream. Hope you hope you slept well. Uh, thoughts on next season? No major updates? Uh, I think it's disappointing, but uh, I'm also not salty about it, you know? Because it's kind of like... I, I just think every ch every se seasonal change is a bonus, you know what I mean? But I'm still... I'm still disappointed with it. <clears throat> Oh, oh. This plays eight, make it 800% harder. I think it might, I don't know off the top of my head. I think it might be 400%. Sad, but not unexpected. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Especially after last season as well. What did you really think we were going to get with season five? Uh, I didn't really think we'd get much, but what I hoped for would have been a couple of new rune words, like they added in with season three, or tweaking a couple of, you know, like bug fixy mechanical sort of stuff, like with season four, or tweaking some of the uniques 
a bit like they did with full Kathos in season four removing the knockback i hope that they took that and went further with it and just kind of rejigged unix a bit so you know some uh, that were never used were now in in consideration that's that's what i hope for any or all of those three things you know obvi obviously i don't expect them adding anything to the game like that requires a lot of work like terra zones but just tweaking stuff that's already there <clears throat> yeah dude thank you so much just love your channel keep it up oh thanks man dude, thank you so much for your generosity bro yeah i'm so glad you uh you like it thank you man to your ord ord rune's great we always want more ord runes The repairs. Thanks again, dude. Maybe some tweaks to fundamentals like attack rating. Yeah, attack rating definitely needs some love, doesn't it? It definitely needs some love. Or, or even more... Yeah, I guess that would be a bit... Bit, a bit of work like added adding more ways to to get raw attack rating not percentage attack rating but raw attack rating because at the moment just like the fact that i don't know the fact that people use two-piece angelics is a bit like it's telling <laughs> it's telling that people give up a ring slot and an amulet slot just to get more raw attack rating like that's 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 a bit gnarly to sacrifice those two things. Four hundred and fifty percent at P eight. Oh thank you, man. Yep. Right. Level thirty nine. Done that in a while. <laughs> What's up, cheese tags? <laughs> He's still going. Can you believe it? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Although the past four hours has gone so fast. Yeah, the past four hours has gone incredibly fast, bros. Yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, being so chill. It's really fun to hang out with you, dudes. Um, on today's episode of Regular Schmuck. Will he go all the way down to Ubers? Or will the Ubers get the best of Schmuck and bring him in his ultimate demise? <laughs> Wait a second. I've already had my ultimate demise. Or is it another, uh... Your worst ultimate demise so far, Schmuck. Yeah, let's tell you a bit more, I think. Oh, you're calling it, Charmin Extreme. 17 hours, 42 minutes. I like that, that's sub 18. I like that, I like where your head's at. Been watching the videos lately, good stuff. Oh, thank you, man. So glad you enjoy them. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Ooh, hot tamales. Oh, damn. I'm calling 1801. I mean, to be honest, I'll, I'll just be happy if we do it. Like, to com be completely honest. Just getting it done. Get out of here, buddy. Bucko. Oh, Ral Tal. Alright, I think we just keep rolling. Hopefully we'll find um, the thal along the along the way, and yeah, because like leaf is good enough. We got really good levels there. Got up to level thirty nine, so gained ten levels. Wow, they both sold for so little. <clears throat> I mean, eventually we'll get it with. Um, 
Hell Countess. Hopefully we don't have to wait that long. All right, like Marsh. And it's in the same dungeon, but the next difficulty, yeah. And that would have been after, probably after he does his leveling phase as well. So the strat is to get your levels, because you have to do at least Countess farming is Wind Druid. It really helps to get levels before you, before you do Hell Countess. It's like a bit sketch being Wind Druid. Um. So what he does to do that is he does P8 Lost City runs where he just uh, farms a Dark Elder basically. Oh, wow. Got blown up then. God damn. So that is, that's probably what we're going to do as well. Like do Dark Elder runs P8 until like level 70 or so. Low 70s. Yeah, <laughs> right, Jace. Oh my God. <laughs> Almost turned into a skeleton again there. What am I missing? Fissure. Should put a point into Armageddon or something. I don't think it synergizes, but... It's just free damage. There we go. Oh, no way! No way! There it is! Oh, there's the Thal rune. Oh, that's a lesson. There's a lesson somewhere in that. You know, sometimes in life, you just gotta move forward. You just gotta keep moving forward, and things will sort themselves out along the way. Oh, beautiful. Let's get that rolling when we get this waypoint. That's so funny. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, fate. The RNG gods had their way with me. Right, I'm gonna leave that guy. It's in an annoying position. The universe will give you what you need, yep. Even if what you need is a challenge for you to overcome. Okay, let's see here. Don't fluff this up, schmuck. Four sockets. Tell. Thal. Or 35? 33! I'll take a 33. I'll take that any day of the week. Except for Tuesdays. Only 35s on Tuesdays. Alright, Spirit and Rhyme. Beautiful! Get out of here. That stuff is so beneath us. Fan diddly tastic, bros. Gonna go Kano strats. Um, a lot of it will be co just just copying from what Kano did, with some with some differences. Yeah. So when he did it in, so he did it in just under nine hours. Is the he might have done it quicker since then, but like there's a vod of him doing it in a world record time of like just under nine hours from like eight months ago now or something. And some differences between what we're going to try and that is he put points into fire claws, but I think we saved those points and dump them into cyclone armor just for a little bit of extra, you know, defense, especially against like Mephisto and stuff like that. So that will be one point of divergence. Um, when he did that run, he farmed the D keys as Wind Druid. I think we try and farm them as Fissure. I think they'll work better with my, um, my noob tendencies. And, yeah, there'll be a couple of differences in gear as well. So, when he did it, he had, he, he got super lucky and found Akira's. Um, that's probably not going to happen to us. He did have a treachery, which hopefully we have as well. And hopefully we have a duress on top of that as well. <laughs> but we'll see. 
As we all know that sometimes Countess just doesn't cooperate. Why not hardcore? Because uh, I've never done this on, on softcore. Yeah, I've never even attempted Ubers as Druid on softcore. <clears throat> and we're probably going to die a bit later on. Volcano Synergize. Yeah, thank God. So Mask we could use as a base. Because Mask gets three sockets. Three sockets. He also has pure South Australian talent. Yeah, he's also a lot better than me. <laughs> a lot, lot better. Wow, two four dex charms. That's actually quite nice. 1 to 24 through 29. Fast, fast. Obviously. That goes without saying. So. <laughs> Get off the high horse. <laughs> Wait. All right, all right. <laughs> My little, my little momentary blip last stream. <laughs> oh, oh, oh crap. No, it, it, in hindsight, it, it was just one troll. It was just two trolls. Yeah. It was just two, two individual trolls that just came in quick succession, you know? And I didn't have enough time to bounce back from the first one. So I was, uh, so they got me, you know? They outnumbered me. <laughs> uh, running's good for just building up that, that general resilience to that sort of um, inevitability on the internet. <laughs> Nova. <laughs> Schmuck goes Lindy on chat, me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm just farming clips over here, Nova. I'm just farming clips, you know? I'm doing what I gotta do to keep afloat in this uh, tumultuous YouTube landscape, playing a very niche game, you know? Just generating drama. It's all for the views. Gotta pay the troll toll, yeah. <laughs> I fed him. I fed him a little bit last week, so I felt felt bad about that. You know, you don't want to feed him. But. <clears throat> oh well, live and learn. May you be blessed with holy vigor in your noble struggle against the darkness. <laughs> That is one of the best messages I've read all day. Thank you, and you too. Ooh, ooh, hello. One to strength. One to strength is so awkward, because it's like, oh, uh, we probably should keep it, but I just, I just can't be bothered. Like, there's not much reason why our inventory shouldn't be full of charms at the end. Like, it's only for quality of life with, like, drinking thawings and antidotes that it's nice it not to be full. Favorite class? Uh, my favorite is Sorceress. Yeah, I, I just find Sorceress so fun, for me personally. Pretty, um... Pretty cliche on that front. Oh, go over there. Dude, SC, man. Remastered D1 would be so good. Like, so, so good. Oh. You know, I also think D1 would work really, really well on handheld, like on a Switch. I think it would work perfectly. But it's basically just a roguelite almost, you know what I mean? Like not, you know. It's, it's along the same vein. 
You know what I mean? Just like diving down layers into the church, into the church. Like it, it gives me like a, um, that sort of vibe, like a Halls of Torment sort of vibe almost. Yeah, roguelike lineage. Yeah, kind of like in the same, the same feel almost. Uh, let's get rid of that. So crown, I think, also goes to three sockets. As well as that mask we found. Sweet. I'm just going to sell. In a sight. A couple of things here to sell. Bob. Broke as hell, another rock to sell. Beautiful. We are P8 here, right? I should probably be putting skill points somewhere else. I just don't know where. <laughs> I guess we just keep dumping them into summons. I mean, into, uh, into Fissure Synergies. If you get decent gear, Ubers will be a breeze with Fury. Ooh, I don't know about a breeze. <laughs> yeah. If we found a low and a Mal rune. And a five socket phase blade. I think we'll be in the clear. Schmack press. Um. T I L D E for me. Trust. Much quicker. T I L D E. What does that mean? D-I-L-D. Have to explain that to me. Just above. Oh, there. Oh, this thing. Wait, when do you use that? Tilda? Oh, is that what that key means? It opens your belt. Yeah. I press that sometimes, don't I? I feel like this key is sometimes bugged for me. Does that happen for you, for you guys? Like, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work? Is that just a me issue? Hey, thanks for your, um, your donation again. I'll, uh, I'll hit Tilda more for you. Are we out of... No, we're still good. Oh my god! Bro! There was like 10 tellies there that didn't work. God damn. P1. What a map. Remember accidentally pressing it as a kid and being... Pissed that your belt wouldn't go away. <laughs> it's broken, man. You'll have to buy a new buy a new computer, you know? <laughs> Just buy a new computer. That's the only fix. Yeah. Thank you so much again though, Nova. I really appreciate it. And scale mail is this CBF? Is that CBF there? Or is that like poison res or something? Can't be frozen. With hit recovery and max cold res. I wonder if there's a use a use for that. Before attack rating. 44 attack rating we probably keep. Shame that's such a low roll. Might actually be a use for that. I just don't know yet.
Reload windows so the belt will go away. Yeah, just reinstall it. Just do a reinstall. <laughs> Should I go on keto so I can look as handsome as schmuck? Press 1 for yes and press tilde for no. Easy tilde. Easy tilde. I feel like keto... Like, all that matters is caloric deficit, right? I feel like people overcomplicate it. You know what I mean? It's just gotta be in deficit. Um, My freedom bucks only go to the IRS and schmuck. <laughs> oh, what an honor. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, hopefully in that order. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually kind of nice when the American dollar is really strong, you know? <laughs> like, as an international YouTuber, because you get paid in US dollars. So, like, they convert whatever it is to your currency. You know, the one time a month that they pay you. So it's kind of like, yes! Yes! <laughs> Keep tanking Australian dollar, you know? <laughs> it's like, who's, whose side am I on here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, G stacks up. It's funny you say that. Look as good as schmuck because uh, over the weekend I was saying before you got here that one of my old professors just like out of the blue just called me fat. He's like, man, you've gotten fat. You need to run more. It's like, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Ruthless. There was a photo of me that wasn't the most flattering angle though. So I can kind of see where it's coming from. That's savage, yeah. It was pretty savage. <laughs> but, you know. It's, that's, that, that's the kind of... Um, the banter that me and that guy had. Well, you're not fat. I, I Yeah, I know. I'm not fat. I, I do... I could lose like 10 kilos, though. Because I weigh a bit over... I weigh like 100 kilos now. <clears throat> um, I should probably be like... Just, to, just around the 90 mark. Low 90s. Maybe not 10 kilos. Maybe like 8 kilos or something. What's a kilo? <laughs> It's about 1.2 squirrels. Yeah. Kilo's about 1.2 squirrels. Now, don't ask me how one gets 0.2 of a squirrel. Please don't ask me that. Or else your boy... Your boy's getting banned. 2.2 uh, pounds, right? How many medallion rings do you weigh? <laughs> Wait, what's this? Wait, we've been getting so lucky with uniques, man. I feel like they're dropping like flies. Is this the... What's this one? That could actually be useful. That could actually be useful. We have to think about, like, we could honestly wear this. I was thinking like, oh, maybe we wear this. So we have open wounds here, then make an open wounds belt and make blood gloves and then have like a black weapon. So we'd have roughly, you know, 40%, 40, 40 to 45% open wounds and, and then 45 to 50% crushing blow. 
But one of the beautiful things about Malice, which gives 100% chance of open wounds, is it has a minus defense. So I still think we want to use Malice for that minus defense. It's just so important, just so you can hit Ubers. This is definitely a very interesting find. It's a really interesting find. And we could socket it with something as well. Something. Something to chew on for sure. Uh, I'm just going to pop that. How's it go? Yeah. I've got a skill point. Oh, it's that one. Emilio's stoked. <laughs> I don't know if we flap around with mercs. <laughs> Wait, that, surely that wasn't, yeah. That was just from a regular minion as well. That wasn't even from Radamant. I guess Emilio could help for... Because we, we'll need to clear so we've got a good face space to fight Andy. As, as in Lilith. So Emilio would help with that. And then also just like help with the playthrough through hell. Which can be a bit, you know, sketch sometimes. Yeah, I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. I think we just run with these bros. Get murky boy. I'm thinking about it. The thing is, it's just a lot of cash to keep him alive. You know what I mean? And like the cash is going to be really important for tellying later on. And um, yeah, that's that's the primary concern. It's just the cash. Get him after the runes for inside. We do... Oh. Shit. We actually have the inside runes. We have a soul rune. I was thinking we'd make it a law with it. But, um... We'd have to shop for a two-socket helm. I, I still think I prefer using our soul rune on us. For the one-to-all skills. <laughs> what do you think of D4 and why is it butthole? <laughs> I just think it's undercooked, man. I just think, uh... It needs... It needs better chase items. Yeah. I think that's the, the big thing. I mean, I think it needs lots of things. But, uh, it needs better chase items. I also think, personally, this is just straight up bias, right? This is straight up, straight bias. Just because I'm, you know, D2 is my main. But I think the way that items are presented also matters a lot as well. Like, it, at least for me, like, a part of it's just nostalgic attachment and part of it's just like I said the bias because you know D2 is where I'm coming from right but just like how big they are you know you can I feel like you can see them better and you can get more fond of them kind of and get more excited by them when they're real big and clear and distinctive you know what I mean I'm trying to think of a good example because at the moment like, Ginger made a video where he talked about this in a lot of detail. But it's like, you know, if, for example, if you got, like, a Death's 
Death Fathom or a D Web, you can kind of see it in your inventory and you know exactly what it is, and you can be like, that's a bloody beauty right there, you know, that's that's one in a million. And with D4, they're just these tiny little squares. Which is good because you can fill your inventory with more stuff, but I just feel like you get less of an attachment to your items. You know what I mean? <clears throat> But also, that's not the big issue. I think the big issue is they just need more. No. Um, I think we go down to P1. Hopefully we can get as... Even half as good a maggot as normal mode. That was insane. That was the best maggot I've ever had. It's lacking a lot in a lot of areas, yeah. There's, there's definitely more than that that it needs. Um, but I think that's the biggest one. It's just the, um, the itemization. At least for me. I mean, of, of course it's different for everyone. And I, I, I know, and I know that a lot of you bros, well, there would, would be a few of you bros out there that are still playing it and enjoying it. So hopefully me kind of complaining about it doesn't um doesn't in detract from your enjoyment from it or critiquing it i think i've got all the complaining out of my system four teen charges left wow that was a good maggot Oh, thanks, Corey. Thank you, man. Yeah. I'm sure, uh, I'm a slow peg, so I'm sure you'll, hopefully you'll, you'll be able to catch the end. And we'll definitely need that luck. Definitely need that luck. I complained about Diablo 4 for 100 hours. That's actually a good video, honestly. And if it's just a 100 hour long video, like a 100 hour long live stream of just someone complaining about it, for a hundred hours long. I feel like people would actually tune in for that. It's gotta think like Mr. Beast. <laughs> I honestly think they need to bring back Magic Fine. I think that's what it really is. I don't know. Cause um, like I'm kind of in an echo chamber, right? I mean, we all are to some degree when you're on the internet, like in your own little, you're, 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 you're niched off into a little bubble, like not even intentionally, just the YouTube algorithm will do it for you. Um, but I think a, a, a lot of players coming from D3, like, don't like Magic Find, and they're kind of glad that it's not really a thing in D4. Like, obviously, there, there'll be individual variation, but... I think liking Magic Find is is mainly a D2 thing. D3 is fun on Switch. Yeah, honestly, just playing playing D3 on Switch would be huge. I I can I saw D2 on Switch the other day and I contemplated downloading it. You know, <laughs> just to play in bed. Just the best. I've been playing a lot, a bit of um, Vampire Survivors recently, though. Yeah. Like getting really stuck into Vampire Survivors on Switch. I've almost got all the unlocks. I've got like 120 out of 139 or something. But I'm sure there are like secret unlocks that I haven't even unlocked the capability to unlock yet. Do twos on Switch? Yeah, it was on sale like. Um, like a week ago. Hopefully it still is. Yeah, if you're interested. <clears throat> yeah. I agree regarding the echo chambers. Because we like D2 here. So everyone who talks about it. How it's better than D4. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess the, you know, the tricky bit is, is discerning, like, is, you know, wh whether some things are, are, are just because you're in an echo chamber or whether something transcends the echo chamber, you know? Like, I heard someone say that the other day, I heard someone say that, look, the the people who don't like D4 are just a vocal minority on tw on Reddit and Twitter. And then I was like, I, I just don't think that's the case, you know? I think it, 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 tra it extends beyond that. But it did make me think to myself, it's like, you know, wait, is, is, is all of this kind of dissatisfaction with it, is it, is that just because I'm in like an echo chamber? But I, I, I do really think it transcends beyond that. And I think the, um, like the, like the Twitch viewership, for example, is a good example of that. <clears throat> But then I also don't know what the play account is doing. Yeah, I think it's, 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 I think, I, d I don't agree with that take of, you know, it's just a vocal minority on Reddit and Twitter. I, I think they missed the mark on that one. I think it's transcends beyond that. But it, it was interesting to think about. It did get me thinking. Oh no, it's right there! <laughs> I tallied like three times, you've got to be kidding me! Oh, that's a, re that's a redo. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> yeah! He's dead. <laughs> Freaking noob streamer, such a noob. Oh dear, that was such a clumsy death as well. People that don't like something are louder than people that don't like something. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's the thing. It's it's kind of like. But that's what I was thinking about is like, oh, is it just that the people that hate it are super loud? And is it not actually as bad as it's being made out to be? Yeah. But I, I still think even factoring in the fact that people who are mad about so something are, are, are almost always the loudest ones. I think even factoring that in, like the game does have, you know, fundamental issues. <clears throat> but personally, I don't think it's a zero out of 10, you know? I don't think it's a one out of 10. I don't think it's a two out of 10. I think, I think it's like a six out of 10, D4, personally. I think if you're, if you're rating it like a three out of 10, then it's, you, know, you you might have too much emotion tied up in there. Okay, we are out of TPs. Up to the earth. Welcome to the stream. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You just missed me dying. Just missed it. But wait around five minutes, and I'm sure you'll get another death. Ooh, this could be four sockets. All right, if this is four sockets, then we'll make a merc. We'll, we'll get your boy Emilio. Oh, actually, 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 actually. No, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Ah, no, 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 no. Why would that go there? Got him. Please don't be four, please don't be four, please don't be four. <laughs> For you, I hate that guy. Freaking Emilio guy. So from my point of view, I go play this going well. <laughs> yeah, zero deaths, baby. <laughs> May as well be hardcore if you haven't died. Just got it on Switch. Nice, Andrew. 
Oh, I'm so excited for you to like smack it in bed, smack it on the train. Well, I really just said I'm excited for you to smack it in bed on stream. Next minute I get cancelled for uh, sexual harassment. Sexual harassment to my viewers. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies, Dominus. Um, I would argue 5 out of 10, but that's me. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fair, you know? If you're in the realm of 5 to 6 to 7, you know? Because that's just, that's just personal preference, right? But I think, like, 2 to 3 out of 10, like, that's... That's just emotion talking, surely, right? Here we go again, yep. We're not too, actually, we're actually reasonably far along. So we're uh, towards the end of Act 2 Nightmare. Um, and we're level 45. So in this one, we are going to try and get to a higher level. What the hell was that? Did you guys see that? Is that like Nova or Shockwave? We're going to try and get a few more levels than we did with the Assassin. So I want to be like at least... At least like 75-ish. We could make Malice in that. 23 durability. Surely that wouldn't run out. 23 durability. Because we just need to do... All of Ubers with it. Surely 23 durability would be fine. That'll give us a bit more base damage. Can Ubers do Druid? Can, can Druid do Ubers? Yeah. Yeah. If you're good at the game, you can do it. Now, whether I can do it, that's the big question mark. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next 12 hours. And we'll find out. You would run out? Yeah, it's not worth the risk. It would just stress me out. It would just stress me out. You're right. I'll just get stressed by it. Thank you for reeling, it, reeling me in there. Getting too excited. The base damage doesn't matter too much anyway. It's about the, um, the crushing blow and the open wounds. Neil's invested now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Neil. I mean, if we don't get it this attempt, then we're just going to go again. Yep. I'm a stubborn schmuck. But, uh, yeah, every class can do Ubers. Um, there's just, a, like, a couple of... It's almost like having a checklist for a lot of them. So especially if you if you have some sort of strategy so you can isolate each uber uber boss then you're um, then that makes it a lot easier. So using something like cloak of shadows, like a cloak of shadows charge, which we can get from the N Nadir rune word, really helps with isolating Mephisto, who is a um who's a pain, who's a pain in the butt. And then trapping, like, Diablo and Bale's minions in the house at the top right. But you'll see it. You'll see it all in real time. Once we're up to there. <laughs> Why put more stress on your life? Exactly. I got enough. I got enough. I got, I've got a very stressful, uh, very stressful job. <laughs> um, bada bop boop. Would source without harmony be possible? Uh, source without harmony. I'm sure you could do it. You should could pull it off. I mean, I'm thinking in the context of like one to Ubers. So like, there are things you're gonna find and things you're not gonna find. 
Like, if you were Source and you had time to, you know, farm the gear that you wanted, then absolutely. Like, a lot of people use, like, Blizzard and, and Bone Wall from, um, like, whatchamacallit, Marrow Walks. But in a 1 to Ubers, it would be a lot more tricky. Because, you know, you're just, for the most part, taking what gear you get. <laughs> Although, some schmucks do like to target, far target farm certain runes that start with a U and end with an arm. Surely Source can lure the miners, it's key. Yeah, I just think like, like the Duriel fight as Source would be so sketch, right? Like that would be so brutal, fighting Duriel as Source with no harmony, with no revives. Him just like constantly, like, running around, like, holy freezing you and smacking you in the face. That would be so sketch. But I'm, I'm sure you, you, there would be a way to do it. I think it would just be really hard. Yeah. Am I talking about luring miners? <laughs> yeah, luring miners and then smacking them. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, five strength is nice. Five strength is same as five dex, which is the same as five vitality. Um, let's go here. Vote for next stream to be one to Uber's source. I have done two failed one to Uber's source. Yeah, got up to bail. And then I just needed to practice the bail fight. Although that was pre next hit delay changes. So I'd probably need to practice that fight before doing a one to Ubers as source again. And I was thinking of doing something real crazy like Barb or something like that. But just the leveling of the Barb would just be so rough. <laughs> It's like getting the bub to hell mode. Getting the bub through hell mode. That would be a long, long stream. Like that, that might be over 24 hours. But it would be huge. If slash when we pulled it off. Um, Where's half moon again? Is that over here? Is that on the other side? Love the music here. Yeah, other side. I must have missed the last stream. Luring the miners was mentioned like 96 times. It's my favorite phase. It's my favorite phase. The luring phase. It's so satisfying. Like, luring Izzy, I find so fun. Like, that's my favorite thing in all of Diablo, luring Izzy. Um, Kali FXT also did Bob Ubers with Heaven's Brethren set. Ooh, Heaven's Brethren. I don't even know what that set gives you. God, I'm so hungry. It's almost the part of the stream where I um I just I just speed run my uh my beans and rice. It gives you AIDS. 
Uh, found a perfect J Talon the other day. Hell yeah. I don't even know what um, J Talon rolls. That's got variable rolls on the all res, right? And, and what else? It's always nice to find the perfect stuff, isn't it? Found any good drops yet? We've found one really good drop. Um, I'll just show you. I, it's in the stash. <clears throat> so it's this ring. 6% mana stolen per hit. 20 to life. Replenish life 7. And regenerate mana 20%. Insane. No. But in all seriously, we found this. 10% FCR and 28% lightning res. Um, we found, you know, I have Etlich, so bonus skill there. We got the spirit and the rhyme online. And then any of this stuff good? We found this, which could be interesting if we decide to use it. But the best thing is this ring. 28 lightning res, 10 FCR. That's stash, that's not fire. Oh, that's my other ring. Um, plus one to beam fermentation. <laughs> yeah, it's just the same thing as last time. It's just like, it's essentially taco mix. Like, it's just like, you know, mince beans, like taco mix seasoning and like a couple of other goodies in there. And then on brown rice. It's delicious, and it's like so easy to make, and it's like relatively cheap, and you can just make it in bulk. I've been really enjoying making that, or eating that recently. The most hated ring could actually be useful. Yeah, I don't think we'll find a use for it, but... It came a bit too late. If it came a couple of acts earlier, it might have actually been good. Right there. I should probably speed up a little bit. I'm going real slow, like killing lots of enemies. Like on the assassin, at this point we were beating nightmare mode so <laughs> we're three x behind oh well <laughs> we've been chilling gonna need more pots i think this is p1 Daddy Duriel. Green Duriel looks so cool, doesn't he? He looks way better green. Yeah, and I also really like, um, I like normal Diablo, the red Diablo. I feel like green suits him. It's its color. It really brings out his eyes, you know? Or her eyes? It's a chick, right? The Dural model is so cool. It's just so cool. Like, to me, this Dural looks, like, way cooler than D4 Dural. And, like, the face? Oh. Non-binary. <laughs> What's up, Gustavo? <laughs> Dural is a guy? Okay, my bad. I just don't see gender is all. Splint mail. Freezes target, cold res. Magic damage. Oh, we found this in Project Diablo 2. 
kind of gave us bonus cold damage or something. Yeah, doing well, customer. Yeah, we're going slow. We're um we're not being speedy today, but slow and steady. Good cash. Got good um good money supplies is nice. One of the perks of being slow. <laughs> I didn't see gender when I went to Thailand. Oh man, you're gonna get me in trouble, bro. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> I can't remember the default dual fight. My screen was half blocked by a wall. It was pretty cool. It was really cool. It kind of got like, just, it's just the nature of the beast when you're streaming. Like, things like that will inevitably get spoiled for you. Like, people accidentally spoil it. You know? <laughs> like, that's not intentionally. They're like, hey, have you gotten up to this yet? Or how cool is this? You know? <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> I'm just going to put something in the microwave. Crack open some licorice. <laughs> All right, Matthias. Pray that we can go straight from spider to flayer. We also want to be PA. Oh, it is PA. Wow. They just melt, that's all. So dumb. This guy's min-maxing, reaching the micro from the gaming setup. Yeah, the joys of living in a little tiny studio. Like, I can reach my fridge and my microwave. I'm in my kitchen right now. And my bedroom. I love it. So cozy. So convenient. Unless you have someone over that's like kind of nowhere to sit, you know, <laughs> there's nowhere to just chill. Nice. Probably shouldn't have just drank those, but. Oh, man. P8, they hit so hard. Should be more careful. We'll actually use the spirit and rhyme. I completely forgot I was on telly stuff that whole time.
Okay. That circlet could be two socket. So it could be our law base. Nope. 49 attack rating. I guess we keep that for later. Low roll, but free attack rating.
Oh boys, I wolfed that down quick. I should really get a uh, a food speed run timer going. Maybe I should get the official speed run timer for that one. S submit a world record. Oh goddamn, Gia Stax is still with us. Uh, <laughs> close captions. Oh no no. no. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I had that so fast. Could honestly be in a bit of strife here. Just fighting back the hiccups. If Joey Chestnut a run for his money, is he like uh, one of those bros that eats really fast? Schmuck bang channel when. <laughs> I mean, the name Schmuck bang is just way too good to pass up that opportunity. So it looks like we have to go through um, Great Marsh again, unfortunately. Alas. Should play elevated music or something while eating. Yeah, and while shopping for telly stuff, I really just need to f get some ro find some reliably royalty free stuff. Yeah, because I'm a bit scared to do that because like last time it got copyright claimed. Yeah. So I really just need to take um, take the time just to find some stuff that's actually royalty free, rather than just says it's royalty free and then we'll copyright strike you later. What's up, Michael? Fuck the stream, dog. We're playing, praying for Flayer here, Michael. We're praying for Flayer. Come on. Surely. Freaking surely, bros. Will you be annoying to kill? Sort of. Superior wolf head. Solar summon die wolf. Adam. That is really good to know, Dead One. Stream Beats by Harris Heller. He's got tons of, tons of stuff. He's a fellow YouTuber who hated the copyright stuff, so he created his own music, partnered with people, and it'll never get claimed. Oh, that's amazing. I'll have to check that out. Fantastic. I wonder how, how he makes his money. I guess it could be through ad revenue or... Yeah, I'll have to look into it. Because at the very least, like some eating music and some telly stuff shopping music. <clears throat> it does it for the love of the music. Nice. A more noble man than I. Joey's eaten like 70 plus hot dogs in 10 minutes. That's honestly so insane. Like it's so impressive how people can do that. Like there's this um, this guy on YouTube I occasionally watch. He's like, uh, like the guy that eats lots of food that has a beard. His name's like man with a beard or something. I can't remember exactly. And just seeing the plates of food. 
Oh, what? We're in flare. I didn't even see when that happened. Seeing, like, the plates of food that he eats is so insane. It's unbelievable. Beard meat food! Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, that sounds about right. Beard meets food. It's unbelievable when you see it and it's just like, what the hell? How's that all going in, you know? Like, how do you even have space for that? Some wounds on there. He's epic. It's nuts. I think it's, it's, it's crazy because it's like... There are some crazy things. Oh, jeez, Dax. <laughs> Thank you, man. Is that for turning mute off? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to chew this licorice for you? <laughs> Thank you so much, dog. G-Stacks MVP. Yeah, G-Stacks is a legend. Um, That's crazy, like, with people that eat heaps of food, it's like we can all to somewhat degree understand how hectic it is because we have a point of reference you know like everybody eats but it's like sometimes people do stuff that's super crazy and it's like oh it's hard to tell like how how hard is that actually just because i've got no point of ref frame of reference you know what i mean but i eat all the time o almost every day Um, we'll get that, we'll get that. And we've got six tellies, so we'll need to... We'll need to repair here. Let's use the six, and then maybe use an alt rune. Ah, that was such a mistake. That was so dumb. That was so dumb. I should have just repaired. I should have just repaired and, like, wasted six tellies. Rather than try and min max it. And go down to P1, obviously. Noob schmuck. So noob. I can eat large amounts of food, just not fast. Yeah, me too. You should have seen the size of what I just wolfed down then. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot of mince and rice. <laughs> I should have done a little reveal on camera. Like all of the actual mukbang people. Like bring it up to center frame. Being like, here, take a bite. You know you want to. Uh, you schmuck, you definitely like Hanson? Hansen. Like Chris Hansen? Like the catch a predator guy? Got a leaf? We had a leaf, but we ditched the leaf. Yeah, we ditched the leaf, and now we've got um, Spirit and Rhyme. Yep. Got a nice early shell rune. Got a shell rune from Normal Forge, but from the. Uh, well, but not from the. Like, smacking the thing from the guy that dropped the hammer. Making new channel schmuck eats. Are you doing Ubers this stream? That's a plan. Yeah, that's a, that's a plan. Hoping to do it in uh, less than 18 hours total. Oh, our stamina. I'm just going to tell him more. We're going so slowly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cast. I was clicking like a freaking maniac there, bros. Okay. Be cool. Woosar. Sometimes in life, you got to go slow to go fast. God damn. <laughs> I was clicking, I promise. I was clicking in multiple different spots. Oh, uh, but maybe we run out of charges. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Turns out, yet again, 
It was my fault. I... <laughs> that one's on me. Also the other one. And the, the time before that as well. Alright. Make sure you have charges. No more charges. I couldn't believe we burned through 33 that fast. <laughs> Jeez, tags. Get it together. Just a momentary blip, cheese tags. A momentary blip. But back on track now. It's a bloody long way away though, isn't it? God damn. That is going to be the furthest. That's going to be the furthest flare could possibly be. Just a fully straight spider forest and then a fully straight great marsh. Ooh, this is nice though. You need a little boost, yeah. I needed something. I needed some coaching. A pep talk. Pull yourself together, man. You're slipping. You want to be called an average schmuck one day? Well, you're not going to get there like this. I'm going to earn that title. Alright, pop that there. Don't make me fly to Australia, I'll give you a lesson lesson or two. Yeah, if we could just fly over as the crow flies. Slowly working your way up to average. If we pull this off, we'll be one step closer. Yep. Eep! Oh my god. Not again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Let's pop a safety. And we've got 15 charges. That's better. Let's actually kill some enemies. We should still be on P1. There we go. Just like nothing happened. <laughs> pop a safety counter. <laughs> <laughs> 1,210. <laughs> Hopefully we can get that to quadruple digits before the end of the stream. Or quintuple digits. Are you going to do one to Ubers as Necro? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It, if, if we can practice it and find a way to do it, Oh my god, now we don't have these. Oh my word. I guess we just walk until we find a TP. We will need heal every healing potion we can get. There we go. The Lord. Um, yeah, if there's if there's a way if we could do it basically Yeah, if we could come up with a strategy and Kind of somewhat reliably pull off one to ubers as a necro using stuff you find along the way Then uh, yeah, then I think it would be fun to do it at some point in time It'd be really fun to do it with all the classes. You know what I mean? I feel like that would be such a cool accomplishment Obviously, we do the easiest classes first. Like, we've already done Paladin, Amazon, and um, Assassin. But we're running out of easy classes, boys. In fact, we've kind of already run out. <laughs> dun, dun, dun.
Wouldn't necro be easier since you always have harmony? Yeah, you've you've got the revives and you have curses as well, which is awesome. But what works really well with the harmony is having the immolation damage. So it's tick damage, which stops them from healing and does that last little bit of damage. You know, once the crushing blows stop crushing. So we'd need like another source of damage like I don't know what that would be like maybe a merc um if we could keep a merc alive or like bone spear or something yeah or maybe just the minion damage with amp damage on or something yeah we'd have to practice is paladin hard paladin is the easiest yeah see by far the easiest paladin like in a, in another dimension, comparable to everyone else. Um, what's the plan for miners and mages? Are you gonna go fury? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we'll go fury werewolf. Yeah. And basically, just yeah, just smack them in the face with open wounds and crush and blow. And then, for stuff like Lilith. We'll probably need to cheese the portal a lot. So like get a couple of hits in, go back in the portal, heal up Marla, get more, get a couple more hits in. Like it's going to be, well hopefully it's going to be very cheesy. But it could all uh, go up in flames, we'll see. I think there's 65% chance we pull it off. And I like those odds. Some strats use the mage spiders from Kurast for the poison. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so fiddly doing that. But yeah, that is something to... Yeah, because then, you, then you've got the poison as the anti-heal. Yeah. So fiddly doing that. Because if you leave and you come back in... Then you lose the poison, I'm pretty sure. I think. Could be wrong, though. Summoner works well for Ubers, Skelly plus revives. Even with trash gear, like even if you don't have, you've got junk gear. Fury Druid, even with best in slot feel, gear feels challenging. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely out of my comfort zone with this one. Big time. Big time. Okay, we need TPs. The one I'm most excited about trying it next with is barbarian but just getting there with barb is going to be so brutal just like leveling a barb oh there's a shale rune there did i pop a safety i did didn't i well there's a waypoint right next to it anyway yeah just getting there with barb is like and leveling a barb is just going to be so slow It'll be such an ordeal. Like, that might be longer than a 24-hour stream. But, oh, man, that taste of sweet, sweet victory, if we pull it off, would be just glorious. Okay. I... have been dying way too much. My bad. Let's, um, let's dull it in a little bit. Okay, no TPs. In the interest of preserving brain cells for later. Do 
Do you see Kano run, just do his run with the barb? I didn't watch the whole thing, but I did hear him talk about that jail strat, like farming jail till like level 20 or something like that. I assume farming the elite, the elites in jail. Yeah. Like he did uh, normal, like beat normal in an hour and 28 minutes or something. What's up, Santana? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm doing really well, dude. Yeah, doing really well. Um, going real slowly in this um in this playthrough, but really well overall. I need to um I need to get a regal on probably. Thanks, so let some of us keep up. Yeah. <laughs> Just doing it for you, Matt. <laughs> I just can't use the chicken head fouls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a sucker for the stats. I'm just playing Moneyball here. I would wear a freaking raccoon on my head if it gave me bonus extra, extra skills. But, yeah. The antlers... Easily look the coolest, don't they? And placebo, thank you so much, man. Uh, seven chapter series, one to Ubers with all classes. Uh, the setup is you can once transfer items from previous run using the shared tab, but you have to do all classes. Oh, that's a cool idea, man. That's a really cool idea. So you just start with Paladin and then and then do all the easy ones first and then you end with Barb or something like that. But by that time you would have found some good, like a good melee weapon and stuff like that. That's a really cool idea. You'd have to explain yourself over and over again. Or I guess you just write the rules in the description and every 10 minutes when someone asks you just like, it's in the description. It's in the description. <laughs> That's a really, really cool idea, though. I like that a lot. So you can transfer, like, one item between runs or multiple items. It'd be kind of cool if it's just one item. Still hoping this man does a community one to Uber's run one day. What would that be? Is that, like... Just like doing it on online with you bros. An eight man. Uh, the only problem is that that means you have to organize stuff, you know. Oh, Santana. Welcome aboard, dude. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, broski. Thank you, man. You feel better like this. <laughs> feel better being green. Yeah, I wonder if we could do... I wonder if we could do... One to Uber's P8 Paladin. And do that in one stream, like one session. I don't know how hard Ubers would be on P8, but it's like Smite, you know? You know what I mean? Ginger's doing it at the moment. Oh, true. He's definitely not doing that in one session. I did actually watch a little bit of that.
V8 Ubers would be rude, but a smarter with life type would still wreck it. Yeah, as long as you can get them all on their own. Right? If you you would have to trap the you would have to trap most of the minions, right? And then you could just smack them with your life tap. The ginger one is on episode five. Okay. And he streams for like 12 hours at a time. <laughs> so it would just be like a 50 hour stream. <laughs> yeah. Smack him with the lambs. P8 Uber's a tanky ass. Okay. Maybe it's a bit too ambitious. A little bit too ambitious of me. But you know. It would be cool. It would be cool. I think we're still P1 here. Dreaming is dreaming for days, yeah. <laughs> Basically just do a uh, an ac accidental subathon. Just without the subbing. Basically just a very long stream. Ginger streams mainly consist of chinchillas. That's incredible. They're so cute. I love how it goes under his shirt. It's like the cutest thing ever. How am I meant to compete with that, you know? God damn it. <laughs> Give me a chance, Ginge. Give me a freaking chance here, bro. Ah, oh, you healed each other, you little weasels. Got him. Burnhelm is... I should just clear all this stuff. This is annoying me. I should just clear that. I should have done that a long time ago. Get a dog? Nah. My place is so small. So small. Animals are so expensive. Gotta, like, look, look after them and stuff, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> I guess I do know a couple of vets. Um, <clears throat> yeah, smash the emojis if you get a gifted sub. I love the custom emojis. And we're gonna get more. More, 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 more. There we go. Got one of my feet picks on the right. Oh, geez, Dax. Thank you so much, man. G stacks with another five gifted. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate it, man. Slam those, uh, slam those emojis, bros. Slam them. Hey. Need an OMAC emoji. <laughs> <laughs> you mean a CK Williams emoji? <laughs> Why don't we just leave it there? Screw these bros. And Tleroth with five gifted as well. Thank you so much, Tleroth. Thank you so much. Welcome aboard, 10 new members. Welcome to the Enterprise. The largest Manal manufacturer in the Southern Hemisphere. Statistically, factually, but not verifiably. Okay. Let's get this one. This one. The growing Manal gang, yeah. <laughs> Building up an army. <laughs> Started from the bottom now, Manal. <laughs> Speaking of, how many Manalt so far? One. One Manalt so far. Unfortunately. I wish I could say none. I wish I could say not enough. But in fact, it's too many. 
Rookie numbers. We're one of one, though. We're one of one. A hundred percent of unique rings that have dropped have been Manal's. Did you have Cyclone Armor? Uh, we don't have it yet. Yeah, we're gonna get it later. It just costs like two skills to get it, you know what I mean? Oh, it's like we're gonna have to go for a walk. Unless there's an aura in there that I can't see. What runes are we going for? We'd love a Lem rune for Treachery and an Um rune for Duress. Yeah, that'd be two really big hits. Oh, wow, 35 fire res. Let's keep him in case we want to use these later. Proposed to my wife with a Manal's replica. Um, big blue skin. <laughs> I like how you said wife. <laughs> Must have worked, right? <laughs> You didn't propose to your fiance, you proposed to your wife. You didn't propose to your ex, to, your, to the wife. Better not find another pal. I mean, two pals would be amazing. Cause last time we burnt two lem runes to get that pal up to a, pal up to an um rune. We're gonna want one of those lambs that smack people with. How's it going? Yeah, really good. Really good. We're, we're being slow pokes at the minute, but um, just, just taking along nicely. Slow and steady. Getting Enigma face down. <laughs> that sounds like absolutely nothing could go wrong. I think people would love it unanimously. Oh, could have been there. Oh, here? There we go. All right. Get get sidestepping, boys. Oh god. Oh god. I need to practice my sidestep. What's up, uh, Hasham? Yeah, doing really well, man. Doing really well. Just taking along with this... this run. Enjoying the, uh... The super easy bits, like uh, all of Nightmare, even though I may or may not have died three times in the Flay Dungeon, slash Flay Jungle. Let's get more potions. Okay. Nuffy boy, Nuffy boy. And we must have been zooming with the assassin. Absolutely zooming. Like we be beat nightmare mode like under five hours. Yeah, always be chilling, always be cheesing, always be circling, always be clearing, always be chilling. I like that new addition. I like that a lot. Always be chilling. Peasant crown? Peasant crown wouldn't be bad. War boots? No, we want battle boots. 
Oh, I thought they were elders for a second. But they're still... They're still 40 run walk. That's still insane. Yeah, 40 run walk, 44 life. That's insane. With attack rating. Oh, no resistances on there though. But that's a good find. That's a good find. The only issue is they require 125 strength. And when we do Ubers, we're probably going to have like 60 strength. But these are really good for key farming. Just the 40 run walk. Yeah, we'll get the strength up to that. To wear them for farming keys. I don't think we'll wear them for Ubers unless we get insanely lucky and find like a Immortal King's belt or, or gloves or something like that. Light plated boots as well. Fire res, poison res. Yeah, Alder's boots would have been nuts. I think. Yeah, battle boots would have been nuts. Let's see here. Always been chin chilling. Hold on to any strength charms. Yeah, strength, dex, and... Yeah, strength and dex charms we're holding on to already. Yeah. Except we did throw out a one strength small charm. Alright, nice. Pretty interesting find. I got really excited because I thought it was elders, but that elders is battle. Maybe if you get also get a four up in socket monarch. Yeah, yeah, that's that did cross my mind because then you or, already hit that that strength requirement, right? Like the one fifty six. Um, but I think we're gonna do like actual uber ubers with rhymes, but they can't be frozen. So our strength requirement is gonna be super duper low. It's gonna be like sixty. So unless something changes, we find some, you know, spicy gear combinations, we probably won't use those boots for Ubers, but really useful to have the 40 move speed for, um, for keys, especially, especially since we have no move speed right now. It's going to be a bit of a pain getting there. Should just skip enemies like this. We're gonna get levels later on. Why not respect for wind? Much more powerful from Act Three. Nightmare. Uh, we're gonna chew through all of our respects with my plan. So. Want to go up to beating Act 2 Hell as Fissure. Because we want to farm Lost City on P8 as Fissure. Farm the Dark Elder. To get us our levels. Which is why I shouldn't be wasting our time getting levels at the moment. And then go to Wind to get the T keys and the H keys. And get through Chaos Sanctuary. And then go back to Fissure for Neil attack. And then go to Werewolf. So we're going to use all three. There'll definitely be different ways of doing it though. Hello. Would you like to come this way, Izzy? How does one lose 10 kilos? I think just be in caloric deficit. Slowly over time, one day at a time. Let's consume, burn up more calories than you consume. Oh, hello. I'm in five hours is impressive. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a I'm a big old slow poke. Yeah. But we're not really speed running. We're not really speed running. We're just seeing if we can pull it off. 
You once lost 100 kilos when your ex broke up with you. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it, hey? Bit of heart heartbreak. That'll get you going. Man's coke and a psycho ex-girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, food poisoning. Yep. All, all equally healthy approaches. All equally healthy. Oh, I think he meant that his girl was a hundred, right? <laughs> that one went over my head. Uh, my bad. I thought you were just sharing. <laughs> you know? I thought you were just sharing. I didn't want to... <laughs> I missed it. The X is the same size as Schmuck, yeah. Some of the heaviest I've ever been right now. But it's all muscle, baby. <sighs> wow, I really just did that. Oh my god. Sometimes I even make myself cringe. Wait! Ooh! We could hit the Umrun here! Oh my god. Umrun's the highest rune that can drop from Nightmare Forge. Oh, we do have Cyclone. We get it from here. We've got one in Cyclone. That'll, that'll give us like 40. 40 Absorb. 100 kgs. What are you like, 6 foot 2? Yeah, just 6 foot 2. I'm 6 foot 2, but I hunch. So. <laughs> I'm just 6 foot 2. <laughs> I still should lose like about eight kilos or so, I reckon. And then I'll be golden. Six foot two on platforms, yeah. I'm six foot two on a pedestal. Where I belong. Alright, got him. What's up? Marara Ujiha. I've been watching so many Naruto shorts recently. Yeah. My, um... My YouTube loves giving me uh, Naruto shorts right now. And I am so here for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's like, who was stronger at age 15? Obito or Kakashi? <laughs> Let's break it down. <laughs> In the manga story, <laughs> this character says this, but this character did this at age 12. <laughs> Kakashi's too good. <laughs> yeah, but Obito, man. He's a freaking beast. A freaking beast, man. All right, boys. Oh, man, we don't have to hit the arm, but if we hit a lem, pull, or even a, if we hit a lem or a pull, that would, that would just be insane. Like one of those three would be really useful. Also a health potion. That'll be so useful too. I get one. Watching the most epic moments is um, so cool. I do it as well. Yeah, and another one I was watching I watched a lot of last night. Like, I saw it once, and then I had to look up the actual scene again. Is it's when there's, like, um, 
Itachi and like Kisame, like the shark bro with the sword, and they're fighting. They're fighting like um, what's her name? Like Kuruma or something, and then the guy with the cigarette, that's like Shikaku's like dad or whatever or something, and Kakashi, and then Mike guy shows up, and then Itachi is like, we must retreat. We're not prepared for a full scale battle, and it's like, oh, what the hell? How strong is Mike guy? You know, he must be so strong to make Itachi peel out. You know what I mean? Oh, I love that. I lo that's what I love about Naruto so much. When characters speak about other characters with reverence. It's just like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel so good. <laughs> 100 percent an upward. Wait, we need it. We're due for it. We deserve it. We 100 percent deserve it. Come on. <laughs> Lord Almighty Iron Jesus, please bless this lowly schmuck with an arm rune, baby. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Remember the gold rune sacrifice. <sighs> Gulver twice in a row. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> Got it out of my system. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how loud that would have been. <laughs> Schmuck goes nuclear, version two. Hellforge edition. At least we got a P Ruby. We can make blood gloves with those. Um that's pretty bad. Restart, <laughs> yeah, the run's over. <laughs> It's just not even something useful, you know what I mean? Like, even a foul would be useful. It's like, oh yeah, two more of those, you got a lem. Like, it's just not useful at all. Like, Io, you can actually use Io. But uh, a doll is just a slap in the face. A slap in the face. Doll's a slap in the lem. You know what I mean? In your anger, you killed her. Yeah, I just unlocked my what's it? My Makingo Sharingan. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> the really cool looking one. <laughs> oh no, I just got a new line on my Sharingan. Um, okay. Yeah, <laughs> don't embarrassed. Yeah, okay, it is useful. Okay, need to focus here. Need to focus. Okay, I've got 25 charges. That's chill. And we need healing pods. Mangeko, yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. Getting sick of running out of healing potions. So I assume this guy can be um, fire immune. So let's just check if he is. I haven't spotted it yet. I have Armageddon all the time. Whoops! Oh, these these dudes are fire immune. True. Sweet. Great. But is he? Let's see. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not. That's fine. All right, that's chill. You can just come with us.
Got him, nice. Oh, he is! Oh, Desays, Desays, Desays. Maybe we go get uh, Act 3 Murky Boy. Like the cold one. Whoa! Yeah, this is good. It's a good setup. Only a couple of them. Beautiful. Volcano did some fears. Yeah, the um the Armageddon was definitely doing some fears. And we could just oh, we can just play that. Oh. We should have already been using this. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna just get that there. So we don't even need this, bro. I completely forgot we had Volcano. Good call. We should have been using that anyway. One point into bear. We'll go, definitely go one point into bear later. Um, is that? Sorry, I got my hotkeys wrong. It just, it's just a lot of points to get up there is all. Should be good now. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Feel the pain. Oh no, Merc's down. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> that would have been disastrous. Does that do? Okay, we're slowly getting them. Mangenko, is that it? Mangenko? I'm used to reading these uh, Japanese words, like from the subtitles, not from um, actually pronouncing them myself. What? All of a sudden, we have no money. We were going so well with the money. <laughs> Do you watch anime? Uh, <laughs> I've watched like a couple of like the most, the big ones. Yeah, I'm not like super, I, I like anime, but I'm not like super into it, you know? Like I've watched like Attack on Titan and Death Note and Naruto. <laughs> Um, but I haven't, like, yeah, I haven't watched heaps. Oh, he's cold immune. Oh, my God. Maybe we go get the, the lightning one? Or I guess we could just keep hitting with our physical stuff. Hard, oh, doesn't he? Just get an Act 2 Merc, actually. You have that Open Wounds armor. Down slowly. Lower as wand? Yeah, true. I do know all the pro gamers use lower res ones. Um, for whatever reason, I just don't. Like, it just like stresses me out, like having another thing to like switch to and and like buy, but I, I should really just start using one, you know? It's just habit that the reason why I don't. Oh, Merc's down. So close. Got him. Chain gloves. Uh, this is Clegs, right? Yeah. Alright, beautiful. Now we just have to deal with this fire immune. 
like to save the offhand for the telly, yeah. I don't, I don't really like switching that much. Like switching between gear here. But if I'm going to take the next step into becoming a pro gamer, into getting my time down to only half of what Kano's is, not uh, three times Kano time, then I'm going to have to start doing stuff like that, I think. These guys are so annoying. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Just buy healing potion schmuck. What are you doing? Just go buy some healings. It's not like you're on the clock or anything. How do you deal with fire immune cells? Like, hi. <laughs> We're just disco discovering that now. We do have some sources of physical damage. Um, and then we're using this murky boy to, uh, to shoot some people. Yeah, I'm sure there's a much better way of dealing with them, but... For now, this is working okay. And then when we're in hell mode, eventually we're going to switch to wind. And wind, you're pretty good with resistances. Because your NATO's are physical, right? Wait, what did we... Oh, he's over here. Yeah, your NATO's are physical. So you have cold damage and physical damage. So, hell should be okay. Ooh, it's a good sell. It's just that chaos was a little bit of a pain. <clears throat> oh, one point bear. Yeah, we should we should just get that, shouldn't we? We'll definitely get it at some stage. It's just a matter of when. Nato's physical hurricane is cold. Yeah, perfect. Sounds about right. So with this volcano, should I be? Should I be summoning that under them? <laughs> or do you summon it, like, a bit to the side of them? Or does it not really matter? Ten K plus hours, recently switched to single player and enjoying it a lot. Hell yeah, man. It's awesome. It's good fun single player. It's like, um... You know, like, the first find of everything feels so significant. Oh, got your SOJ already. Have you, uh, taken down D-Clone yet? Got that first Annie. <clears throat> Except doll runes, yeah. <laughs> the first doll rune never feels good. <laughs> never feels good. You play single play because you have no friends. I don't have any friends that play this either. So. You and me both, dog. Oh, this is slow going, isn't it? I think we actually can make this. We could have done that the whole time. I forgot we had Hurricane. We really have just so many arsenals at our disposal. Or so many, um, so many weapons in our ar arsenal, rather. We get Hurricane from our, the helm we're wearing at the moment.
Okie dokie, almost got him. D. Give me something good. Give me goblin toes. Give me the goblin. What are this? Great mall. <laughs> Steel driver. I ah, yes. Enhanced damage. It's a bit of damage, isn't it? Only requires 50 strength. <laughs> What's the possibility we could end up use, using something like this? On Fury. But I think we just need the rhyme, you know? But it's interesting. We'll definitely hold on to it in case we just want like a weapon that hits hits hard later. Just in case. Ten percent off, perfect. Nice. So that goes up to two forty on the ED. Ever thought of going where bear could be fun? I thought about it, and I watched Kano try it in like a. Kind of VOD where he was testing stuff. And it's got a lot of health, which is great. But the, just the attack speed wasn't quite there with budget Ubis Mighty Gear. Yeah. Um, definitely something to consider though. And you could definitely pull it off. It's just like, it would be a bit different. Oh, we didn't do this. Oh, stat points or health. <laughs> You're on D2 at work. <laughs> Living the dream, man. It's got to be a bit sneaky with it. Uh, what's the plan for gear for Ubers? I'm hoping for a treachery for the fade buff, a dress and crafted crushing blow gloves for the crushing blow, and then malice for open wounds and minus enemy defense. Yeah. That's the dream setup. Okay. <laughs> Just ran in and died. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> All right. It had been about 12 minutes since we died, so. Just in case anyone was panicking. Thought it was AI playing or something like that. <laughs> I'm still here. It's still me. Yeah, there's the proof. Oh, good thing we got a portal shrine. That'll really save us next time. Save us on the walk back. Took an arrow to the knee? Yeah, right in the Achilles. God damn. I just always love budget builds, bro. I just melted then. Absolutely melted, man. Oh dear. Oh, crap! Papa, safety. We kind of want to kill this... That guy. Wherever he is. Just don't explode on me. Sell. Oh, Io! Natty Io! That's what I'm talking about, bros! A freaking Natty Io, and we can't get Diddly Squat from uh, from Nightmare Forge. God damn, Natty Io, that's nice. Nice find. Because we we're, we're gonna want to make Bulwark, we're gonna want to make Ground, we're gonna want to make Temper. 
You know, we want the IOs. Oh, out of Wolverine. Athena's Wrath. I don't even know what that is. Athena's. Like, I know who Athena is, but like, I can't, re I can't, you'll have to refresh me on what that item does. I'm slipping, boys, in my old age. Like, I feel like there are all these useful items that are so useful in, like, in, like, challenge runs like this that I just wouldn't even waste my time with on, you know, normally magic finding, right? <clears throat> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The druid pole arm. It's like, it looks like a scythe almost. Is it that one? It looks like a, it's got like a cool, it's got like a unique weapon design, right? Like a scythe thing. And it, maybe it's got like a purple gem in it or something. Is it that one? Yeah, Athena's Wrath. Um, uh, random 2 a.m. wake up. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah. How far we made it? We're going real slow, dog. We're just finishing off na Nightmare. Yeah. Got super duper slow. Lawless. Uh, the schmuck, the fire claw druid with six shell phase blade is super fast, just like smiting. Yeah. Six socket phase blade with all his shells. That's kind of huge. <laughs> I guess, yeah, you could do that, and then you would just have, if you had, like, even a low chance of open wounds on your belt and then crushing blow on your gloves. That could definitely work. I mean, I'm hoping we just, I mean, we'll play what we're dealt, right? But I'm hoping we can just smack him with malice and, um, and then have enough crushing blow on our gear, but that's all we'll have to do. Because malice is just so strong. Like not only do you have a hundred percent chance of open wounds, just also the minus, the minus monster defense is just insane for like Ubers. It's like unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Okay. <laughs> Gonna go down, lay down. If anyone's out of line, give me a holler. I'll come admin the shit out of it. <laughs> Oh, not if I do it first, G-Stacks. <laughs> not if I do it first, bro. <laughs> Fight me for it. Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, man. Yeah. Rest, rest, rest easy, my guy. Yeah, rib crack is so, so much damage, isn't it? Also, something, like, plausible to find that. Unique quarter staff. Plausible. Very unlikely, but plausible. Alright, Threshy. Same deal, Thresh. I don't ask for much. Like, some, godlet, some goblin toes would be delicious, Thresh. Like, absolutely delicious. Is that Blood Fist? Is that Blood Fist? That's pretty hot. They're kind of hot. We may well use these. 10 IES, hit recovery, and 40 life. With minimum damage. So I guess the question is, do we use these, or do we use Crafted Gloves with Crushing Blow? And, like, I mean, if we've got the Duress, then we... Don't need, need more Crushing Blow. 
or if we decide we're going to be cute and hit with mallets, then switch to a black, then we wouldn't need the duress. So that's a really nice find. Really interesting find. Um, but we should just put them straight on, obviously. At the very least, they're useful for now. At the very, very least. Oh, wrong one. Oh, well. Meant to go vo Volcano, but that's not the end of the world. I was about to go to sleep and you saw you're online. <laughs> I'll try not to, uh... I feel like my streams would actually be pretty good kind of like white noise in the background. Like, that's how I consume streams sometimes. Like, as I'm like, kind of like, going for a nap or something, then just like chuck a stream on and it's just like someone just like talking. You know? <laughs> just a bit of white noise in the background. So I'll try not to gasp too loudly. If you, um... If you leave it on while you're going to sleep. Do the silent gasp. It's relaxing. It's relaxing until I until I yell into the microphone. I'll scream like when I found that doll rune. God damn. God damn gold. God damn doll rune. <laughs> oh hell yeah, Nova. That's actually that's actually the best. It's happened twice in my streaming career that people have come into the stream and, well, maybe more times that I've just not seen it, but twice that I recall, like, people come into the stream and accuse me of viewbotting. <laughs> so. <laughs> Which is a fair accusation, because, like, why the hell would so many people tune in for this? You know what I mean? <laughs> there has to be something going on. <laughs> yeah. It's like, next time, that's what I'm going to say. Is like, last time I was like, oh, no, nah, everyone's just playing themselves, bro. It's like the start of ladder. Um, everyone's just uh, got me on while they're falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, because we love D2. <laughs> yeah. You guys came to my aid last time, though. It was very cute. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. If you wouldn't mind commenting now just to uh, <laughs> prove that you exist, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Screw that guy though. Imagine the audacity just to come in and be like, yo, you buddy. <laughs> this hurts my feelings. Oh well. I grind when you come back. No viewbot, just a sleepy American boys. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nova. <laughs> Even better. The audacity, the nerve, I know. The nerve. Oh, Bruce, man. Thank you so much, dog. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it, Brucey. Thank you, man. Like water, Brucey. That's what we're going to be like when there's, um... Whenever we get trolled, Bruce. Like water off a duck's back. That's what we're going to be like. I think we've done pretty well so far. <clears throat> but always room for improvement. <laughs> Fisk. <laughs> Bruce. I'm a big fan of yours. <laughs> I love your work. <laughs> oh, thank you guys again. Thank you so much, Nova and Bruce. I really appreciate it, dudes. Um, get married and have kids, big guy? Oh, yeah. I mean, the next time... You just say it like, you just, you say it so flippantly. <laughs> Get married and have kids. It's like the next, I will, you know. 
when I'm in love with someone, I'll marry them. But I'm, I'm not in mar- It's not like, you know, it doesn't happen like this, you know? When you, um... When it's the right time, it'll be the right time, you know what I mean? Like, what do you want me to do? It's like, stop streaming, then go roam the streets. Just be like, hey! Hey! You wanna get married? <laughs> Do you want to have kids with me right now? <laughs> because I'm I'm free. I'm down. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> Streams over, boys. That's a wrap. We gotta go. We gotta go. All right. I'm out. See you later. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna go start a family. <clears throat> now I'm just playing. We got more important things to do, like slaying demons, purging the lands of evil. Much more important. All right. That was your fumble with Spider Girl. She wasn't my type. She wasn't my type. Oh my god. Okay, let's debate around here. See what you've done. You've got me killed. The energy was off. You know. Got it. Beautiful. I'm wondering... Should we imbue these? I don't actually think we've got chassis imbue for normal. No, we don't have it for nightmare. Just you did thought you were in hardcore character for you? Yeah. Thank God we're not playing hardcore. <laughs> Thank God. It does mean I can chat with you bros more. Which is nice. Most of the time. Get out of here, bucko. <laughs> no hardcore <laughs> weak <laughs> freaking noob <laughs> Play the demons. <laughs> go friggin' go start a family and do this on hardcore at the same time. On stream. Most of the time, what's that supp supposed to mean? Oh, I think it's pretty clear, dog. I think it's pretty clear. <laughs> Don't make me say it. Don't make me elaborate. Um, okay. I think we should be chill here. We just need to... Not die. Ooh, law base. Nice. Fantastic. Let's chuck that on. Orts. Oh, we don't have orts. Um, do we have rails? Yes. I guess we probably should save barbs. Found a soul, yeah. Your girlfriend's Uber Lilith. Oh, did I not save Anya? Oh, I didn't even save Anya. I was like, wow, we were in Ancient so quickly. I completely forgot about that. My bad. 
Whoops. I guess let's do this, and then we'll we'll go back there somehow. Okay. You, sometimes I've got high natural fire. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, wow, we are so close to dead. So call it could be a pain here. Let's have a think. Do we want to commit to this one? Ah, uh, let's just do it. All in. Just gotta focus. Just don't get clipped. It's easier without Maddie there. Well. Nice block. Probably have like 12% block chance. Less than half health. Really good damage on Kolek. Same with Talek. Oh my god! Nice. What's to throw here, broski? Oh! Come on now. Come on now, dog! Got him. All right. Wait, world stone, waypoint, and then we go save our future wife, i.e. Anya, i.e. Frosty Maiden, i.e. Nilathak did this to me. Got him. Hello, hello, hello. Screw that old world BS. What's what's old world? <laughs> what what are you referring to? Adding gloves, boots, and jewelry slots to all mercs good or bad change? I think it'll be fun, you know? I think it'll piss some people off for sure. But I think it I think it's just fun. So I would if it if they announced that change, then I would be happy about it. But I'm also very... I'm very not anti-change, you know what I mean? Oh, Enigma in 3 socket helm. Hey, that would be gnarly. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Pretty down that we're getting no changes for the season five. Yeah, it sucks. It's suboptimal for sure. <laughs> it's definitely suboptimal. Show the staff. Ink, telly staff. Exciting. Oh, right. I'm saying screw the drop what you love and drastically change your life forever because you're a big man and got to do the big man things. Yeah, I mean, what gets under my skin is it's kind of like people telling other people how to live. That does frustrate me. Like, just 
you know, live, everyone's on their own timeline. You know, it's, everyone gets their own life and they can choose to spend their time there how they want to. You know what I mean? And that could have been Skelders. And when you tell people like, go, you know, go have a, go get a wife and have kids, you know, it's just kind of like, yeah, like I want to do that, you know? <laughs> But it's like, it's almost adding salt to the wound. Because it's like, yeah, I want to do that when the time's right for me. You know what I mean? It's like, just because the time's right for you doesn't mean it's the time's right for me. Because, yeah, I haven't found that person yet. So it's just kind of like, it's, a, it's just a weird thing to say to someone. You know what I mean? Especially someone that you don't really know. And there's a potential that it's like, oh, just someone trying to get a rise or someone who has their heart in the right place, but it's just like a breakdown in uh, just articulate, just communicating it in the wrong way. <clears throat> but in general, just like, man, just let it, let everyone else live their, live their life. You know what I mean? Go Spurs, man, for six months. Thank you so much, dog. Thank you, thank you. How old are you? I... <laughs> I've been so cagey about it. <laughs> oh, no, I'll just tell you guys, sorry. It's just so annoying. It's just because it's like one of the security questions. Um, like the one of the first security questions online. Is like, what year were you born? But it's like, if someone wanted to, like, hack my shit, if they really wanted to, then they could. But, uh, yeah, I'm 29. Yeah. I'm 29 years old. 29 years young. That's a world first exclusive. I haven't told my age before on stream. I've always been super annoying and been like, Erm, I'm between 27 and 33. <laughs> yeah. A lot of you guys guessed it right, though. <laughs> Like Matt, who I don't think's here right now, he just like nailed it on the head. I was like, oh Matt, come on man. You're gonna blow my cover over here. Next birthday is gonna be lit, <laughs> yeah. The ice tree, yeah. What are you here? What do you want to take it easy? Yeah, I mean, it's just like... I don't know, like... I just feel like everyone's on their own journey, you know what I mean? And you don't have to have everything figured out already. <clears throat> you don't have to have it all figured out. Too deep. <laughs> hey, you started it. <laughs> you guys started it. <laughs> I stopped at age 28. Like, that's when you got bitten. Oh, juicy. Thank you, man. Uh, what are the top three things that make D2I the game for you? I think it's a great question. I think the itemization is god tier. Um, I think I have a really strong nostalgic attachment to this game, which is which is a factor. Um, and the third thing is it pulls in the views. No, just kidding. <laughs> no. Um, I actually really like the gameplay loop. Like, I, I find killing bosses over and over again, like, I, I, I really like that, you know, just that monotonous grind. But the reason why that feels so good is because the itemization feels so good. If it was just that without the dopamine from the good items, then it wouldn't hit the same. And with challenges like this, I feel like they're 
a bit less so the way I do it because you know oftentimes we find ourselves hunting for one specific thing but it kind of feels like you're doing a puzzle as well you know with the one to uber streams you're like piecing together all of the the bits of the puzzle that allow you to be able to take down ubers oops what i put that into did not see that here we are i just think we probably want an we probably want an ort rune thought, thought we'd save these bros Puzzle's a lamb. <laughs> Always a goddamn lamb. <laughs> yeah. And when I say solve a puzzle, basically we're on a treasure hunt for an Umrun and a Lemrun. <laughs> basically. <laughs> Mike would be awesome in the club because he loves a grind. <laughs> loves a <to> grind. <laughs> nice. Rumors have their luck at the casino. The pokies. Yeah, we've got D2. Yeah. Just, they just nailed the, the loot system so, so nicely. Specifically from bosses. Specifically from bosses. Because it's kind of like... <sighs> Killing a boss in Diablo 2 just feels like pulling that lever, you know? Where like six things drop and it's just like... It's just got that nice pinata feel. You know what I mean? So good. Hmm. Yeah, I know Macrobio's a big fan of D4, right? Skibbles, yeah. Like, all in on D4, if you know what I mean. All in. Um... Where is good to farm for a thresher? Uh, yeah, cows is a good suggestion. And... Chaos is a great suggestion as well. Yeah, basically anywhere with high density. So just more ch more chance of um, getting stuff to drop. And if you really wanted to min-max for a good thresher base, then I guess you'd take off your magic find, right? But you don't have... I still probably wouldn't do that. Because my understanding is, like, even if you've got, like, a, a million bajillion magic find, one third of the items that drop will always be white. So it's probably better to still have lots of magic find, because then you might find other, other good stuff too. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but to each their own. Nah, I don't think we're going to get anything new season. Yeah, unfortunately. Pretty brutal. They pulled D2R devs for Diablo 4 content. I've heard this. I don't really keep up with all of, like, kind of what developers are doing and stuff like that. <laughs> Like, I find it so impressive when you guys know the names of, like, developers and stuff. Like, I don't know any. I know Chris Wilson. Gem Shrine is insanely good. Gem Shrine is so freaking good, bros. Ooh, perfect ruby. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So now we have two rolls of blood gloves, if we want. If we want them. We could just use uh, Blood Fist. And we'll want one ruby for... For prismatic amulet, anyway. Okay, attack rating, min damage, yeah. That, I guess we keep that. Unbelievably low rolls, though. I don't want more health potions. So 
fine. Have another. Keep the gloves and craft a blood helm. What does a blood helm give you? The problem with blood helm is like the helm slot is. Oh, we're meant to go strength. Whoops. The helm slot is so high priority. Like really high priority for getting resistances. Map. Great map even. Maybe Nightmare Bear will give you two laughs. <laughs> Start manifesting it now, boys. <laughs> Start manifesting it now. Jalal's would be really nice for uh, collecting the keys. Yeah, I only know Chris Wilson. <laughs> the POE dude. And like uh, Rod Ferguson, I know that dude. Wait, where the frick? Oh, here it is. Rosenstein. Whoops. Oh, my God. How deep is your love? Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, so it's taken us two hours longer than the assassin to get to the same spot. But that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> oh, John with a 10 gifted. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. And welcome aboard 10 new members. Spam some, um, spam some of the custom emojis for me. There'll be more coming soon. Soonish. I love them all. They all make me happy. Thanks again, John. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Hitting the rack. Good luck, schmuck. <laughs> oh, you're hitting the sack? Nice. Yeah, we might be here when you, um, when you wake up tomorrow, John. And thank you for the luck. We might we might just well need it. I think we'll definitely need it. Hey, what's up, Brad? Welcome to the stream, man. Alright, let's chuck this here. And put that there. For next time. And now we can go. Now we can go. Runes check. We haven't... F we've only found an Io. We found an Io is the only... Nice rune that we've got at the moment. But, um... We also have an... Oh! Another perfect ruby! Oh, fantastic! Oh, and Brad with a 10 gifted. Even more fantastic! Dude, thank you so much. We, uh, we don't have enough people in here to receive the memberships, Brad. <laughs> Unfortunately, we, we don't, we need more broskies in here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brad. I really appreciate it, man. That's 10 less lonely gobbies, baby. And just like I've always said, nothing worse than a lonely gobby. Nothing worse. Literally nothing in existence worse than that. All right. I should really just get telly staff. I should just get telly staff. Why didn't I just get telly staff? Oh, come on, schmuck. Pull your head in, man. 
Pull your head in. This is why you're going so slow, because you keep dying for no reason. Oh, they're fire immune. I see, I see, I see, I see. Well, why don't we just jabate, 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 jabate? Oh! Oh, that was so close. Ah, what? Did we not get that? All right, I give up. Actually, no, we can do this. I just need to apply myself. Okay. Jubate. Around there. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. Oh, I was ducking but not weaving. No. I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. I'm not on today, lads. <laughs> I'm not on. Uh, we still have our gear. Excellent. We didn't lose the gear. Risking, yeah, the risky for no bisky. In fact, I should just go repair the telly stuff. Dead and weave, yeah. So dumb. It's just like sometimes my laziness knows no bounds, you know? Like I saw that I had no, no charges on the telly stuff. And I was like, oh, I can't be bothered going back to town to repair it. Yeah. Instead, I'll just die three times in a row. And then have to restart. Okay, Flawless Skull is nice. The, um, SPF. Schmuck Protection Fund. Imagine thinking you were hated by default. Oh, I don't have to imagine, dog. <laughs> yeah. That just sounds like anybody with anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they probably hate me. This is probably my fault. Um. All right, let's put that there. The random number of generates that hates me by default, yeah. Unless you're streaming, then it loves you. Then you get that sweet, sweet streamer RNG. Ask Llama <laughs> Wait, about being hated by default. Yeah. I guess that what's just like, a, it's one of the... One of the natures of the beast is it's kind of like, once someone reaches a certain size, then it's kind of like, okay, to kind of like... It's more okay to kind of like, make fun of them, you know what I mean? Just like a societal thing, for whatever reason. Like it's never, absolutely never, under no circumstances, okay to punch down. But, you know, punching up, you know, <laughs> that's more okay, you know? You're allowed to make fun of billionaires, for example. And I think it's just the nature of the beast of Llama being like, by far the biggest Diablo 2 content creator. It just opens you up, you know? <clears throat> Schmuck's one of the big time streamers. Everyone knows Dubranski is the GOAT D2 streamer. Oh, I mean, Dubranski was the most influential for me. But does he even stream anymore? Does he still stream? Cause he's like, isn't, doesn't he, isn't he like, uh, like an ice road trucker or something? Like something like awesome? <laughs> something that I wasn't, wouldn't have picked. <laughs> Three months ago, ah, oh, damn. Damn, that must mean he doesn't even just still do it for a hobby or anything.
Oh, he hasn't been on YouTube in three months. Okay, he was just on Twitch. Said he's taking a mental health break due to default negativity. Honestly, I can. Yeah, that's that that that's for sure a thing. Honestly, because it, it can just get to you, man. You know, <laughs> if you're just if you're just chilling there playing a game, you know, <laughs> you're just trying to have fun, and then people keep coming in like over and over again, just like. Why are you playing this trash? You know? <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. It can just wear you down, you know? Especially if he's just... Yeah. Yeah, he was just doing it on the side for a bit of fun, just to hang out and have fun. I can totally understand where he's coming from with that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm a big fan of negative. It makes my pathetic life seem better. Well, I mean... I... I can see where people come from with that as well. Like, um... Like, sometimes... Like, I wat like to watch, like, certain people on YouTube... Who just don't have their shit together, you know? Their life is a mess. And for me, like I was thinking about like, what is it that I find so appealing about watching these things? Like, what am I getting from this? And I think it's just that feeling of just like, oh, well, you know, at least my life isn't that bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> which is, which is horrible. And it indicates that I'm, you know, there is a component of me that is just, unfulfilled to kind of seek that fulfillment by uh it's like schadenfreude it's like a german word right like seeking delight in others downfall yeah. and it's not something i'm proud of but it, it makes me feel like a little bit uh just a little bit bad about my own circumstances you know what i mean just like re reality tv exactly yeah Lots of schadenfreude in America right now. Or is there stuff going on in in the States right now? Uh, I don't think we need this. Schadenfreude? Oh, hell yeah, I nailed it. Yeah, I've been uh, following this guy on Instagram who teaches you a word of the day. And I don't watch every word of the day, but uh, that's where I got that one from. Yeah, I'd actually heard it before. But it was good to have a refresher because I completely forgot about it. Uh, so we want this. Three perfect rubies. That's insane. Okay, this is going to be a bit sketch coming in here. Uh, so I think we maybe put that there just in case. Um, this is going to be hella sketch. Oop! Oh, okay. Um, how are we going to handle this? We get them all? Oh, we did. Oh, beautiful. Handled. Mischief managed. I think. Yes, we got it. <laughs> Take some time, do some loot runs to make cash. Yeah, what we'll do, Tleroth, it's a, it's a really good, um, because we're going to need cash later. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep trucking through hell mode and then spend a little bit of time farming Dark Elder in Lost City to get to, like, low 70s. So hopefully we'll accumulate lots of cash there and then we can use that cash to teleport for farming the keys. So we're low on funds right now, big time. 
but we've got an opportunity to farm good cash later. Is this a new season? No. Nah. nah, just single player. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, we have to goblin up the loot. All that good stuff, that 35k stuff. Yeah, there's this guy, um... Some of you bros would know about him that I've been watching a bit of recently. His name's King Cobra JFS. And he's just like such an interesting character. He's so I'm so captivated by him, you know. <laughs> he's not like anyone I've ever seen before. <laughs> but I was talking about watching people that make your life feel better. Hopefully, sometime soon, I'll get to a state, a state of, um, wholeness, where I, where I won't get that satisfied, get that feeling of schadenfreude, where I won't need that to fill me up, to fill my cup. <clears throat> Fellow Boglum enjoyer, exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I love the, um, I love the, uh, the botulism arc that we're in right now. <laughs> at the moment, he's trying to brew... He's trying to brew wine at home. It's just... <laughs> it's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Without the recipe bit. It's just a disaster. Have you seen his video on Mountain Dew Hard Boiled Eggs? I haven't seen that, no. No, I've never seen that one. Freaking food hacks. So good. <laughs> so good. Schmuck following along to make his own goon. <laughs> it's just like, goon is already so cheap, you know what I mean? It's like, just, would it should be cheaper to buy a freaking sack of goon? Then make your own, um, make your own wine. If that was his intention. Just to get it cheap. <clears throat> was it more possible for Tell Armor to drop? Um, Tell Armor, you just have to be in a level 83 area, right? So, I got my first Tales from Cows, but I feel like Chaos is a really good place for Tales armor. Like, if someone gave me 24 hours to find a Tales armor, I would just, I would just farm Chaos over and over again. Assuming your character can clear Chaos. Yeah. Chaos is kind of hard to clear sometimes. I'm guessing Mav. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't get Tal's armor from Mav and... Can't get Tal's from Mav or Andariel, I don't think. They're just because it's a bit too low level. Because what, what level is Mav? Is Mav level 83? And then Tal's army has to be like level 85, so you can get it from Uniques in the level 83 era. Something like that. It's a good chance I just made all of that up, but uh, I don't think Mef can drop it. But I know Cows can. <clears throat> Got a long way to go to you can start doing Chaos. I mean, you don't, you don't, you wouldn't have to get it from there. 79 sauce. What, um, what type of sauce are you? Like, are you a blizzard sauce or a nova sauce or something different? Okay. 
One more set of potions. Blizzard source, okay. You probably wouldn't be too far off being able to do chaos, honestly. Yeah, as long as you had a cold sunder, then you'd be um then you'd probably be good to go. You just gotta kinda keep your distance a bit. Not yet, yeah. I think that that's what I would focus on is getting that cold sander. Weird drops. I feel like less than normal drops. Um, okay. Good day. Had a tell armor drop once. Second day in the reset, game rolled back and I lost it. The soul flowed that day. <laughs> and thine cup overfloweth with salt. <laughs> That's brutal, man. Because an early tells is just off the chain. Yeah, that's real rough. It's kind of nice jewel. I can really keep that one. You help me take the edge off my online poker session? Oh, happy to help, man. Happy to help. Keeping you calm so you can focus, you know? So you can calculate. Uh, uh, what I'll take in return is just 12% of the profits. Just 12%. Ooh, nice limb. That's never happened to me. Double drop is Shaker and Arax. Really nice. A wand. Yeah, I'll still never get over. This is this is just so crazy, right? So in my first ever YouTube video, when I was still kind of like didn't know if I wanted to make YouTube videos. It was going to be a thousand meph runs. And on the very first Mephisto run, found an Arax. If that's not a sign from the heavens that you should keep doing this thing, then I don't know what is. And in the recording of that, it's just like, oh, it was so... <laughs> I wasn't prepared to finding it, finding anything because I was like talking into the microphone. I was like, okay, so this is just a test run of 1,000 Mephisto runs. This is the first run. Basically, I'm just talking to make sure that the audio is working okay and figuring out the keys on the run counter, how to start that and stop that. And then a rack dropped. <laughs> I was tempted to keep in all the talking, but in hindsight, I'm glad that I didn't. Um... So what we'll do, we will, I think we'll give up on the Immortal King's Dream for now. When we respec into Wind, we'll uh, put 125 there. Okay, still 30 charges. Just checking. Uh, just hopped in. Do you like uh, Druid so far? Yeah, I love it. Fissure's just so busted. Yeah. Uh, we're going super slow though, Bernadette's, but um, slow and steady. I guess we did the last one really fast. Like, we did the last one in only like 13 hours, which is like really, really quick for, for me. Because I'm a slow poke. So hoping, hopefully we do this one in under under 18. But secretly, I'm hoping we do it a bit faster than that, to be honest. Be completely honest with you, bros. You still a schmuck. Exactly. Don't want you to get it twisted, boys. Still a regular old schmuck over here. Wait, is this guy fire immune? Oh, he is. Lord Schmuck at his darkest hour got the signal he was meant to receive. Honestly, man, because I was in I was not in a good way. I really wasn't in a good way. I was in a uh I was in a crisis, you know? I didn't know what I was doing with my life. I didn't know what the next move was going to be. And then 
Oh, from the heavens. Arachnid smash. On my first Mephisto run. You're fully expecting an episode two. A redemption arc, Pally. <laughs> True. I mean, I was so confident about the assassin one until it all went down in flames. So... <laughs> It would be on brand for us to have to do a redemption the next day. Or the following day. We'll see. It's pretty sketch doing it as werewolf, you know? With budget gear. It's like pretty sketch. But we can utilize some, uh, some beautifully cheesy softcore strats. I think we saved Kane. Druid part. Part Dukes? <laughs> I don't know what Dukes means. All I know is put your Dukes up. It means two? Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Probably should have known that. <laughs> You mean to tell me that you know what Schadenfreude means, but not Dukes? Come on now. <laughs> Alright, there we go. GTFO. We could kill them. I had a charm. Resistances live, where are ya? Oh, that was a while off screen. Nine life, take that straight to the bank. The bank being my stash. Nice. Um, we won't muck around with Countess yet. We'll wait till we're wind. Get old big bad wolf on our ass. Okay. Over here. Couple of full rejuvies there. Anyone know what an infinity 318 ED and 51 uh, light res cells for online? Uh, what's the base? Yeah. What's up, Willy? Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, dog. Yeah, it really depends on the on the base with infinities. But uh, also, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So it's kind of like people wouldn't really care about the light res unless it's in like a scythe. And then people wouldn't really care about the ED unless it's in like a good, like an ethereal thresher or a giant thresher or some or man catcher or something like that. <clears throat> good cash money. Oh, great cash money. This way.
that message just royally cooked my brain, Renee. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much for me to process right now. <laughs> Requires too many brain cells. It's an S Thresher. Ooh, nice. And the, um... Oh, you might have already said that. Um... And what is that, uh, what is the enhanced damage roll on, on Infinity? Is it up to 220? Because they, if so, then that's a beautiful Thresher. Delightful, even. All right, ring RNG. Come on, boys. Let's go, Akara. Ooh, come on. Lightning fire res. Oh, man, it's all stuff we want. Attack rating, life, lightning res. We'll save that for later. It's all stuff we want, but just such low rolls. Why couldn't you be better rolls? Beep, 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 beep. All right, let's blaze it through here. Okay. Yoink. I shouldn't waste time doing stuff like this. That's what Dark Elder's for. Beautiful. It's not that way. <laughs> Surprised, I thought the waypoint would be down there. Because you want to go second left here normally. There we go. Level two. Second left here also. So maybe that's first left, and maybe we go straight through here. Oh, I feel like we're going wrong way. Yeah, this is wrong way. This is first left. Yep. We have no more TPs. Okay, what happened last time when we didn't have TPs? We died three times. So let's just go to town, we'll get the TPs, and then carry on our merry way. Just like, take the freaking 20 seconds to refresh them, schmuck. Just found a Menald. I take full responsibility for that. Yeah. But also, you should know by now not to ID them while you've got one of my live streams open. That's just a recipe for a Menald. A recipe for a Menald. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Here? Is that Black Lotus? Welcome to the stream. There we go. Alright, and then hard left here. Nice. Nice. 
basically a speedrunner at this point. The Grail is done. <laughs> the Minald was the last thing you needed. <laughs> Congratulations then. <laughs> Getting the directions for the maps down, very nice. Yeah. There's a, I know, I know a couple of them. Oftentimes I just forget. I just like get distracted and forget. But yeah, you guys have taught me a lot along the, um, along the journey. And Kano taught me a lot about reading tiles in here, but I just forgot it all. All I know, catacombs, is just like... Oh, crap! It's just like you want to turn right from the waypoint. But let's not get waypoint. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Good thing I didn't panic. That would have ended in disaster if I panicked. Okay, how do we get that body back? <laughs> Kind of scrooged myself in the nooch there. Uh, the joys of spell damage. You don't need any gear. Okay, our hotkeys are probably going to be cooked. Oh, we're good. It's hard to remember them all amongst everything else in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I should... I need to... something I really should learn is I need to get like the frozen river like on lock like you know don't have to think about it at all and I want to learn like Lost City because I know you can learn Lost City like where the exit's gonna be based on where you come in like I know you can do that but I have no idea how to and it's just going to be like lot like practice with that one, I think. <clears throat> Runester, good morning, man. Welcome to the stream. Hey, okay, we're so close to so close to Kato. We just missed it. Oh, this is so sketch. Why don't I get some health potions? Ah. Oh dear. What have you done, you schmuck? What have you done? Uh, okay, let's try that again. This could be a cheeky little reset here. Yeah. Fortunately. Just scrooge that in thy nooch. So dumb. Um, I had to rewrite Pluggy to dynamically switch between versions. Oh, what? Rewrite Pluggy? Sounds so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I heard D2 has a secret menage a trois cutscene with me, Kane, and Chelsea. <laughs> that is something that I do not... That's something that I don't want to see. Yeah, you lost me at Kane. You straight up lost me at Kane. Yeah, what's it hidden in the... Um, it's hidden in the palace in Act 2, probably. All right. <clears throat> Did they announce new ladder for D2? Yeah, they announced it, and it's it's just a ladder reset. There's no changes. So a bit disappointing. Like, even if you weren't expecting anything, it's still disappointing. Oh, God. Dial in, man. Dial in, dial in, dial in, dial in. Come on. You're being silly. Huh? Oh god, that little, you know when it freaking shakes like that? It's so annoying. 
Okay, we should be chill. We can use this little circle thing to run around. If you wanted to, um... Die there, bro. That would be that would be kind of nice. Or or not. That's fine. Let's let's just you know what? Instead of doing that, why don't we just pull every single monster in the whole room? How about that? That seems like a good plan. Eep. Thank God, Andy just melts to fire. And we got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Ground. Says ball of blood. This little circle thing. <laughs> I don't see color. Uh, set gothic shield. Yeah, eyes and hearts, right? I don't think that's good for us. I don't think so. We probably want to wait till... Would Rad be annoying right now? I feel like everything would be annoying right now. We should probably just do the leveling now. The Lost City leveling. <clears throat> Devil snare, devil snare. Nice full rejuvi. Add that to the supplies. Can't wait to um to panic drink that later against Lilith. It's gonna be the best. I TP scrolls if you didn't yet. Oh, thank you. Thank good looking out, man. Yeah, we actually we used a little trick that you bros taught me. If you sell your book and then buy it again, then you get um it comes back full. So you don't have to walk all the way over to drugs. It's really cool for um back to. Yeah. Yeah, you guys taught me that not long ago. Like a couple weeks ago even. Still, still so much to learn in this game. <clears throat> oh, Kenny, about to roll your first ever self-use infinity. Amazing, man. Dude, the roll on the self-use infinity is so exciting. It's so exciting. On like the one for the Merc, it's like, yeah, it's cool, but it also kind of doesn't matter that much. But self-use, oh, that's a good roll. Minus 45 to minus 55. Manifesting 55s for you, Kenny. And I even sacrificed my Nightmare Forge drop. Could have been an Umrune, but uh, instead it was just just a Dolverune. So hopefully that means that you get, uh, ooh, Superior Shaco. You get that sweet, sweet minus 55. Um, okay, let's do Maggots now. We've only got five tellies. Repair. You're gonna play season five in what character? At the moment, I really want to make a Boazon. I've never probably made like a multi-shot Boazon. So that that'll probably be it for season five for for me. 
people. Like, that might be where I start. And then, uh, where I end will always be Nova Source. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's sell this now. I'm gonna sell the SIGs too. Need some more cash money to repair. The stress of inputting high runes in your correct auto. Dude, I, like, check infinity, like, literally five times. Just to confirm. Oh god, don't die, don't die, don't die. Good thing I said don't die. Okay. Pretty ugly level one. I really should have got a waypoint or something before doing this. Oh, beautiful level two. Freaking beautiful level two. Okay, scratch that. Scratch that. We'll just tell you back. Okay. Just don't want to get trapped here. God, they just hit like a ton of bricks, don't they? What? Why is that not casting? Well, that's a body we're never going to see again. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Sorry. Yikes. <laughs> well, at least we know where to go when we're in Maggot. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. That was not fun. <laughs> Bunch of fanaticism scarabs. Oh, god damn. Yeah, and I have no waypoints. Oh, we got dry heels. Oh, bro. I didn't realize we had dry heels. Oh, all's good. All is well. And... Which way are we going? That way. Okay. That's chill. I think before... Doing Maggot, we should just get the... We should just get the Lost City levels, though. Just to make everything else easier. What a schmuck, exactly. <laughs> it's right there in the name. <laughs> Just so there's no ambi ambiguity about what's going on here, you know? <laughs> this is not a speedrun. <laughs> I repeat, this is not a speedrun. This is just, just one schmuck seeing if we can pull off the unthinkable. Taking down Ubers with Druid. Too many fanatics. I mean, to be completely fair, even if that wasn't... Even if they weren't all fanaticism, we'd still be very dead. That was just... Complacency in the flesh. In the flesh. Um, nice full rejuvies. Uh, what do you recommend for rune modes on source early? Uh, yeah, I mean... Spirit Sword is, like, off the chain. Lore is incredible. Stealth is incredible. Rhyme is really good before you can make a, um... Before you can make a, uh, a Spirit Shield, because you need to find the base for that. Uh, Ancient Pledge is another really good shield. Um, okay, there's Dark Elder here, but we want one relatively close to the, close to the waypoint. And we'll just, um, cheese this old, this old zombie. So we need to find waypoint, essentially. Leaf is really good if you're playing... Uh, fire through normal, which I recommend. 
Yeah, so leaf is excellent until you get a spirit. Great cold broskies. Yeah, that'll do. What would you do with a low if you happen to, to find one? In a playthrough like this? Or in, um... Just in, like, in general. Because... The first thing I do with every low is make a grief. But in a playthrough like this, we probably wouldn't find the other stuff we'd need. So, you might end up just making a fortitude. Just a fortitude. Like now? Yeah. Does, what Are there any other high runes in a fortitude? What else is in fortitude? Hmm. Yeah, so now we'd probably go Fortitude. Because, like, what are the odds we get everything else we'd need to make a, um, a Grief, right? But I also don't know what... If you just socket a low rune into stuff, I don't know what it gives you. Yeah. If we can get Dark Elder by these other zombies. Yeah. Oh, very dead. <laughs> Bold. It uh it took a long time. <laughs> it took a long time this one. Yeah. It took us like fifty minutes to get the the Tal rune. And then I accidentally socketed it into the wrong armor. <laughs> but in other runs, you're completely right. We got there was a patch there, um, bold biceps, where we we got so lucky with the tal earths, like so lucky for a, a patch. But the past three times, like this time and then two assassin attempts, like man, we just got so unlucky with it. Okay, how are we gonna get this body back? So these dudes are players 8, um, that's why they're so buff, but once we start killing them we should be getting like an ungodly amount of experience. So we're level 58 to start. Look at that, boom, level 59. Dark Elder's not even down yet. insane strategy again again classic just straight up yoinked this from Kano like absolutely yoinked it like I always say bros you've heard, heard me say it a million times sometimes in life you just got to copy people that are better than you Eep. almost got him Wait, level 60. And like Tlera said, we need to pick up lots of stuff to sell. Because our funds are low right now. We need, uh, we need cash money. Uh, light plate's good. Alright, that'll do. This is your first stream after the assassin run? Yes, yeah, we did the two assassin runs last week and then yeah, first one since. Had some, some IRL stuff past couple of days. Good money, good money. I guess we keep attack rating.
All right, let's go, broskies. Uh, I think Volcano. Fire Storm are both maxed. That synergizes with Armageddon, which we could max now. Or we could get the bear. I feel like bear would be kind of useful for Duriel. Let's get the bear. You mean one assassin run? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Oh, that made me happy to read. The bear will take two to three hits. Yeah. For Duriel, that'd be kind of useful. Help him sit in the fissure for longer. We're going to get up to low 70s here. Maybe do this for like 30 minutes or something. One down. Polish off a couple more of these champions. Yeah, I think that'll do. Not a huge amount of bros on that one. One of my ROTC teachers once said, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> I guess that's a, that's a dicey thing to say to a student, hey? Yeah. <laughs> you could just take it and run. But it's it's kind of similar to... um. Wait, let's put those on, maybe. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, has advice in a similar vein maybe not that explicit but it's kind of like just about doing anything to win you know like how he would um like he in his documentary he, t he there's like lots of stories about like this like he was doing a final pose off in one of the mr olympias with one other dude so it was like be between him and the other guy, right? And they're both on stage and they're on stage for like 30 minutes or something. And and then he goes and shakes the hands guy, the, the, the other guy's hand, like kind of gesturing like, all right, that's enough. Let's, um, let's call it a day. And then the other guy shakes his hand and because he like framed it in a way like, okay, you know, that's, that's enough. Let's walk off. So the other guy starts walking off, and then Ani just just stays there, and uh, keeps posing for like another five minutes and stuff. But like all intentional, you know. And the other guy was like livid afterwards. Yeah, you guys would, you guys would know the story better. And like heaps of stuff like that, like making sure he always posed against a black background, so his um, so his muscles would stand out more, because apparently they stand out more against a black background. Oh my god, this is so sketch. Man, it's really, jeez. It's just so hard to stay alive. I kind of got to dull in a little bit. Those leapers are just so annoying. Um, get that. There's P8 leapers. Damn. There's so many monsters here, though. I kind of want to stick with this one. Oh, damn, Leapers! There's Rejuvies there. Hopefully we can snag one. 
Ah, quickly! Yes, got one. Nice. Ooh, I guess it'll get easier and easier. The more levels we accumulate. But right now, we're so squish. And we're getting close to that bear. Oh, he's... He's fire immune, I think. Yep. Alright, let's just call it quits on that one. Got half a level. Absolutely debated. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely debated. Also, do you play this online or offline? What's the difference? What's the difference between me and you? About five bank accounts, two ounces, and three vehicles. Um, sorry. So there's a conscious stream of my thoughts. No, um, I play both. I like online when there's a new season and then like the challenges like this, I like offline. Uh, so in single player, you can't trade, obviously. You can manually manipulate the player commands. So tell the game that it has a certain amount of players in it even though it's just you. And the maps are static in single player as well. Yeah. And if you want to get Diablo clone to spawn, then you only have to sell one Stone of Jordan in single player. And online you need to rely on bots selling them. Like hundreds of them. But it happens, it's way, way, way easy to easier to get a um, an Annie charm in online. Thank god, no leapers here. Let's bring Dark Elder over. Okay. This one's gonna take a hot minute, but ooh, it's gonna have sweet, sweet rewards. Although, these Marauders, jeez. I guess we kind of need lower res one for, the, for those Marauders. Whoa. Kano definitely did this with lower res wand. Maybe I should buy one. Oh, just blown up. Let's try another one. Didn't they change it to five SOJs online? I don't know. Yeah, I've got no idea. I doubt it. That doesn't seem like very many. But uh, you could be right. Yeah, I just haven't heard about it. I guess we could... We don't necessarily have to do them on P8. Although, everything's spawned in now. Over here. Our map could definitely be better for this, I think. I don't exactly know what we're looking for. Um, but that would mean we'd lose the um, all that we've explored in the maggot lair. Ooh, mage play. Cool. Oh, he's fire immune. Dark Elder Broski. Making it difficult for me, man. Not cooperating. I want that full rejuvi so badly. Swap out Telly stuff with lower res one. Hmm. We could. Drugs would sell it, yeah. Zeal. Like, this is a good drug to map to buy it. Gold res, lightning res, strength, life. 
Find a nice belt. I want to wear that. I just seemed shopping for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> the bear will help. When we get the bear, we'll be fine. We just need one more level. That's all we need. Just gotta... Just bet it all on the bear, boys. All in. Oh, Marauders and Leapers. Oh my god. Killing me. Let's just do Elder. Let's try, try and stay away from those bros. As long as he's not fire res. Oh, damn. We try that again. Be like water, Bruce. <laughs> oh, I needed that, man. I needed that. You're right. I just need to be fluid. I need to be adaptable, you know? And I need to dial in. That's what I really need. I think what could be good is if we... If we pull less annoying mobs like this. Because, like, just doing Dark Elder in that little nook. It'll be less efficient because you're, like, got less guys. But then you just, like, don't pull all those leapers and stuff. Okay. Let's try that again. What's up, Matt? Welcome to the stream, dude. Good morning. And we can do this. I kind of want to leave those dudes. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah, so we got zombies. And we got Elder. And when we're very tightly in a nook. A little bit sketch. But I think this is the play. Just took a little while to get the system down. This is it. Ooh, Amrune. Yeah, this is it, bros. We're on. We're on, baby. We're on. Yeah, I was just being a little bit too greedy for a schmuck like me before. Okay. First time I've ever done this. Perfect. And now we have the bear. Ooh, we're cooking. Dimensional blade. Oh, Gilded Shield! Could have been a Hoz. Stay hydrated. Oh, I need, yeah, you're right. It's so hot here now. We're out of, um, out of winter. It's so nice. Let's get rid of this. We're accumulating good rejuve density. And then that's a rejuve. Okay, beautiful. And then we can get that. We can put you like there or something. Fantastic. I'm feeling great about this, bros. Not even just good, I'm feeling great. Oh, Marauder's there. Come on now. Just attack the bear for me. That's it. Okay. <laughs> the bear just got blown up in two hits. <laughs> two hits from... I thought it would be two hits from Duriel. It's two hits from these guys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the bear is so weak. <laughs> Alright. Where is Dark Elder? There he is. Blow up something. Pull it on that run.
Yeah, that's the idea. We try try and get some experience. Yeah, I think I think a, a lower res wand would really help us here. But I just kind of seebs shopping for one. That's definitely what all the pro gamers would do. So we've I'm doing it super slowly, but I just haven't got the fully got the system down pat. Like, just do not want to muck around with those bros. Come on. Okay. Got Dark Elder, got an armor, peel out. That wasn't a good map. Lots of annoying enemies. Maybe I need to focus less on killing other mobs and just do it super fast. Blasting Dark Elder down. Ah! Excited for Cricket World Cup? I'm not a big, um, I'm not a big cricket man. Yeah. Oh crap. Oh, come on, dude. Focus up. Focus up. I think it's almost caffeine time. In fact, we're long overdue for caffeine. All right. Let's do that again. Got my friends. Top of the morning coffee, yeah. <laughs> That's um Jack Septicive's coffee, right? His coffee brand name. It's a good name for a coffee brand. Very on brand, if you will. Okay, Elder down. Grab some loot to sell. And then peel out. Thank the Lord for coffee. Oh, so good. <laughs> Thank God coffee's socially acceptable, hey Bruce. <laughs> Thankfully the government didn't uh at some point arbitrarily decide that it uh, it's illegal. Uh, okay, let's put this there. Cheers to that, hey. Dink. He's not fire immune, which is great. Couple of little annoying leapers and marauders, but that's fine. So annoying, those little dudes. Emerald. Oh, they hit hard. Oh my god, with the amp. Ah, uh, how to play this? How to play this? He's so close. Got him. <laughs> so sketch that one. <laughs> Unbelievably sketch. 
What coffee you drinking? I'm just drinking mother's milk, baby. It's a uh, filthy energy drink. I'm really not loving this Dark Elder map. In fact, I hate it. I loathe it. It's the bane of my existence. What I want to do instead... Ooh. I think if we can s finish Maggot, then we can start re-rolling. Like re-roll for a better Lost City map. And why don't we finish Snakes while we're there too? So it's not dark all the time. Probably want to do BP one, hey? What's going on here? Uh, we're just getting some target farming experience, yeah. Or that was the idea, but I wasn't executing very well. Yeah, I think uh, a combination of factors: not having a lower res wand, and not having a good map set up for it, was just like making it a bit frustrating so just gonna put a pause on it just gonna collect the staff and then maybe we re-roll re the map like once or twice and then try and get up to like level 70 it shouldn't take too long as long as it's as long as it's all going smoothly ruby 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 You're there. Oh. I do at least prefer telling with the bear. I feel more safe telling with the bear. Oh crap. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Speaking of feeling safe. <laughs> let's charge through every enemy in the whole game. Is this it here? Ah, oh, yes. Nice quick find there. I needed that. I needed that, bros. Alright, let's pick up Fang. Now we can see again, which is honestly so nice. We'll try take number two with those maggots. Switching to physical for the Ubers. Yeah, we're gonna switch to werewolf for the Ubers. That's the uh, that's the loose plan. Hopefully it uh, it works out. <laughs> But we'll see. <laughs> Hang around for six hours and you can find out. <laughs> I freaking... I focus... I hocus pocus focus for five minutes, bros. And you guys are talking about... <laughs> you guys are talking about milk. <laughs> I've never been more proud. All right, we've got 22 charges. Um, right, let's just blast through it. And by blast through it, I mean carefully teleport as to not waste our charges. Oh my god, come on, come on, click! God damn it! Okay, blast, blast. Okay, 13. Number 64. Don't rechat, just don't. 
I'm sensing some weird energy. Just in a weird energy phase. Okay. Okay, hopefully beetles don't scrooge us in the nooch this time. Okay, just this one beetle. Okay, amazing. We have the staff. And 23 attack rating small charm. Pretty nice. Alright, now we've got those. We can reset... Lost City and see if we can get a slightly better layout. And we'll just snag five more levels there. Wow, 11 AD. Okie dokie. Gonna have heaps of um, attack rating charms and then heaps of rejuvies, which is just amazing. Oh, you already did, Maggot. Weird. We got so close. <laughs> we got so close to doing it. <laughs> we explored it all. Just didn't fully, fully, fully execute at the end. Well, I mean... There was an execution. Just, uh... Not the, not the type, we, type we were after. Oh my god, it's so nice being able to see here. Holy smokes. I cannot tell you how good that feels. I think that was really bothering me, just having the Lost City thing, not being able to see. Okay, so I don't know. Dark Elder's always in some ruins, but I don't know which ones are his, just based on how they look. Like, there's a specific shape to his ruins, but I don't know which is which. Hopefully it's this one. This game's so good, right? <laughs> That's what I've been saying. <laughs> Every Christmas, I've been telling my grandma, you gotta get on D2R, man. I've been telling ya. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't even know how to use a phone. All right, let's get these. Um, no. Imagine if it was these ones right here, that would be nuts. Maybe it's up, it could be up. Oh. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, super close. So, there won't be many other mobs, but at least we'll be able to do it just super, super easy peasy every single time. Just like doing, um, like shank runs, basically. Oh, mage plate, that's an amazing cell. And the belt. And this. That's the poison one. That's the poison one. All right, so we want to go up to P8. Hey, Ken. Oh, Kato's here. What's up, man? <laughs> look at this funny man doing his funny little things. <laughs> hey, look. Everything you say about me, Kano, is purely a reflection on you. Because... Basically, all I do on this channel is copy you. So, uh, really. It says more about you than it does about me. Welcome to the stream, dog. Always, always a treat having you here, man. We, we got the, uh, we got the, the assassin one down. Yeah, it just took us, on the second attempt, we got it done. The redemption arc. Took me, um, took us like 13 hours. So we're closing in on being 2x Kano time. Which is the dream. That's the end goal. 
Ah, slapped. Let's make a new one. Not gonna lie, I'm impressed you've been able to pull up these runs. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, man. I mean, aside from the speed, one of the big differences is that, like, we have been target farming stuff. You know what I mean? Like, on the Assassin one, we target farmed that Amrune. Just so I didn't have to switch between uh, Black and Malice. Just because I don't like pressing buttons. So, it's a, it's a little different. I guess with the the Amazon run, we got that, that down pretty pretty solid in the end. After a couple of tries. This one, I really want to find Lem and Um for Duress and Treachery. Renamed to Lazy Spot. <laughs> it all works. Yeah, lazy, simple, slow. Yeah, I just, I'm not good at the swap. I, I, we might do that, like swapping between Malice and Black this time. We'll see. I am optimistic about the armor in though. Oh. Oh, this is a uh, steel driver, right? We found this just before. Ethereal? No. Yeah. Low ED roll. Our last one was 130. And so with um with this lev leveling bit, Kano, you would um you would collect other mobs on the way, right? And use a lower res wand. Yeah. I admittedly I skipped I skipped past this bit of your vod. I just like saw that you were doing it, and then I I skipped past. But I feel like I'm doing it very very slowly. These bros. This. Yeah, we got Kano and chat, Brian. We made it. You gonna be Fury Druid for the Ubers? That's the plan. That's the plan. My loose plan is to go... We'll go fire until... Maybe we beat, beat Duriel. And then we'll respect to wind. And then we'll do wind for the Terra Keys and the H Keys. And... We'll stick as wind until act five. And then I'm gonna go back into fissure for the D keys. And then the miners, like positioning the miners where we want them. And then I'm gonna go into wolf, which uses all three respects. Yeah. Is that the YouTuber Kano? <laughs> that is, that is in fact the famous YouTuber speedrunner Kano. Kano. The one and only. You can only kill the night tigers and plague, plague bearers. Yeah, the freaking leapers would just drive me crazy, man. We just had a different map with leapers, and oh my god. I almost lost my cool. So annoying. Unbelievably annoying. You're going fire for Nilithak? That was my plan. That was my plan was to use Fissure. But you can do that, right? I've never actually done that before. I mean, sometimes he's fire immune. But I was just thinking like, you could just pop a Fissure under him. He doesn't move. True. True, I didn't think about that. He doesn't, he doesn't move into the fissure. <laughs> but like surely the wombo combo of like fissure, volcano under him, like surely that'll, that'd work. Yeah, boulder. Yeah, we could boulder for him to move, like get pushed through the fissure. Save by Kano. 
I just feel like I'd have a better time doing it as Fissure than Wind. For me personally. With my with my unique playstyle. Volcano okay, no, does like three damage. <laughs> but how bad would it be? Like if you just It'd be a bit slow. But I feel like it would be safer as Fissure. Because, like, with NATOs, you have to, like, get right next to him, you know? I feel like it wouldn't actually be that bad. But, like, if you're if you're speedrunning, I think NATOs would be quicker. Because, as, as well, I, I think... I don't know. It'd be nice to be, it'd be nice to still be in Fisher for the Lilith map. At least I think. I don't think that's, they're mainly cold immunes in Lilith map, right? I feel like you'd have a better time clearing that. Please give you good, good luck on a roll. You're going to roll a new ethereal thresher? Infinity? Oh, hell yeah, man. Good luck. <laughs> Wait, someone rolled an, an infinity earlier in the stream. I didn't hear how that went. Hopefully, hopefully not terrible. <laughs> and they just haven't said anything. <laughs> yeah. But then how do you clear the other areas? Do you need to clear the other areas? I mean, yeah, that's, that, I guess that's, because, like, with Izzy, like, you don't really need to clear anything. But with Duriel, there's a chance you might need to clear something. Oh, true. I guess I'm rolling the dice with Duriel. Will he be directly next to the waypoint or not? The portal. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes Duriel doesn't spawn in the middle. Yeah, the one time you can't clear, he probably won't, that little rat bag. I guess you could still get him there with Nadir, though, right? You probably could still isolate him using, um, using Nadir. It would just be so annoying. Oh, Battle Boots. Oh, that could have been more traps. It's probably better that it wasn't, though. Oh, use Fire Immune. Good thing I didn't notice, or else we wouldn't have found this. <laughs> oh, what? 35 Lightning Res with Dex. It's kind of nice. I don't know if we'll use those, though. 35 is pretty nice. But I wanted more. On, just give me that champion. There we, there we go. <clears throat> you get mad when you think about anything more than sixty strength. Yeah, we found um, we found Immortal King's boots, so it's it's a shame. I don't think we'll be able to wear those for Ubers unless we find other parts of the set, because they're one twenty five. I think we will put these on for farming keys though, just for the move speed. Got a 48 roll on the infinity. Wait, you said F Thresher though, right? Oh, no, 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 that was Kenny. Oh no, Kenny, that's your self-wielding one. Damn it. <laughs> oh, damn, brutal, man, brutal. Oh well, in some ways it's a good thing because that means the next roll will still also be exciting. How's that for some unbearable, unbearable cope? I've been in that situation many times before, Kenny. Very true, yeah. <laughs> oh, got these slingers. <sighs> oh man, jeez. Okay, he was he was fire resist anyway. You should actually make obedience. It has ED, crushing blow, or res. Chance to proc and chant. Mm. 
it could be it could be a goer the thing the problem is it's kind of like it's two-handed so that means we, we wouldn't have rhyme so we wouldn't have our block chance and we wouldn't have the cbf you know what i mean but it's something to consider for sure What are you contemplating over there, Kano? Is this the, um... You might be able to do it with Fissure and Volcano, but it'd be rough, rough in other ways. Uh, like, which, which other ways? Like the... Elaborate for me. Because we could just stay wind, you know? We could just do it as wind. Like, that's an option as well. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to things not being smooth. Ignore maxing boulder one point into the five summons. Yeah, we've got these. Now, there's a good chance I'll be seventy five. Because I'm a slow poke. 67 now. It's that. It's it's just I'm worried about uh, if we have to clear it, clear enemies on Israel and Dural now though. But I mean, you rarely have to clear every anything for Izzy. Like, super rarely, right? I feel like it's kind of, it's... I feel like you can pretty reliably get Izzy on his own. Without having to kill anything. But Duriel. If it's like the 1 in 5 times, or like whatever it is, like 1 in 10 times, that he's not right there by the waypoint. Or if for whatever, for whatever reason... <laughs> other enemies get lured in, then it could get pretty sketch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could just... I mean, the Ichis are fire immune, aren't they? But you could just k kill them once you respec into wolf form. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna wing it, Kano. What could possibly go wrong? We could have another assassin dual wielding situation on our hands. <laughs> but I've got my heart set on doing um, the D keys as, as Fissure. Even if nothing else, do, do the lightning century. I, if nothing else, even just so there's just the slightest, slightest, slightest bit of variation between your runs and me attempting it. So it's not a complete one for one. Just copy. Yeah, it's my own twist, you know? It's my own flavor. <clears throat> could have, could even be developing a new strategy here, you know? Con my, contributing in my small way to the, uh, to the speedrunning community. If nothing else, by what not to do. Here's why we don't use Fissure for farming DKs. <laughs> Okay, 67, so we'll probably go up to like 70. And then maybe we do real. 
Um, death mask. Or we could just switch straight to wind and start farming the keys. Imitation is the highest form of flattery. Yeah. <laughs> Initial burst of fissure will be huge. Yeah. But if he doesn't die in the first batch, it's, um, yeah, it's ugly. Or oh, ogre. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hopefully, hopefully we can get it to a point where we're not getting like one tapped. Because you wouldn't get one tapped by corpse explosions, right? Like with... Because we'll have a trackload of vitality. And then maybe if we chuck on like a bulwark or something. Or even like a temper. We'll see. You do? Oh, true. Yeah, we're going to go 125 strength. Yeah, for the Immortal King's boots. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, cast your Immortal Kings. Uh, all those. 15 IS jewel. How much does it cost? Um, just, if it's just 15 attack speed, they're usually not worth anything. Yep. Like, you can get one super duper cheap. Um, but maybe a couple of perfect gems. Like, for those to be really valuable, you want something else on there as well. Like, enhanced damage. Hey, plate. Ooh, Tiara. Hello. Oh, sorceress. Damn, dog. At least it's a f some fat cash from that. I just can't. Can't own. Can't own Schmuck having a chat. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't bode well. <laughs> kind of warning us of something. <laughs> something that could potentially go wrong. I can, f I can see it already. I can literally see it already. Like, four hours down the line, me just being like, Oh my god, why did I choose to pave my own path? Why didn't I just listen, you know? My freaking hubris. Find a Kira's? Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Coming right up. Wow. Speaking of IAS jewels. Oh my god, oh my god. That zombie almost got me. Look at that click speed. Off the charts. You've considered fissure against nearly two. And this is before the next hit delay change is true. I mean it's it's looking up. It's looking up. I feel like I don't actually know. I haven't actually played much Wind Druid. In fact, I don't think I played Wind Druid in D2R. The last time I played it was when I was like 12 years old. Um, but I feel like Fissure would be better for clearing, for clearing Matron's Den. If you had to. But also, I just, I just don't know. Not sure what I should be leveling here. So let's just go Armageddon. Wind is strong. Wind with like heaps of plus skills and faster cast rate is like super strong. But you don't have many plus skills, you know, when you're um when you're when you're on a budget. Bouge bouge. But also, admittedly, I last played wind when I was twelve years old. <clears throat> What's up, ATP? 
Welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, going pretty well. We're going very slowly. <laughs> very slowly. But uh, energy levels are doing well. We have uh, good caffeine supplies. Unfortunately, I have already demolished a lot of the snacks. We don't have any salami left, which is a travesty. Uh, but apart from that, I'm doing well. We're almost at the stage where we're gonna bang a respec and start farming down these keys and snagging our arm rune and a lem rune while we're at it. Very close, maybe in, uh, maybe in one level. We'll start doing that. No salami, I know. I ate too much of it yesterday. Because <laughs> I did a really long run yesterday. And when I got back, I just couldn't stop, you know. It was going down so well. So there wasn't that much to start with. Yep. On the arm hunt again, I know. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic, classic, classic. The only, the, the lamb is borderline essential for me. So, the, the arm might be optional, but I'll definitely feel a lot better if we had it. What's your average run? Uh, so I really, I was super fit, like, a year and a half ago. <laughs> And then I just played Diablo and drank wine for a year. Um, so I just started running again like last week. And I haven't been recording distance or speed or anything like that. I've just been going for a time. So in the run yesterday, I ran for an hour and a half. Or jogged rather. It's not running at all. It is incredibly slow jogging with... Three little breaks in there. Because I like to run bare feet. I know, it's pretty weird, but... <laughs> feels good. <laughs> feels good for the soul. So, like, there's a little break when you kick off your shoes and then put them back on. And then I had a little water break as well. One thing I do need to start practicing eventually is drinking water while I'm running, rather than stopping to drink. Like, getting the, um... The stomach and the guts used to doing that, but uh, that's future schmuck's problem. But now it's just about establishing the habit or re-establishing. This is the anti-speed run, exactly, exactly. Yeah. In fact, let's walk around like this. Just so no one gets it twisted. Ooh, hello. Wait, Telling of Beads would actually be kind of good. Telling of Beads is skills and... Is it like lightning and cold res on there? I'd still... I'd, I'd still want to tells, but let's see. Cathans. Boo. Lame. Just on grass, yeah. Yeah, just barefoot on grass. And... Yeah, and ideally on kind of like lush, lush grass to start with. For your feet to get used to it. <clears throat> yeah, it can be a little bit sketch though. Like yesterday I ran past a syringe on the ground and I was like... Oh. Could get a syringe in my foot and AIDS at the same time. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. And so every time I ran past that area, I was kind of like, <laughs> steer clear. <laughs> Peak Melbourne, yeah. <laughs> Pretty dope, yeah. Everyone always asks about like, oh, but what if you step on dog poo, you know? And it's just like, dog poo? That's the least of my worries. <laughs> Freaking syringes lying around. 
Um, almost took that off the bucket list. <laughs> I'd be afraid running barefoot in Australia. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do it any anywhere, but I've got a nice park where I like to do it. Also, like, I get a bit embarrassed, you know, because it's a little bit weird running in bare feet. So there's not many people there. And, like, it's a good... It's like a couple of ovals, like, amalgamated together. So you get a good, good distance per loop. And, yeah. Pretty low on the whole. Like, pretty low syringe density, which is good as well. <clears throat> level 70. Okay. I mean, levels are going to be really... Going to be really kind of delicious. For this run. Like, much more important than previous runs. So I just want to see how long it would take to get to 71. Like, maybe we go to 72 or something like that. We'll see. Barefoot sounds so good. Yeah, it's really nice. Like... Um... I know it sounds like a bit, like... A bit of hoodoo voodoo, but, like, your bare feet touching, like, the earth is like kind of good for the soul you know <laughs> it feels good it's just like ah man i needed that and then also like it's meant to be kind of good for your gait because if you run barefoot then you just naturally wouldn't hit heel first you would naturally hit the front of your foot first so you're not slamming your joints you know but like when you're in nice comfy shoes then you just naturally go heel first isn't biomechanically it's not how we evolved to run <clears throat> yeah. that's a grounding thing they talk about yeah yeah you see heaps of like um athletes do it now as well yeah like before and after a game they'll just like go walk on the pitch with um with bare feet and then uh i don't know if you follow afl kano <laughs> But, like, this player for, uh, he's a gun for the Suns, like, Matty Rowell, he, he, he always grounds for each game, and then there was this footage of him, like, he eats the grass as well. <laughs> That's a bridge too far, yeah. But, uh, truly becomes one with the earth before each game. Used to be having an ages, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. They full-on put him on blast. <laughs> like a couple of weeks ago and showed all of this footage of him him with like grass hanging out of his mouth yeah. poor guy clearly works though he's so good he's unbelievably good our souls are made from the ground dust Game dust we return yeah there's like that um what's it called the i think it might actually be called the like the homunculus or something i can't remember exactly what it's called but it's like this drawing or like a physical representation of a human with parts of their body like enlarged so it's in proportion to how many nerve endings you have there so it's just like this person with like really big hands like really big lips and really big feet so <laughs> clearly our feet are meant to be kind of feeling stuff you know what i mean or at least they were at one point in time you guys would have probably seen that that um <clears throat> That drawing before i could probably try and get it up but i don't know what to search model of person with big lips and feet <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong wait let's uh keep this just in case all right i think we go maybe 72. <laughs> bernard has loved this topic <laughs> I remember for eight months, dog. Thank you so much, man. 
I really appreciate it, dude. Um, used to get really nervous before a work live stream. And then getting dressed like it was a normal live event got you in the mindset needed. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, sounds like you developed a nice little. Oh, that could have been Drax. That could have been Drax. Oh, as if that wasn't Drax without 18% magic find. Um, yeah, developed a nice little ritual, it sounds like. Nice, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bit of emotional whiplash there for you. <laughs> uh, I love in your streams we talk about everything. Yeah. <laughs> we got range. <laughs> we got range. <laughs> you know, wherever the conversation takes us. Yep. <clears throat> That's the beauty of uh, my speed runs going for 18 hours. That there's time. There's time to chat. Oh! Nat's boots again! Oh, see you later. See you later, 125 strength. This is amazing. So this rolls 15 to 25 on the resistances. 1716, I'm not even mad about it. It's such a good find. Oh, that is beautiful. 40% faster run walk with some little itty bitty baby resistances on there too. And now we don't have to we don't have to put on Immortal King's boots. Sweet find. Absolutely sweet find. We found that on the Assassin too. We talk about everything here except the Assassin run, number one. Yeah, I mean, how could we talk about something that doesn't exist? You know? That's a bridge too far. A bridge too far in into the supernatural. <laughs> no, <Nature>. Joe. <laughs> Oh, that's such a nice, um, that's a really nice find. Oh, we're so speedy. We didn't have any run walk. The only run walk we had up until then was freaking stealth. Like, that's probably my bad. We should have shopped for it or something. Alright, let's just get one more level. Actually, no. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 71's fine. We'll get more levels, farming keys, and that sort of thing. Actually, no, 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 no. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Because, like, levels are just going to be so useful later on. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We max Fury. We max Werewolf. We max Lycanthropy. And then I'm thinking we dump the rest into Cyclone. Like Cyclone armor. And it's synergies. So like every level is another point into a synergy, you know what I mean? So we have oh damn. <laughs> That's weird. We have useful ways to use the skill points. Plus we get bonus health, we get bonus stat points. <clears throat> And the levels are flowing pretty quickly. When I don't die. Hey. Okay. Don't have much, um... Don't have much gold, though. That is a little bit of a problem. But hopefully we can accumulate gold when we do countess runs we just pick up lots of stuff to sell maybe we could pop the armor rack each run we'll see and like orts would really help because we've got chippies for repair just no orts Muck so advanced he started the assassin run on number two, yeah. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for collectively helping me bury my trauma. Really appreciate it. Alrighty. Half a level, Elder. Let's go. We all agreed it was a tactical revelation. Yeah, true. We I learned a lesson that I'll never forget. The sad thing is, I think I actually had to learn that lesson once before. Like with one of the sorceress runs. Because I had this red hot idea of having like a dual wielding... A dual wielding barbarian merc. So I think I actually learned that lesson once before, but then just completely forgot about it. But this time... I, uh, I definitely won't forget. This time it's locked in there for good. And now I'm thinking... Do we go straight to farming the keys or do we polish off act two as fissure hmm decisions 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 i wonder if there's any reason to do it one way or the other i can't think of any like major reason So maybe we just do the hate the um the tiki's. What level are you? We're about to hit level seventy two. Yeah. We got um spent the past hour or so getting some really good P eight levels in from just cheesing Dark Elder. Once I got the system down, Pat, it took me a little while to get. To <laughs> to get it smooth. Felt like we are doing it in the dark for a little while. We won't be using beating gear with Ub beating Ubers with gear like that. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, hopefully we we find some better gear, hey? Um all right. So, do we have black marsh? Yes. Hopefully we find a uh, a rune that starts with a U and it ends with an arm. All right, let's do. All right, now there's the there's a run walk when we, just when we don't need it. Let's do normal respec. Hopefully I'm not fluffing this up. I think we need sixty five there. I'm gonna do that so I don't break it. And <clears throat> wind, 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 wind. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if you go bear, but let's do this first. That gets damage with cyclone armor. I get seconds with Cyclone Armor. Surely we don't need summons, right? You need a Ribcracker at least? Nah, we'll be fine. We don't need Ribcracker. We just need Crushing Blow and Open Wounds. Go summons. Alright, we'll go one in each. Twisted my arm. That gets damage from Twister. That gets damage from Twister. We'll do this last. Hopefully I didn't just fluff that up. I feel like I went in a little bit gung-ho there. 
So let's put. D and F do anything? I need more buttons, man. Let's put that there. No, let's put that there, that there. Yeah, something like that. You would have gone cyclone. <clears throat> oh well, we're going cyclone now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got 13, so we're we're well on the way. Now we need to find a good Countess map. One of the most fun bits of the whole operation. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay, I overrode the telly thing. I'll have to change that. Let me put that there. There. There we go. Okay, so not amazing, but also not horrible distance from waypoint. God, that, uh, getting things to hit with the NATOs is going to take some getting used to. I am out of my wheelhouse with that. Oh, Bone Weave, that's a sell. Hell yeah, dog. What the flippery dippery, bros? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that's actually not a bad level one, because you can jump there and walk. Like, that's not horrible. Good level two. No super, but like. That's fine. <laughs> I'll take. Okay, ghosts could be a bit sketch. Skip them. Okay, those super chests there, I think. How do you level up so fast? Um, it helps on single player because you can manipulate the player's command. So we just did some leveling on player's eight. Oh, that really, really helps. If you're able to clear pl players eight. Yeah. But thanks for saying that, man. Because <laughs> comparatively, I'm incredibly slow. So it's, that's really sweet to hear. Yeah. Um, I'm not in love with this map. I think we do it one more time. Just so we can see the full, the full landscape. Oh, they're called immune. But I think we... Shale fell on. I think we re-roll. But let's just do it one more time and confirm. Good. You left work when you first started. Now I'm back and you're in, and you're in, in hell. Yeah. In hell and key farming, baby. We're on track. We're on track. And of course, it was, as we all know, key farming is just a thinly veiled disguise for um farming. Okay. That. So, let's let's have a look. Okay, so this, not amazing, also not terrible. Yeah, okay, that's good layout. Really like the layout there. Here is again, not amazing, not terrible. 
Level two is great. Take that every day of the week. Okay. Level three. We can snag a super there. But distance wise, it's pretty bad. Level four is not amazing, not terrible. Honestly, oh man, I just really don't know how to feel about this one. <laughs> it's smack bang in the middle of, uh, of, be of be being good and bad, you know? <laughs> it's just incredibly mid. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we can do better, but it's like, it's very close to good enough. You'd keep it? Why don't we keep it at least for a few runs? And we'll see what type of... I thought that was Umrun for a second. There was no you in there at all, but for whatever reason, I thought that was an Umrun. Oh my god, my heart. God damn it, Freud! Stop slipping! <laughs> oh dear. Oh man, we're too early in the stream for this fried energy to be coming through. Wait. Is this really good? Is that really good? Because we could make ground or bulwark in that. And we'd still have summon grizzly. Could be really good. Could be useful. <clears throat> Demita, welcome to the stream. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Yeah, I'm doing quite well. I hope you're doing well too. Couple of points saved for sure, yeah. Could be quite useful. But then it's like, it's not really point saved. The respect's already gone. I guess... I guess we could make Temper in there. And if we're going Fissure for Nilly Dilly, then we have that on for Nilly Dilly. Then we get um, we get Bear with more points. We can, we can dump into like Cyclone Armor or something. Is there any use for an Ethereal Colossus Vogue? Um, so people like them if you're, if you've got a pretty new single player account or if it's the start of the season, then people like them because the max sockets is four. So if you were to take it to Lazic, you would always get four sockets. And then people often use it as their first insight base. Um, before they find a better base, like a Thresher or something. Although, little caveat, there is, there are a select few individuals that actually prefer Ethereal CVs over other types of bases. Now, I am not one of those people, but they are out there. Yeah, because they hit really hard, but they just attack quite slowly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they definitely have their uses, more so early on, I would say. Oh, there's the lower res charges. <laughs> Let's sell it and then regret not having it later on. That sounds like a much better idea. Wait, I'm kind of digging being wind. Maybe we do do nearly dilly as wind. Uh, that was good armor there, right? Yeah, mage plate. I guess we are 72 in Act 1. So maybe that's what feels good. I love your slower gameplay, to be honest. Ah, oh, thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I just want to slow it down so you guys can actually see the fine the fine movements that I'm doing. <clears throat> yeah, if I go too fast, you wouldn't be able to follow along. You know what I mean? Ooh, that's a full rejuvi. When's your next hardcore run? You know, yeah. When I feel like it, I guess. When I feel like uh, playing it, hard hard to say. Uh, first, we'll see how this druid one run goes because. I'd say there's a 65% chance we pull this off. So, we could well be in that 35%, in which the next run will be just the redemption arc of this. <laughs> um, and then after that, it, it'd be nice to do it. Um, I kind of want to see if it's possible for us to do it with like something crazy, like a barbarian or something. Hell Ord. But I'm kind of taking it day by day. I don't really have a, a schedule laid out or anything. Yeah, and then there's new Project Project Diablo 2 season on the 22nd. And a new D2R season on the 28th. So we'll definitely be playing those when the time comes. When the run start? Yeah, approximately 8 hours and 53 minutes and 4 seconds ago. Approximately. Yeah, we're going slow today. We're big chilling today. Oh, what? Just found a jar rune. Congrats, man. Don't know what to do with it. You cherish it. You just look at it. You know? Yeah, and, and then and you do this. You click it and then you click it again so you can hear that sound. You can feel it on your cursor, you know? It cherish that little sap suck. Congratulations, man. That's huge. You stroke it. Yeah. <laughs> you stroke it with the cursor. That's awesome. I have only ever found... Uh, I think it's four jar runes in my life. Yeah, that's awesome. Good noon from Germany. Hey, good evening from uh, Australia, man. Welcome to the stream. You got, you've got Enigma already? Yeah. I mean, the jar rune after you have Enigma is a bit like that. It's kind of like, so... <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> Let's make a dream or something. Last wish is a waste of runes, yeah. <laughs> I feel like exactly right. The second jar rune, there isn't a really clear use case. You know, it's a bit like just stuff for fun. The second jar rune. Just gotta fill up this water here. <sighs> what I miss? You guys talking about milk again? Cube to, <laughs> cube to a gem rune. Yeah, now that's chaotic energy. That is some hardcore chaotic energy right there. And I like it. I'm here for it. Good luck on the rest of the run. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, dog. All right, I think we get a new map. This one's decent, but I want one that just rocks my world, you know? Just knocks my socks off. 
It really blows me away. Ooh, war belt. What could have been? Bracken shell. That's a good sell. Sacrifice to just. <laughs> we don't have a worthy sacrifice. Superior curates. That's a nice sell as well. What? What is in there? Good luck on the keys. You have to get home to the wife and kids. Fair, completely fair enough. Something much more important than uh, than watching a schmuck like me. Thanks, man. Although it's the it's not the keys I'm worried about. <laughs> it's the runes. Faith Bow has a jar. Yes, yes. And Faith Faith Bow is a fun roll as well. A really fun roll. One to two on the skills on something with a jar rune in it. Now that is some masochistic energy from Blizzard. Alright, let's have a look here. Second Black Marsh layout. Yeah, and we get a tower, please. Hmm. Uh, hum uh. Hopefully, we just ran past it immediately, like way down near the waypoint. Okay, here it is. All right, so far away from the waypoint, but could still be salvaged. Ooh, Grandy, hello. Oh, hello. 72 attack rating, 24 life. That's really good. That's the best grand charm we've found yet. In fact, that's the best charm we've found yet. Although we did find the seven lightning red small charm, but that's a really nice one. Really, really nice for us later. when we're trying our darndest to uh, get a hit in. Okay, does not look like a good level one. No, nope, so bad. Unbelievably bad level one. I think this is borderline unsalvageable. Ugh. I need a key. Reset maps, 100%. 100%, this one has got to go. Although two supers, but still, that ring is just it's too far away, <laughs> too far away to get. Just hopefully it wasn't good. What the schmuck is this map? I mean, it's already paid off with the Grand Charm. Like this map is, for a map that's going to get Insta Reset, it's gone above and beyond. Okay, actually pretty good level four. Like, <laughs> turned out to be not horrible. Imagine if we found these last time. 20 IAS, 26 fire res with martial arts. Oh my lordy. We could well use these. We could definitely use these. If we have crushing blow somewhere, for example, on an armor called duress, then we wouldn't need the crushing blow gloves. Or if we were doing the switch between malice and black, Definitely might use those later. Uh, we want that. We'll have to see. We'll just have, well, it's nice to have options. 
Like, depends what the crushing blow is doing, depends what the resistance is doing, you know? Like, these are also sweet. Hit recovery, 40 to life. Alrighty. Hopefully better map than last time. Okay, so not amazing, but also not terrible little distance to tower. Yeah. Yeah. Not loving the look of level one so far. In fact, level one, it looked horrible. Unbelievably bad level one. Do get the super on the way, but oof. it is going to be tough. It is going to be tough to make up for that. Like, going to have to peel out the big guns. Okay, nice. Yep, good level two. Level three, it's going to have to be huge. Mm -hmm. Gonna craft blood gloves. We're definitely gonna craft a couple. And we have options to see if we're gonna use them. Yeah, because we've got. Oh, wait a second. Wait, this could actually be it, bros. Wait, I can't believe that. Wait, what the hell? Was that map just salvaged? Wait, no way. Wait, we have to look at that holistically. <laughs> That's insane. That was looking so bad. And then it just came good. Um, yeah, we're going to craft a couple and see what we find. And then we'll have options. Hell is kind of nice. Because we have the 20 IS gloves we just found. Blood fists and then some blood gloves to, to choose from. Wait, let's see here. I mean, it has to... Like, the first floor is like a long walk. But we do get the super. I still prefer like a short walk with no super. My personal preference. And I should be looking here. For life belts. Gotta remember to do that. Damn. Let's put those away. Grab some healings. Oh, it's cash money. You got to bribe the super. All right. So, not horrible. This is a long walk. Let's see if we can swing it around this way. Okay. We can't even swing around that way. We gotta go beep, beep, beep. But we do get the super chest. And level two is good, all things considered. Could be better, but still good. Level three. I'd say level three is pretty good. Not amazing. And level four is great. Thoughts, bros? Keep, not to keep. And then armor's up here. Keep it. Pretty damn good. All right, we keep. We at least keep for a little while until we get frustrated. Soul Ort is nice. Ort is real nice. I should have picked up one of those armor set too. <sighs> Only level one sucks, yeah. Level one does kind of screw chan nooch, but. I think you, you can just hunt till the cows come home for a good one, right? For like the perfect one. Mm 
<laughs> oh, life belt. Good remembering, Brad. Yep, got to get, got to get in the habit of souping for a life belt. Did you see one there, or are you just giving the reminder? Because you can see with the red color sometimes, right? Uh, we're level 72. Yeah, level 72. Yeah, let, we're gonna... The idea was always to get a bit more levels on this run. Yeah. Just a reminder. Okay, amazing. Yeah. And I think I can tell him more as well. Because we are getting good cash. Tell, tell you a smidge more than I've been doing. On, give me numb. Ort. Take an ort. Reluctantly. Yeah, hopefully we get up to around about like level. Um, like level 77 or something, or a bit higher. Oh, man. Getting so quick. Probably shouldn't stop and kill bros like that. It's just not worth our time, you know? Sneak around there. Oh, hot tamales. God damn, these archers give me the heebie jeebies. Soul rune again, dude. I feel like we've got a hundred million soul runes. Okay. We've got a good system going down, Pat, though. Like, I feel like the runs are pretty smooth. Okay. Kill that. Quick check. I still think we can do a bit better with the map, but we'll keep it here for a little while and stash that gold. Holy smokes, man. God damn. <laughs> There's so much gold there. <laughs> um, What would 100 million soul runes keep up to? <laughs> I don't know, but later on in the stream, we might find out. Holy hell. <laughs> Um, Mads, welcome to the stream, man. Just tuned in. How the drops been? Yeah, so far they've been pretty good. I'm just trying to think. So we found Natch Boots again. That was a really nice find. Uh, just for the 40 run walk. Uh, the resistances were a low roll. But nice, nice to get that 40 move speed. Um, we found Blood Fist, which is interesting. We also found some interesting 20 IAS gloves, which have a bit of fire res on them, 26 fire res. We found a Manald, unfortunately. Oh! Oh, dude! I don't even know if that can be a Rax, but it could still be really good. Oh! Literally nothing useful. Um, we found this ring, which is really nice. 28 lightning res and 10 FCR. Did we find anything else good, bros? Can't be a Rax, yeah. I feel like if Andariel can't drop a Rax, then we probably couldn't have found it in tower level four. <laughs> but it could have been a good rare belt. 
It could have been a good rare belt. And it wasn't. Oh, Kyrun. Okay, now we're kind of getting warmer. Countess doesn't meet the level requirement. And some friends along the way, yeah. Oh, no. Nah, much more important than friends along the way is Umruns. You know? I'm gonna be honest, boys. I would throw one of you under the bus in a heartbeat if it meant I got an Umrun this run. Ooh, 75 life. That's kind of nice. Sweet, man. 75 lifer. Thank you for the reminder. I think it was Brad. Yeah, just to keep checking. Thank you, dog. That one's on you, Brad. Uh, we're going there. You'd need... God, how much is that? 10 million? 10 million sovereigns to create a single bear rune? Is that 10 million? Damn. How many for a uh, an arm rune? Surely not that many. Yeah, Brad, you did your job. Yeah, your contribution. Thank you. <laughs> now you can relax. <laughs> 10 million, jeez. Exponential growth. Just nutty. I'll never forget that live stream when we were, um, when we were finishing off the thousand ancient tunnel runs and the idea popped in my head to cube to bear rune. <laughs> and the first thing we did was like, was do the maths. <laughs> it's like, oh no, it's possible. <laughs> it's realistically feasible. Oh no, now, now I have to do it. <laughs> It's non-negotiable. <laughs> yeah. Valley remembers, yeah. Yeah, we got up the, um, like one of my first videos of me of when uh, I ran uh, Countess a thousand times because we had a table at the end. And I was like, oh, sweet. I found four East runes. Ooh, first key. But the, but the issue was that like I also had a a table of when Dabrunsky did it and showed his drops and he found no is runes in a thousand runs. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it was so, so disconcerting. What I miss found anything worth mentioning so far? Oh, uh, we just got our first Tiki. And the best things we've found so far, sorry, I'm going to be quick because we just mentioned them, have been Blood Fist, I love this ring, and Nat's booties have all been pretty nice, nice grabs. But nothing that's really rocked my world. A freaky tiki. A freaky deaky tiki. Yeah. Get that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. But I think Philip said it best. Friendships along the way. That was really nice for Kano to drop in. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Hello. Honestly, feel so lucky that he's able to give me tips. Okay, so... Oh! Oh, no! Why couldn't the lightning and poison res be swapped? Oh, that could have been huge. That could have been huge, man. If only that was more than five lightning res. God damn. Brutal! That's okay, water. Welcome, man. Um, so we're gonna go for Ubers. We're gonna go Werewolf with Fury and smack him in the face. Yeah. 
That's the plan. But, uh, as Mike Tyson once said, everyone's got a plan and then until they get smacked in the limb. Word for word. Thought it might have to be Wolf or Bear. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I'm pretty sure you can do Harmony strats. Oh. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go Werewolf. Is the plan. <laughs> Mike Tyson, famous D2 speedrunner. <laughs> oh, another co, second co rune. Spinal. <laughs> I broke my back. Care to elaborate, Mark? <laughs> Spinal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that clip will never not be funny to me. <laughs> Spinal. Oh, 48. <laughs> imagine if I saw... Imagine if he saw me saying that in real life. I would flip like a second, be like, oh, Mike, such a big fan. <laughs> I would never laugh, laugh about your lisp ever. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> but it's objectively funny. Come on. My back is broken. Yeah. <laughs> My back is broken. <laughs> I forgot one of the funniest bits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the funniest bits. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I broke my back. And the guy's like, can to elaborate? And he's like, my back is broken. <laughs> he just said the same words. Just in different order. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm just cracking myself up over here. It's such a good clip, man. Literally 10 out of 10. <laughs> He'd laugh at this point in his life, I bet. Yeah, he seems to be really mellowed out now, hey? Yeah. Power of shrooms, baby. <laughs> I'm elaborating. He's saying the same words. In a different order. <laughs> and then coming in with a lisp uh, at the end. It's just too good. It's like literally too good. You can't, you can't write that, you know? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, another key. Oh, no. Oh, bros. We've got two T keys. No limbs, no arms. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. Oh dear. The only person on earth to be um, upset when they find a key. Um, 69 life belt there. What's your level? We're level 73. He's a wise old man now. Yeah, he is. He is. He's really gone through evolutions, hasn't, hasn't he? Yeah, have, have you seen that clip of someone asks him? Because he had his old coach, right? Cuss. Someone asks him, like, if you could send him an email, who's passed away now, you know, what would you say? And, and they've got this incredibly, incredibly high quality camera. So you can see like every pore, you know? And it's just like, and he's just like looks and his look is like so gnarly. You like, you have to see it. And he's, and he's just like, how did I do? I'd asked him, 
how did I do, you know? But it's like so poignant, you know? Me just relaying it, just, it doesn't come across. You just have to see it for yourself. You had to be there, basically. Is he Brin's Harry? Wait, what, me? <laughs> Who, this guy? <laughs> I have got that before. Apparently, I look like him. Come on, baby. Give me a lamb. Or an um. Or a pal. <sighs> At least it wasn't a tiki. up the gem space pretty quick <laughs> we have prince harry at home yeah budget prince harry and by budget i mean broke no i'm just kidding um yeah basically billy <clears throat> although i've got a better wife than he does Bam. Cool VGVs, thank you very much. When are you doing one to Uber's source redemption? <laughs> you mean redemption, redemption. <laughs> I already failed the redemption of the one to Uber's source. Um, I'll have to do some practices for that one. Like I'd have to practice that bell fight a lot, a lot, a lot. <clears throat> because the bell fight would have got harder with the next hit delay changes and I already couldn't do it so it's something I'd need lots of practice at having the having the teleport is so nice for harmony though like being able to teleport your minions where they need to be it's like oh that that's just the, the dream with Source. <laughs> Absolute dream. Excuse me. Growl, dear towel. No, no, no. The chip's kind of nice, though. For the repairs. Farming keys or runes? Uh, both. I mean, we've got two out of three keys. But there are still some runes that I really, really want. <laughs> so, I feel as though runes are going to be our rate limiting factor. It's probably the best way to phrase it. Alright, let's... Cube up some of these. Gonna have real good rejuvi density is really nice. Um, because I don't think we're gonna go in with life tap wand. <laughs> For two reasons. One is it's a bit sketch to cast it, because we can't cast it cast it in wolf. And two, we're not gonna heal that much. Because we aren't gonna do like super big damage. So the more rejuvies, the better. <clears throat> but maybe we do do live tap. I haven't fully decided. I'd say it's more unlikely than likely. How's the uh, potion ASMR boys? 
Whoops. There we go. Some amount of space. Some healings. <laughs> Slim. <laughs> Dude, I completely understand. I completely understand. <laughs> it's objectively hilarious. <laughs> Just objectively. Didn't realize how good Phoenix is on a corpse explosion necro. Oh, true, because it adds fire damage, right, Phoenix? I think, is that fire damage? Or just the redemption? Wait, what? Wouldn't redemption be bad? Because you would lose the corpses? Phoenix adds physical, yeah. Wait, what exactly? I, I've never actually made a Phoenix. <laughs> I've had them before <clears throat> when I was a kid, but I haven't had them in D2R, I don't think. I guess the redemption doesn't pulse super frequently. So you'd still probably have time to explode. But it could be annoying. Just redeeming the corpses you want to explode. <clears throat> Are you voting no or yes? Whoa, what what are we what am I voting for? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? <laughs> I don't really stay in the loop with much stuff. I'm kind of in my own bubble. Bubble, if you will. I can tell you about uh, YouTube drama, you know? Tell you all about that. Now, the current economic and political state of the world. Oh my god, we got the three tiki's so unbelievably quickly. Oh dear, boys. Oh dear. Well... That was P1 as well. Oh shit. Oh crap. Oh, the voice. Oh yeah. Um... I mean, I try and keep things a bit apolitical just because it's so polarizing you know and basically i want to keep as many of you on side as possible don't want to offend anyone <laughs> no although that is true to some degree um but uh i don't know much about it but i know that my friends are voting yes so i'm probably just gonna go yes but to be honest i'm so catastrophically uninformed so <clears throat> I am uh, part of the problem, <clears throat> but uh, when in doubt, just uh, copy your friends. <laughs> no. That's bad advice. You should educate yourself, but I'm just lazy. <clears throat> um, ask again, are you moving on and praying for Rune to drop? Uh, yeah, so we'll move on. We'll keep trucking through on the off chance that we just find the runes that we want like from forge or just from arcane and that sort of stuff and then we'll reassess later <clears throat> yes oh crap jeez that was close <clears throat> Oh, blue Shaco! That would have been so cool, freaking Shaco, to farm Neely Keys. It'd be really nice for the Neely Keys. Wait, I'm gonna pop a safety here, this is kind of hot. I'm far away from Ubers. We're quite a while away. Yeah. We're quite a while away. Oh, what? Oh, we're level one. Oh, I thought we were level three. Oh my god. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. We're in for a long haul here, boys. Yeah. So, still need to farm the H keys. Still need to do Act 3 and 4 and save Anya. Still need to farm the D keys and then need to get the gear in order. Uh, we should do... We should do Ratty. And we should do Ratty and Den, actually. We'll do that after we... Now that, now that we're wind, we'll do that after we find Nilithak. I mean, Summoner. <clears throat> Whoop. Stick him. Stick him, Yorick. Nice. Yorick Berninson. Wait, when do I have to do that voting thing? That's compulsory, isn't it? Damn it. <laughs> Goddamn democracy. <laughs> um, October 14th. Okay, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I say that in jest. We've got it very good. In the grand scheme of history. But that won't stop me from complaining about it. Okay, let's do it down here. <clears throat> Has anyone actually ever found a Zod? I know I haven't. I know I haven't. Nice. So we want to go second left here, unless we feel like yoinking that waypoint. What are you voting on? Uh, I am just not the person to explain it. I honestly have such a so little idea about what's going on. I just know like very vaguely. But one of you bros in chat could be able to explain it a lot better than me. I've got, I've got a couple weeks to uh, learn about it, I guess. You call this explosion before the Phoenix can use Redemption. Oh yeah, you just get in there before the Redemption, yeah. So I feel like Redemption, it just, it doesn't pulse that fr frequently. I don't know how the Redemption on Phoenix is, but... I feel like that could work. But then it's like, what... What's the shield there instead of? Trick question. It's always a spirit. So hopefully it doesn't matter you're losing out on those uh, couple of skills. Oh, what? We hit 300 likes. Wait, I only see 200. Thanks so much, dude. Oh my god. To celebrate, I will die. <laughs> I will sacrifice myself. Oh, we hit 300. Thank you, dudes. Thank you so much. Bloody legends. Okay, this is sketch. This is so sketch with amp. And no healings. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? All in. All in. Are those NATOs hitting? They are. Nice. Got him. Ooh, ring. Hello. Okay, debated by the loot, but FCR with cold res. It's not rocking my world. It would be rocking my world, but we've found two other really good FCR rings. So the bar is high. The bar is high. 
we should probably keep that for my grand base. And let's go do Dan. Go and get yourself another skill point. Keep it just in case. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. That old stuff. Oh, we have this. Why don't we get rid of this? Because we don't need these. We have Z bases. Say Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Nailed it. Countess dropped an is. A cold arms incoming on single player. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Let us know how it rolls. Really nice. Such a fun roll, that one. Heartbreaking sometimes, but fun. Worcestershire, yeah, yeah, that's how my mum says it actually. Worcestershire, yeah, that sounds right. Worcestershire. Yeah. Two five two? Yeah, it's not bad. Two on the boo. Take that. I think you take that. You just say the W sauce, yeah. W in every sense of the letter. Five on the boo, yeah. Five. Did I say did I say two or did I say five? Yeah, five on the boo is great. Yeah, absolutely take that. Stop butchering English. Ah. It's just so, uh, it's just what I do best, man. I'm actually not speaking English, though. I think that that might be where the, the miscommunication is coming in. I'm actually speaking an incredibly nuanced Australian dialect. And if you say that I'm mispronouncing anything, then I'm just going to call you racist. So, try and argue with that one. How about that? We got him. Checkmate. Checkmate, baby. Ooh, whipping out the race card as a white man feels good. I gotta say, it feels good. Feels good. <laughs> this is what I've been missing out on my whole life. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm getting myself cancelled this stream 100%. <laughs> uh, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> Hey, ghost one. Nice. That's a good sell. Diamond mail. <sighs> what else is on the ground that I can deflect from? Oh, great. 492 gold. Let's keep moving. Let's bring it back to Diablo. <laughs> Flip it and chip it, boys. <laughs> yeah. Add it to the file. Add it to the file. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. All right, sweet. We've done those. Now I think we um, get rolling with these, what should we call them? H keys. Fantastic. Oh, we didn't return to Atmo. My bad. Yield back. We need the controversy for exponential channel growth. I mean, nothing fuels the algorithm like a bit of drama, you know? Like, if there was beef between Diablo content creators, I would eat that. I would eat that up, you know? I would click on those videos in a heartbeat. If for whatever reason, you know, like, I don't know, like Cooley and Ginger just started getting into it, just started dropping diss tracks. Oh man, that would be so fire. That would actually be so fire. 
then just drum it up and then box each other. Oh man, I should start more beef. I should really start more beef. Fucking Kano, man. He's always copying my speed runs. Fuck that guy. I hate him. Oh, war boots. Nice. <laughs> Perth isn't even part of Australia, dog. <laughs> I actually don't know which part of it is like Perth or Adelaide or something. I don't know where he is. Sorry. Hey, try res with run walk and repair mod on ethereal. They're kind of cool. I wish they had higher rolls on the resist. <laughs> GG no ring. <laughs> I was racking my brain. I was like, who would it be most obvious? that I was joking, and obviously it's Kano. Cause like, if I just started talking trash on someone that I've never interacted with, it'd be like, <laughs> wait, is he joking or is he serious? <laughs> it's a sign of endearment towards Kano. We love Kano. Man, I'm really not good at starting beef, am I? <laughs> just end up complimenting the guy. <laughs> Clip it. Yeah. Clip it and send it to him. Um, <clears throat> triangle, triangle. Where is triangle? Is it there or is it over here? It just. It's over here, right? Bro, <laughs> salty dog. What the hell, man? Thank you so much. Salty dog, what what the hell? Good to see you off in Adich, Mark. Hope life's treating you well. Yeah, it's treating me really well, man. I just started running again. So that's really good for the old noggin. Holy smoke, Salty. Thank you so much, man. Just out of freaking nowhere. <laughs> Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. God damn. The 100 freedom units, boys. That's in... That's... That's like 10 grand in, in Australian dollars. You know, if you convert it over. Thank you so much, man. That's unreal. I really appreciate it, dude. Holy smokes. <laughs> so generous, Salty. <laughs> Almost sweet. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Gonna have to change your name, dog. <laughs> it just doesn't suit. It doesn't fit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just not you, man. It's just not you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, thank you so much, man. I should, uh... I should try and, uh, beef with people more often. <laughs> thank you, dude. That's not the first time Salty's pulled these sort of shenangs, either. He's, uh... He's pulled this sort of shenangs before. Oh, brutal, Billy. That's so brutal. I might... It's definitely not as brutal as the first Nightwings being F. That's... That sucks. But my second Nightwings with Imperial. So, in, in some way, in part, I know the pain. Where are we going here, boys? Need this, this, and this. There we go. So we should probably chew on Thorings before we do this, but let's just go in. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> What's a good excuse to not go into work? I feel like the old C word is a really good excuse. It depends how deep in the lie you want to get. But just say, you know, oh man, my sore's throat, I'm waiting. I guess you can get the antigen chest like 
super quick now. Yeah, my sore throat. I'm feeling okay. I could work, but I just don't want to spread it to other people. You know? Just frame it like you're the hero. You're the hero for calling a sickie. Which you are. So. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> Not that I would, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not that this is my first time streaming for three days. Just say you got a little minus, yeah. They'll understand. Ah, uh, sweet. Another speed run. <laughs> Tell him you're dyslexic. <laughs> Get him. Trangs, what? Trangs are kind of good for, um, for wind phase. 20% FCR. And they suck. But Trangs are kind of cute. What are the FCR breakpoints here? We've got 88%, so I think it'd, it'd be like 68 or something. Right, or like 65 or 63. So we'd have that one in the bag. And then the next one would be like 100-ish. But also, I have no idea. I'm just guessing. <clears throat> Sweet fine though. 68 and 99. Oh, true. So we or we're already at one perfectly. Okay, so Trangs aren't as good. But still nice. A cold res on there, right? Um. Now, what do we do? Do we keep trucking through, through Act Three, or do we farm those, those H keys? Why don't we farm the H keys first? Trucking. I really don't mind. I'm a bit indifferent. Nah, let's do H keys. Let's do H keys. We'll do that for a little while. <coughs> that's what that's what I feel like. That's where my heart is right now. <laughs> you could also call your boss yet another C word. That'll probably give you some time off, yeah. <laughs> to look for another job, exactly. Exactly. And thank you so much again, Salty. That was insanely generous of you. I really appreciate it. Unbelievably generous. And I'm thinking... Maybe we do these P3. Because there's a big jump between P... What? Second run, Key of Hate. Oh, baby. God damn. Maybe we do a P1. <laughs> dude needs P3 for the H key. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. And an ort, yeah, an ort for the freaking replenish. Because we're going to be chewing through the telly stuff. I still think we go P3. There's a big jump in the drop rates. <clears throat> oh, thanks for tuning in, Kenny. Yep. Sleep well, dude. Oh, tamales. Get a, a HK in the next ten runs. Oh, hopefully we do. <laughs> okay, no dice. I think it's better rather than hang around and polish off the minions. We just get, get truck in. We could bereave trick to get to the waypoint a bit more speedily, but um, 
be honest, I, I, I don't mind walking, even though it's a bit slower. All right, only 10 tellies this time. Four left. Three. Two. One. <clears throat> Oh, there it is. Wow, these H keys are coming insanely quickly. This is how they should normally drop. Cause it's like on players three, it's like one in nine. It's like one in nine to find a H key. I feel like the past couple of times we've looked, like we've been so unlucky with the H key specifically. God damn. Honestly, insane how quickly these are dropping. Insane how quickly we got the T keys as well, just on players one. <laughs> you don't no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Instead, I will take a like on the stream. Smally could be huge. Attack rating, life, resistances, even a bit of FHR. Take that. Seven minor. That ain't it. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. Oh, Shreya. Here you go, as promised. Oh, thank you so much. You're right. Kept, you're kept to your word. Honorable. Ever found... Deanne. Uh... I'm not sure what Deanne is. Full rejuve. <clears throat> got him. I knew it'd be something like that, but I don't think I don't think I got you the I don't think I gave you the layup, right? Because I meant to say, "What's DN?" I didn't say that. I didn't say, "What's DN?" I said, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's completely different. <laughs> There's different oomph. <laughs> you read it, that was enough. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> yeah. These ghosts are annoying. into physical. Great level though. Level 74. <clears throat> Let's go there. Almost capped the cyclone. Oh, we're gonna need it. We're gonna need telecharges this one. Go do that now. <clears throat> Why not play seven? We could play seven, yeah. It's something to, to consider for sure. Um, sometimes I just get a bit annoyed, you know, when I die. But some, sometimes I just like to do it e more easily than more efficiently. Yeah, but we definitely <clears throat> could go play seven. I mean, we do only need one more, so it's, you know. Bear summon animation so cool. Yeah, I love the bear. Good old Yorick. Dash Shroud's nice cell. Same with Chaos. 
P5. Yeah, P5 is a good. Uh, let's go P5. We'll see how we'll see how it feels on P5, and then we'll um, we'll reassess. <clears throat> if this is if this is feeling easy breezy cover girl, then we'll we'll crank it up again. Stash that. Stash that all on the floor. Stash that. Give me some more. Stash that. Oh. oh. What's up, Sippy? Welcome to the stream, dog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm not sure if it was you that commented it on it, Sippy, but one thing I'm gonna definitely start doing um, is like when there's a stream that's gonna be in two parts like this, on part one, I'll pin the comment of with the link to part two. It'll be in the pin comments. Yeah, probably should have started doing that a long time ago, but uh, better late than never. Oh my god. That fucking ghost man. Oh, he's so low. Let's see if we can salvage. Where is Bear? There he is. Too spooky for you? I know. I'm a P3 kind of guy. Ah, ah, give me that. This guy's just so annoying. Immune to physical. Yeah. You need a photo mark. Ah, it costs so much cash. <clears throat> so much cash money. We'll do. Oh. Two to elemental skills. So it would lose lightning res, minor after kill, energy, and the summoning ones. So I think it's actually, I actually prefer lore. Could be wrong, but I think I actually prefer lore. That didn't have much else good on it. Tornado is physical? I believe so. Yeah, and our hurricane's cold. But most of the damage is coming from the nados. The single player, yeah. Very single. Tell me about it. There we go, that's better. That's all those freaking ghosts. <clears throat> Law's much better, yeah. Confirmation. <laughs> Confirmation. Read a bone crossbow. <laughs> that sentence just got better and better. <laughs> the question is, are you single player? <laughs> nice. I might yonk that one. Oh yeah, true. Summoners the summoners of Broski. Yeah, that's right. The um sorcerer from Diablo One. True. What's up, Psycho? Does this have Comfy Frozen on it? I can never remember which one has Comfy Frozen. Still not bad. <clears throat> Life and Fire Res. Or is it the Sash with Comfy Frozen? question is if you know who the pally from D1 now is in D2Y. Uh, there's a pally in D1? What? 
All I know is like the rogue being Blood Raven, the summoner being the uh, sorcerer, and then the Dark Wanderer is like. Um... What am I thinking of? Yeah, the Dark Wanderer is the knight, right? Right? Should do another D1 stream soon. I really like that game. I've never gone beyond normal mode. What's up, dog? Welcome to the stream. Seven fault. You tried the Belzebub mode? Yeah, we tried it some quite a while ago, like six months ago or something. Yeah, played the Sorcerer in the Belzebub mod. It was cool, but I... Next time I play, I think I'm just gonna go... 87? Oh! 96 with 21 cold res? Farah, what the flip? God, she's packing! Jesus Christ! Are you kidding me? Holy! That's insane! God damn it, broskies. Wow. That's nutty, dog. That is nutty. Yeah. <laughs> Big. No, wait. Huge. <laughs> That's a glorious find, man. It's not even worth looking at belts anymore. We're never going to find one better than that. Holy smokes. What's up, uh, single malt? Welcome, welcome. Just in time for the best, the best item we've found this run so far, I reckon. Jesus Christ. 96 live, 21 cold rays. Ooh. The one time we check her too. The one time. I hadn't been checking. Let's continue to check, just in case there's more shenanigans. Insane belt for a run like this. Really insane. Imagine if that was lightning res. Oh, that would take this thing to the next level. But cold res is still really good. Have you considered Starfield? Um. Not for playing on stream. I don't think it's... I don't think it's the right game for me to play on stream. <clears throat> um, also, from what I hear, it might be one of those games that needs... You know, it might be a 6 or 7 out of 10 now. And might need a bit of time to turn into a 7 or 8 out of 10. But, you know, that's just... Everyone's got their different opinions on these sorts of things. Oh. I think Last Epoch is something that I would for sure consider trying next. Maybe after um, Season 5 settles down we could give Last Epoch a go. Papa safety. Papa safety. Thank you. <laughs> Aggressive safety. Uh, how many stats can a blue belt roll? I think just two, man. Yeah. Let's see. It's an RPG with items with stats and you have a PC for it. You can find cool things in vendors too. <clears throat> I mean, I think we'd have fun, but there are things that I would play before it, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like it's not high on the list of things that I really want to play right now. Yeah. But like, I think we would have fun playing it for sure. 
And I do like Fallout. Yeah, I really like Fallout, although I've only played one of them. The one that was before New Vegas. I think that that's a one. It's either Fallout 3 or Fallout 4. Um, and I really liked it. I loved it even. I had this gun called the Spray and Prey. So good. Machine gun, submachine gun, which fires bullets that exploded on impact. It was glorious. Oh, it was glorious. You should have seen me. You should have seen me. A B cheesing up a storm with my spray and pray. <laughs> That's such a mouthful. Spray and pray. <laughs> yeah. Should definitely check out Valheim. Yeah, Valheim would definitely be some something I'd be down to play on stream. Yeah. That could definitely work as well. That's a really good suggestion. Yeah, forgot about that game. I got a big new patch recently as well, right? Like maybe a couple months ago. Yeah. Nato. Stick him. Oh, the Nato's aren't hitting. That's so annoying. Ah, yes, there it is. A quick three H keys. Incredibly quick. Nice to just polish those off. <clears throat> Let's see. Come on, give the key to Schmack. Thank you. Thank you for manifesting that for us. One last snoop there. Okay, she's hoarding anything else absolutely insane. Volcano and Twister. Alright, now to bumble our way through Act 3. Everyone's favorite part of the stream. I don't think we need skulls. Let's sell these. Nope. Who wants a strap for Ubers? We are gonna tech into a werewolf and smack him in the face with the source of open wounds and crushing blow. And so the open wounds will stop the healing and the crushing woe will will deal the damage. Yeah. That's that's generally speaking the strat. <laughs> But I've also never done it before, so I have no idea how this is going to go. <laughs> I'd say 65% chance we pull it off. By the way, is this hardcore? <laughs> it's never hardcore unless you live hardcore. And I can tell you boys right now, I am definitely not living hardcore. Although I did... Oh, Scourge! Wait, Scourge! Could that? Could it be? Could that actually be Stormlash? No way that could be Stormlash. No way. No way. Surely that's not high enough item level. I've never found a Stormlash in my entire life. It's one of the six items I've never found. Could it actually be Stormlash? I need to know. I need to know. I don't actually know if it can be Stormlash from here. It can be? It could be. Bro, if this is how we find it, then this is insane. If this is how we find it, oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I've identified literally 20 scourges, all horizons. Oh, another horizon. Oh, what could have been? That could have been so huge. That could have been unbelievably huge. Oh, okay. Is it good? Nah. Nah. It's a bit of it's, it's a chunk of damage. That would have been so big. Like, I had never... Oh, man. If that was the way we found the Stormlash, 
Oh, because it, it's just nutty that I haven't found one yet. Like, it's so unlikely that I haven't found one yet. And I thought, oh, maybe this is a universe that was just, I wasn't ready for it yet, you know? Sometimes the universe doesn't give you things straight away. It, it waits until you're ready. You know what I mean? And I thought it was doing that, like some fucking playing 4D chess with me. But it turns out it was just the RNG gods freaking trolling me again. Again. Oh, classic. Wow. Unique Scourge. 18% magic find. <laughs> That's insane. It's insane we actually got that drop. Universe gives you every type of Shaco but a unique one, right? Exactly. Exactly. You're just not ready for it yet, bro. It's just waiting until you're ready. <laughs> That's so annoying to hear. <laughs> What, what you need to do, bro, is you just need to be grateful. You just got to practice gratitude, man. That, that's all it is. You just got to practice gratitude. You know, people have it a lot worse. <laughs> Number one on annoying things to hear. <laughs> my skip. Oh, true. Yeah, at least hopefully we get a my skip. No. We did get a my skip in normal mode, but I skipped the marsh skip. If you, uh, try and decipher that. I still went to marsh. <laughs> um, for a long time. Full sparking. Get those out of there. They have the same treasure card, so you can get bows from same monsters. Basically, just unlucky. Damn, dog. Because there's... There's two things, right? There's treasure class, and then there's, like... Quality or something. Like, that's the reason why... Kindle can't drop in a Rax. Because he's not high quality enough. So is there a difference there? I, by the sounds of it, it sounds like there's not. <clears throat> so, so I have just been getting super unlucky. That checks out. Damn it, it's good. Oh, it would have been so hot. Ooh, Marsh is there. So there's a possibility we could do... I mean, Flay could well be over here. Gonna step up the Pindle skin game to find Stormlash. Oh, I've identified like f at least five horizons from Pindle. So brutal. In that 10k runs, I identified at least five in that batch of 10k. Storm has a high quality, that's why it's harder. Yeah, I think it's like roughly one in five, right? I mean, for me it's zero in five. But I think it's roughly one in five. Allegedly. Okay, the same monsters can drop it. Okay, amazing. Yeah, so any any time you can get a unique scourge, it can be Stormlash. Okay. That's good to know, because I figured, honestly, I figured, because I haven't found one for so long, that, oh, oh, it must be just like, oh, the monsters where I'm getting the unique scourge can't can't roll it. Just because it was it's it's honestly so suspicious. How um how I haven't found one yet. It's like crazy. It's one in ten? Oh, okay. Really? One in ten? Hopefully we get Flayer through here. Yes! Alright, at least we got that. At least we got that. Ooh, Gem Trine too. 
Let's get another ruby. Oh, actually, maybe we don't go ruby. We go something to help complete the prismatic. So we've got ruby. We've got topaz. We've got sapphire. We've got emerald. We've got diamond. What do we need? Amethyst, maybe. So why don't we just do this? much as I love rubies. I think Amethyst is just this, the safe call here. What's the worst act in your opinion? My least favorite is act four. Easy act four. Just unfinished, you know? Hot take. I know, it's not Act 3. <laughs> I actually quite like Act 3. Especially when you can go straight to Flare. That's a good sell. Come on, give me a U. Give me an M. Give me an L. Give me an E. Give me an M. <laughs> Like that chant? I just came came up with that straight off the dome. Yeah, that's right. Quick. Act one and two are the best for you. Yeah, I mean act one and two are freaking iconic, hey. Eh? And like I love what I love about act two is like the atmosphere. Like the music is so atmospheric. And like, oh, the dural fight is just so good. Just so iconic, like going into that little chamber. Looking for bail. <laughs> so iconic, man. Him chasing you down, just smacking you in the face. It's just so good. The jungle is so cool. Why don't we do old graphics for a little while? Just to make your eyeballs bleed and then we can uh, switch back and then appreciate the glorious new D2R graphics. Oh man, this is so nostalgic. Just seeing the druids animations in old graphics. He's got such high shoulders, you know? He goes like this. <laughs> such high shoulders. What I used to love as a kid was... um, I used to love how if they're not wearing armor i think or if they're wearing like leather armor you got like yeah you got the bear the bear claw of shoulder pad i thought that was so cool like the coolest thing ever um all right is gibby just here should be right oh no we got waypoint Okay, one more minute. One more minute and we'll switch back. And oh boy, it's going to be so good. I just find it so hard to see the map and stuff. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Probably walked straight past it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, here it is. So this is... I think this has to be it, right? Because there's three rooms. Ace Blade we could want later. And I think we've already got the dead end one. We've already got the waypoint one, obviously. That's Gibby. Alright, switch back. Oh, how good does that look, boys? Oh, it looks incredible. So good. We're so lucky. How good was the remaster, man? Just so grateful that that happened. That could have so easily not happened. Um go. Let's ditch some of this stuff. Used to be terrified to fight Duril as a kid. Yeah. Yeah, I used to do it for my cousin, because my cousin could never beat Duril. Man. With with their summon necro. Like, alright, I'll do it for you. 
Ooh, 14 cold rays, nice. And Fizz Blade. Kind of want to keep that just in case we want something like that later on. Beautiful. That is everything we need for Prismatic minus the amulet. And we have a couple of telecharges there. So I think just blast through here is the play. God, wind is incredible. <laughs> this has been so smooth, smooth as wind. Next minute instantly dies. It's so nice for the playthrough. Uh, is this the one where we go down? No, it's the, I think it's the one where we go straight up. Either that, oh, there we go. Where are you? Let's telly back. Got 14 charges. Yeah, going well, um, Nicholas. Yeah, we've got... We're a while off, just because of gear. But we've got all of the H keys and we've got all of the T keys. But we don't have an Umrun or a Lemurun. And... We... We're just making our way to Nilly Dilly at the moment. So we're going to assess, you know, we're going to get these D keys. We're going to assess, see if we get any lucky rune drops or lucky gear drops. Um, see what we get at Forge. And then maybe, you know, we might have to fang a couple more Countess runs. We'll, we'll see how we go. And energy levels are doing well too. So that's, that's good because we're, we'll be 10 and a half hours into this dram. Oh, here are the drops. I'm at Forge, it's fate. I can't believe how unlucky we got with them, Tano. Like, there's three playthroughs in a row now. Haven't gotten um from, um, from farming Tiki's. I guess this this time we didn't need to do many Countess runs at all. Those Tiki's came, came unbelievably quickly. That was, that was kind of nutty. <clears throat> When you first played the remaster, you initially weren't impressed until you switched back. Yeah. When I first played the remaster, I was kind of... Because you're so used to the old ones. And just before remaster, I played so much Pluggy. Um, I remember thinking that the snakes look really weird. And I wasn't sold on the snakes. But now I love the way the snakes look. I think they look great. A gull to sacrifice? If we get another gull from Forge, I'm going to be... I'm going to be livid. I'm going to be so mad. And that's going straight to Chassis. Straight in the freaking bin. Unless there's something good we could make with it. We're done. I double check. I double check beforehand. Yeah, I think this is way better for, for the playthrough. But the question is, do we do Fissure for D keys? That is, we'll see how they go with wind. We could test it out with wind. If it's a bit sketch, then we, then we could try Fissure. Although we should probably, actually no, we should probably stick with wind actually, because if we want to go back to Countess, we'd need to be as wind. Yeah. Not think of that. Tornado range is good enough, okay. You've sold me. And I guess as wind, you max Cyclone. Like, Cyclone's 
really nice for Corpse Explosion, right? As in the Cyclone Armor. Um, let's go that, that, that. Okay, this magic ring. Yeah, not magic enough. It's not rock in my world. Like again, got good stuff on there, just the the rolls are so low. Fire damage blocks at least the the, the cyclone drops it blocks at least the, the fire damage of the goblin explosion. Yeah, exactly. And then maybe we can chuck on a bulwark for DR for the other portion. Although Nadir would also be another option. So we could hit him with Cloak of Shadows. Bulwark. Bulwark is kind of nice. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, let's kill this guy if it's not too, not too much trouble. Don't drop your loot over the moat, please. Thank you. What's up, Proxy? Welcome, man. Um, any good drops? Wait, we found something recently that was by far our best drop. Oh, yeah, we we shopped this from Fire. Live Cold Res Belt. Really nice. Really, really nice. And we also found Nat's Boots. Uh, Trang's Gloves are kind of nice for farming keys. Um, we haven't found any of the runes we're after, though. We really wanted a lamb and an armoron. We haven't snagged either of those, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Is D4 kaput already? Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's definitely people still playing it and enjoying it. Um, there aren't many people streaming it and watching it though oh ah hey okay, 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 okay. Oof. like for me personally i have more dopamine playing other games in the end game i do think it's possible they salvage d4 though just with time you know a bit like d3 just add more items to that end game Make it feel better. Did you get your armor? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, I think a lot of people are playing D3 right now. Because there's a new season of that. Oh, immune to physical. You all, no, just, just some of you. <laughs> Long wobbo. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Hit recovery frames. <laughs> god damn it. I shouldn't have cleared there. I should have just yeeted on out. Got the book and run. Alrighty. Let's see if we can salvage. Up, 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 up. Scroochin in the Nuchin. Yikes! What the flip is this type of Australian freaking tower? Oh, god damn. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. That temple is modeled after an Australian garage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just full of, full of funnel webs. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, pop a safety. Ah, 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 ah. Another safety. Jebate, jebate, jebate. Cyclone. Corpse book. Get out of here. Thanks. 
Not tamales, bro, bros. Please give me the freaking heebie jeebies. Oh, flawless. Few huntsmen's in there, mate. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> but more scary. <laughs> more deadly. <laughs> they hit hard, those dudes. Great save. Thank you, man. I've got a lot of practice at picking up my body. A lot of practice. <laughs> that was a bit sketch. Oh, this is a bit sketch. I like D4, just needs a couple dozen more unique items for the chase. Yeah, it's it's got potential. I, I'll absolutely give it that. And I'll keep checking in each season, each patch. Um, as long as I'm having fun doing so. <clears throat> What's the armor? We've got stealth. Yep. We're wearing right now. Probably stick with it for a while, right up until the um, until the gear switch for Ubers. Unless something crazy happens. Stop playing it, but we definitely be back for season two. Yeah, I'll see what's it. I'll definitely check it out for season two. Vampire season, baby. Let's clear these bros out. You, you're annoying. Oh, come on, don't lure the others, don't lure the others, don't lure the others. Yeah, that'll do. You can go, pop a safety. Ah, oh my god. Lebby, if you want to just go down, that'll be great. Thank you. Nice pick off there. Did we get? Yeah, we did. Oh, every time I see that rune color, I just get a glimmer of hope that it's uh, a rune that we need. A rune that my heart so desperately desires. But alas. Thwarted once again by... By an L rune. Whoa. Okay. Got a good pick off. Kind of want to pick off these little guys first. And... Should probably go get some potions. Ooh, good damage there. Great damage. That Nova's gonna kill me. Ooh. You. Okay, okay. I got too greedy. <laughs> I got too greedy. <laughs> Trying to take on the council with no healing potions. Probably deserved that one. <laughs> oh, feels good being soft, boys. That is never a... That's not a sentence I ever thought I'd say. All right, Scrooge, thank you. Um. Oh, that guy's annoying me. I'm just gonna hit the thing. I'm just gonna hit the thing. He's annoying me. This is fine, yeah. <laughs> Don't get complacent now, schmug. Those chains of death, that's... I just kind of like drift off for a little bit and then I just like die heaps for no reason. And then 
I just get really frustrated. So I just gotta nip that in the butt when I see that. Can sense that happening, you know what I mean? Just dial back in. Ooh, soul rune. Alright. Don't need to kill that last little broski. Just gotta keep swimming. Smack him in the lamb, yeah. <laughs> oh, I need a lamb rune so bad. He <laughs> hit you in the lamb, yeah. <laughs> if only, if only we had a lamb to hit. Don't tease me like that. <clears throat> That's a possibility we do a couple of Mephi Boy runs. It's a possibility, so we probably want to find Waypoint here. Not a hundred percent. I mean, why why would we? In what why would we actually? I mean we have it anyway. We probably wouldn't. We'd always run Countess over Math. Farm Math for Arax. Oof, I mean, if one dropped the first run, that would be awesome. Yeah. That would be unreal. But I don't even know if we'd if we use Arax for actual Ubers. We, l we love the life on this belt. Can't stop the OMAC. Wait, we got a new OMAC in here. Are they one and the same or are you, are you guys different? Are you guys like evil twins or something? You'd run a string of ears. Yeah, string of ears would be really useful. Yeah. Yeah, the DR would, would come in handy for sure. Especially for miners. Especially for miners. Um... Do we have an ore available? Yes. Like a raven frost would be really nice. A dwarf star would be really nice. A Maris would be sweet. If Mev just wanted to, you know, sort your boy out with a Maris. <laughs> Gore Riders would be insane. Gore Riders would be off the Chizang. If we got Gauze or Goblin Toe, we wouldn't need the Amarun. That would be nuts if we found one of those. And the drop odds are probably like... 1 in 100 for Goblin Toes and like 1 in 200 for Gore Riders. With Quest Mephi here. Although we only have 18% magic fine, so maybe a bit less. Oh, Dust Shroud, Scarab House. I mean, lots of stuff to sell. At the very least. I need a key. Yeah, Dungos would be amazing. Yeah. Mephi's been nice to you before, yeah. I got a lot of comments on uh, my latest video, like the gearing up an Amazon in 24 hours, being like, I don't believe this, you know? <laughs> Must be hacking. <laughs> Unrealistic drops. Seems suspicious, you know? But I guess, like, the thing is, it's just kind of like, you play enough, and eventually you get lucky, you know what I mean? And that is the second time we filmed that. Like, the reason why I didn't make a video from the first time was one, because we didn't get enough good drops, and two, because I just didn't like the footage, so... <sighs> Alright. Izzy, let's go. Just got home from work and you're still here? Yep. 
We're in for the long haul today. In for the long haul today. Because this is, um... Druid's the hardest... Will be the hardest that I've ever done Ubers with. Hey, Schmuck, break a leg. Thank you, man. <laughs> We're gonna need some luck, so thank you. But not yours. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, I know that was a compliment, but it kind of doesn't sound like a compliment, like over text, <laughs> you know, break a leg. It's just like, <laughs> it just sounds weird. Yeah, we'll break, uh, we'll break, uh, I was going to say one of Duriel's, but that wouldn't exactly work. One of Lilith's. Salvage. Can you let me collect my Scrooge, please? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jeez, these guys are tough. I think we just run past them. It's just not worth the time. Let's hunt for Izzy. Okay. And we got those bros. Delightful. Delightful, delightful, delightful. Okay, so there is the next area. So, where is that fool? Good stuff. Oh, here he is. What's up, champ? That's double champ! <laughs> Oh crap! Okay, I should probably get that amp off. Oh, it's off. Nice. And let's clear the clear the area. Clear the masses, if you will. And smack him in the lamp. Oh, that's a good tornado line there. I feel like we hit them all with that. Oh, what are this? Is this like Blood Moon or something? X5, Blood Moon, Gin Slayer? Lightning Absorb. Attack rating against demons adds fire damage. It's a lot of strength requirement. The Lightning Absorb is pretty cute for Mephisto. That is pretty cute. I still don't think we use, but it's a cool find. Jassy. <laughs> now we'll stash it just in case. In case there's ever a situation where we want a weapon that actually does damage. find that waypoint. Wolf and the Ubers? Exactly. That's the plan. Wolfing them down. Wolfing them down for breakfast. As a wolf. A werewolf. Would you consider Paladin run? Yeah, the first two one to Ubers we ever did were Pally. Yeah, we did it once on Softcore where we actually found an Umrune in Nightmare Mode in um the crystalline passage um and then we did it on hardcore after that after we did it on hardcore is one of the most accomplished i've ever felt in my life i felt so i was riding such a high after that because it was so cool because like i we did that it took like it took something insane, because I was so slow, like 24 hours, like literally almost that long. And, because I was like farming in Nightmare and just stupid stuff, you know? And then after we did it, then I like napped for like an hour or something, and then went to see some friends from high school, and I just 
remember everything was like the best because it's like oh yes we did it we did the mission and then i was gonna go have a pint with like friends that i was really excited to see and i was just like i was riding such a high you know <laughs> and then it all came crashing down the next day but for that moment that fleeting moment i shouldn't have used that regime you should have saved that oh that's this guy's immune to physical let's ignore Can Immortal Kings Bob do Ubers? I'm sure you could find a way. I'm sure you could find a way. Alright, alright, alright. Probably with Life Tap Wand, yeah. And if you if you dealt with the minions, like with Nadir and trapping them. I'm sure you'd be able to do it. Oh, bros. Wait, we didn't go to Izzy. Let's get those skills. And then let's see what the RNG gods have in store for us with the Amarud. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> with the forge, I mean. You should do it, Schmack. I mean, a one to Ubers as a barbarian, the idea of doing that is tantalizing to me. That's honestly tantalizing. It would be hella long. Like, it might be like a 30 hour stream. But, oh, that feeling, if we were able to pull it off, like that, that feeling for that moment that you get it would be, that would be so good. It'd be so worth it, you know? Just for even 20 minutes of that feeling. You're a giga chat if you finish before Gano. Bro. Come on, be realistic here. <laughs> I ain't no speedrunner, I'm just a schmuck. Oh, I'm here to physical. What, what are you doing? How much does our um, hurricane do? Not enough. Let's go get, uh, oh, let's go get waypoint. Maybe, maybe. Let's not, let's not do that. <laughs> let's make a new game because he was immune to physical. So we had to make a new game anyway. That was our plan all along. Oh, we're close to a level. Should probably stop dying. What do you mean? This is hardcore. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Red Dim, stop dying. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think we're dying enough, actually. I feel like the problem is we need to die more. Let me work on that. Let me work on that and get back to you. Yeep. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Let me out. Okay, god damn it. Those freaking... Guys, now I know how. Now I know how Mephisto feels when you harmony, when you harmony cheese him. Jesus, I hit so hard. Imagine just rolling up with an army of twenty Orduas. It puts things into perspective. All right, please not physical immune. Okay, just immune to cold. Great, that's fine. We can at least work with that. Gotta clear these fatties. You are incredibly buff. Um. That one's not worth. It's not worth our time, that one. Better just re-roll. Let us out. Yeah, the barbs. <laughs> Help us. <laughs> they do say let us, don't they? Hopefully not an abysmal roll this time. Yeah. 
Skip. What? God damn it. Okay, cleared a few there. A few more. Oh, finally. All of this for him to be physical immune. Wow, the might. They hit so hard with the might. Oh, he's immune to physical. I said it as a joke. <laughs> yeah! Remember, when you're losing your cool, it's okay if things are slow, because at least you're gaining level, schmuck. Oh, maintain your composure. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> On all of these ones where he's been physical immune, I bet the Umrun would have dropped. <laughs> oh no. They would have been the ones with the Umrun. I know it. I should check earlier on. Okay, there we go. Cold and lightning. Okay, the lightning is kind of sketch. And by kind of sketch, I clearly mean very sketch. <sighs> At least we can do this one. He doesn't have any freaking annoying fatties around him. Just these annoying bros. Clear these grotesques. Oh, and is he for Nat as well? Oh my god, he is. Oh god, he hits hard. Jesus Christ. I shall make weapons from your bones. Such a baller line, isn't it? Grotesque. Nice. <laughs> Jeez, this is more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> I just want to fully clear these annoying bros. So we got room to move. Nice, got a grotesque down. Ah, no! Okay, don't have any safeties left. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. God damn it. <laughs> that wasn't a good one. <laughs> it was fanaticism. It was fanaticism and lightning enchanted. Let's, let's try that again. <laughs> just actively losing experience. You just made an axe out of your bones. Yeah, he probably wouldn't even use my brittle little bones. It's like not even worth him making a weapon from it. So weak. So fragile. So frail. Um, okay. Let's check first. Some of these dudes. And annoying broskies. Okay, there we go. He's got nothing. You are nothing. Thank the high heavens. Right, cleared some pits. NATO's hitting. Good, good, good. Just got amp on, that's all. Ah, uh, beautiful. My bugged invisible bear. Perfect. Working, working as intended. All right, let's clear out a bit. Beep. Uh, 
And I'm almost dead. Gull incoming. If we get a gull, we are sacrificing that. 100% sacrifice. Unless we can actually use it. But I feel like that has to be sacrificed to Chassis if we get a gull. To the RNG gods. Just in case they exist, you know. Just to kind of tilt all available odds in our favor. Okay. All right. Please, 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 please. Just something useful, man. Lem Umpal. Basically, Lem Umpal. Lem Umpal. Lem Umpal. Lem Umpal. Come on. Come on. Palrune! Yes! 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 Palrune is half of an Umrune. Yes! That's really good. 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 That makes the Umrune so much more achievable. Like, that's... That's massive. Yes. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's totally worth. Yes. Nice. Now we can... We can definitely get that duress. Yeah. We're just going to have to farm Countess a bit. Yeah. Nice. Really good. Oh, man. Oh, God. Pulled my neck there a bit. <laughs> Got to chillax on celebrating Pal Runes, eh, boys? But it's the context. It's the context which makes that Pal Rune so beautiful. You know? It's all about context. Yes. That's great. That's ri- It's- Oh. Honestly, that Pal Rune, just within the context of our challenge, is massive. That feels better than finding a, a Vex Rune. Actually, that might be a bit of a stretch. It feels better than finding a Gull Rune, for sure. I would have been so salty if we found a Gull. So achievable now. Exactly, right? Because, ah, yeah, so achievable. I mean, I guess the the only thing is, like, it to cube up to another pull, we'd have to use lambs, and we want our lambs. But at the very least, it means we don't have to find a exactly an arm from Countess. You know, we could just find a pull, like literally double the amount of drops that it could be. Got treachery already? No, we haven't. We ha we didn't have anything. We got the tiki's so fast, like insanely fast, that uh, we really didn't pick up any runes from um, from Countess. Just a couple of co runes. Oh, flawless ruby, nice. Um, so I don't think it matters which way we go and forge because we can deal with everything. I mean, in in chaos. I just have to be cognizant in 55 minutes we'll have to do the stream split. It's for the VOD. Ah, oh, yes, I'm so happy about that pull. I feel like we got scrooched in the nooch the past six times we've done forge, you know? Well, the past four times we did Nightmare and Hell forge. Well, five times. We got screwed in Nightmare as well. So five out of five times in the past two runs, three runs inc including this, we've just got freaking scrooged. But a Pull Rune is excellent. 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 Grand Vizar minions can drop something huge. You call it it? I love the early call. Wait, did we do... That would have been his body there, right? Yeah. Diablo will drop a rune. Care to elaborate? Care to be more specific? Are you feeling bold enough? Or is that not how your, your inner sight works? Oh. Come on, schmuck. Okay, dial it back in. We got the Pile Rune, which is great, but need to Hocus Pocus for Chaos. Pretty dicey area, bro. Okay, get that, get that. Man, these guys are just so freaking gnarly with the amp damage. 
Okay, good pickoffs there. Good pickoffs there. Great potion supply. Yes, really good. Oh, I'm so happy about that pile. I'm actually so happy about that. That just makes things so much... It just makes things feel like they're so much more achievable, you know? It's brought it from, like, something really far away to something like, oh, this is close, you know? It's within our sight. It's within our grasp now. Oh, it feels so good. I wish, I wish I could share this feeling with you dudes. It's a good feeling. Okay. So th these, these dudes are going to drop something good, you're saying, hey? Permavan if they don't. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Ooh. Wait. What's this? It's like night smoke or something? Yeah. All rares, mana. Damage taken goes to mana. Does that count? <laughs> the Ores is kind of cute, but I much prefer our belt. Are you playing offline? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Ooh! Love to do these challenges offline. Just so much more fun for me to do these off offline. String would have been better. Oh, 100%. Dungos would have been better, better. Yeesh, that was sketch. <laughs> Just regroup for the last, the last seal. Uh, do you think the green dream is a good way for your animal to go? Uh, I think if you're talking in the sense of, you know, humane euthanasia, and I do think that's a very hum humane way. Um, it's not, it's not a painful experience. As long as everything goes as intended. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. As far as things go, yeah. And sorry that you're um in a situation where you're. Considering that sort of stuff, man, that sucks. It really sucks. So many jams. We've got so many blood gloves rerolls. We've got heaps. So hopefully we get one with like either good res life, good life, or I think they all come with life, right? Like ten to twenty or something. Or get good high on the crushing blow. Um, I Schmuck, why don't you play Project Diablo 2? More interesting for newcomers to the mod like me. Um, a lot of people ask that. <laughs> yeah, I did say it on the last Project Diablo 2 stream. But it was right at the end, so maybe people missed it. But... Uh, I was going to um, put a pause on it until the new season, which is on the 22nd, right? But uh, full disclosure, I don't think, at least at this point in time, it will ever become my main way of playing Diablo. It'll more be like, I'll play it for a couple of weeks every new season. But, you know, who knows? The power of the Worldstone Shard Slam is pretty strong. <laughs> it does feel glorious slamming things. Fun second game to mess around with. Yeah, it's nice to have stuff to bounce off. Really nice. Makes you appreciate everything more when you're there. Oop! Like, it means I have more fun playing D2R and more fun playing Project Diablo.
Uh, you ever think about playing Grim Dawn or Last Epoch? Last Epoch, definitely. Um, Grim Dawn, possibly. But yeah, we'll definitely play Last Epoch at some point in time. When the... When the timing feels right, basically. Shh. Will probably be after Season 5 of D2R settles down. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Shock you aren't rocking a three toe baz out. <laughs> I know. I am a. Uh, I'm a traitor to the magic finding cult. The cult that I uh, cultivated. I think just. Just getting through it smoothly is more important to me right now. Just getting through it smoothly. Oh wait, we can we can stand there, can't we? Stand and bang, baby! Oh That's no good. That's Pally skills, right? Yeah. Damn. What are you making first for ladder? Obviously, German I'll use it for sure. Uh, I don't know what about first, but I really want to get a Bowers on online. But I don't know if that will be the first character. We'll see. Could could be Javazon, Javazon into Bowazon once we have the wealth to to get the. The good boas on stuff or decent boas on stuff. Yeah. Oh. Tweaked my back a bit during that celebration. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> well, let me see if I can just crank this a little bit. No, that's okay. Maybe. Here. Gotta fiddle with the settings a little bit just because we started streaming when it was daytime. And it's not quite daytime anymore. There we go, that should be fine, I think. Beautiful. Alright. Slip disc over a pull. <laughs> Pulled back. Nice. That's the call. <laughs> That's the call. <laughs> yeah, I should really just sort out this injury. I, I know it's silly, but I'm kind of hoping that running magically fi fixes it. It's been just lingering around for uh, a year and a half now. But it's just like it's not bad enough to kind of like go go to a physio, you know. <laughs> it's it's I can just come I can live with it, you know. <laughs> Dustin, what'd you get from Forge? We got a pal rune. Yeah, so I'm really hope stoked with a pal rune. Because pal rune's half an arm rune. So I'm very, very happy with pal. What'd you miss? You missed a pal rune from Forge, Philip. Yeah. And the other really big hit is we got this glorious belt from Faro. A really nice belt. Oh, we're dead. Sorry. Probably should have been <laughs> paying attention <laughs> while we were surrounded by enemies. <laughs> but did you see how glorious the belt was? <laughs> Incredible belt. Look at that beauty. 96 life, 21 cold res. Insane. All right, do we have tele charges to get over there? That should be fine. So fetch. I know. Freaking Gucci. Yeah, we're still going, Vinny. It's gonna be a long one, man. We're in for a long haul here. 
we're, go we're going for a world record of the longest speed run in D2R history. Yep. <clears throat> There's got to be a category for that, right? Surely. Cryptic Axe. Oh, Rob, thank you so much, man. Said everyone before the issues became chronic, I know. I think after a year and a half, the issue already is chronic, Rob. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, I'm dead again. <laughs> okay, boys. <laughs> I just gotta dial in for two minutes. <laughs> we just gotta get frigid waypoint and then we'll be golden. And yes, I am blaming you guys. Yep. I'm throwing you straight under the bus. This has nothing... This is not a skill issue at all. Um... Okay, someone's at the door. Two seconds, dudes. All right, bros, I'm back. I'm a hero, yet again. <laughs> I get so scared whenever, I, whenever someone knocks at the door. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Is someone gonna complain about me yelling at my computer? Um, but just another, just another spider removal. Ain't no problem. I'm a hero. Ooh, three to summoning skills. He wasn't the police. It was a big spider, that one. It was a, that, this one was more speedy than the last one. The last one was kind of chill. It was kind of half dead. But this one, it had to be real quick, you know? But I was more prepared. It caught me less off guard. She's planting him. I honestly thought she had moved out. Because, like... It, it was like months ago, was the last spider. If it's not a power, go away. <laughs> yeah, that'll be an Umruna's payment, please. <laughs> You're gonna call Smider Smoke? <laughs> and getting, getting to the point where we're gonna need a spider emoji. Ah, but boys. Boys, 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 boys. Feels good to be useful. Let me tell you that much.
You're the man, exactly. I'm the man. I'm the man. I got rid of the spider. I'm the man. <laughs> Who's the man? I'm the man. Ooh, yeah. Feel good. Feel good, man. <laughs> All right, let's try not to die again. Seven telecharges left. Was it like one of those deadly funnel webs? The first spider was actually really scary looking. The first spider was like a scary looking spider. This one was just a huntsman, but uh, it was it was a really quick one. You know how some are real, sometimes they're real chill and they just don't move at all? This one was a speedy little fucker, you know? But I got him. I got him. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Just heard you through the wall saying you're the man. <laughs> you probably could have. <laughs> oh well. She's heard me say about just about everything, you know. Probably less embarrassing that than screaming about pulverids, you know. <laughs> Ooh, death mask. Good sell, at least. Sell that. Is she hot? <clears throat> you, you just always want to know, don't you? You know, if I was on the other end and the roles were reversed and it was a streamer talking about the exact same situation, like, that's all I would want to know. <laughs> I wonder why that is. <laughs> is she hot butt? <laughs> uh, hope, hopefully she didn't hear me say that. No, I think she's, yeah, she's, 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 she's pretty. She's just not my, not my jam really. <clears throat> we always want to know. <laughs> just an innate, innate curiosity. I remember IDing so loud after IDing a 5 5 fast that your dog was boring. Yeah, like comes in and checks on you and stuff. <laughs> What's going on? Who do I need to bark at? Uh, what's that, Mark? Welcome to the stream, man. We're just um, chipping our way through. Oh, we don't actually have much of the, the story to go at all. Oh, wait, we need a repair. I yeah, just got to save Anya. Then farm the D-keys. Then do a couple more Countess runs. Hopefully a couple. We need a Lem and a Puller and Arm. And then we're good to go. And here it is. Mark's spoken for, Anya's, Anya's waiting. Yeah, waifu. Anya's more my type. You know, pixelated. Actually gives you 10 all rares. Ooh. Is that the last ones? Yeah. The ore rune from that is just kind of useful. Tyler. <laughs> Thank you for reading between the lines. That's exactly where I was going with it. All right, Threshy boy. Some Jitos. Oh, imagine Gauze. Jitos, Gauze, Lem Rune, Pal Rune, Um Rune, Dungo, String of Ears, Maras, Kiras. Stormlash. So many good things you could drop us. So many freaking good things we could get from this. Come on, Threshy boy. Come on, baby. Be good to me. After all, I am the man. 
Come on, Threshy. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Come on. Oh. No respect for the Spider King. Absolutely no respect. Best you can do is full reach you. <laughs> I'll raise you one for Dungos. Counter offer. One minor rejuvi. A <laughs> mighty good man. <laughs> okay, I would be so embarrassed, but I also kind of hope because I can appreciate how funny it is <laughs> if she was in the apartment hearing me being like, I'm the man. <laughs> like, that's just objectively funny. <laughs> so embarrassing. I can see the humor. Oh, sweet. Right here. Nice fool. All right, so this one, is this the one where you go up? Like it's not the across one, it's the up one. And there's like a jump. Okay, maybe there's not. It's just really short. Snakes. I hate snakes. <laughs> I know that, Arion. I was hoping no one would pick up on that. <laughs> it's Marla that gives you the 10 all res. <laughs> I just, after I said it, I promptly moved past it. And I have no TP charges. Oh dear. At least I don't think we did. <clears throat> Got those. Pop it. Oh, God. I think this is time for a tacky, boys. Yep, time for a tacky. Yikes. Oh, no TP's left. Sweet. Well, let's clear then. Sorry, my head's somewhere else. Exactly what Proxy said. <laughs> I'm the man. <laughs> Alright, let's kill this guy, get our revenge. Goddamn Frozenstein. Made a fool out of me. I'm the only one that's still allowed to do that. Oh, Mala, cutie, with the 10 all res. Thank you, baby. Speaking my language. One to summoning. Nope. All right. Now, keys. We gotta find nilly dilly good map. Or just the nilly dilly waypoints. Sorry, just flick the mic there. And then will probably be a good idea to do the cut in the stream so the VOD is preserved. Once we're ready to go for the D keys. Ah, let's put that up there. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Lord. All the miners pop a safety drop the D. Exactly. 
Could not have said it better myself. Oh, Rejuvi is nice. Should have pretty good Rejuvi density. Okay, so I think triangle means it's not down there. And by triangle, I mean V-shape. So it's either up or to the left. I think. Not here. Oh, what? Does it keep going down? Oh! And we're dead. <laughs> Scrooged in thy nooch. You actually come here to farm armor or weapon racks while grinding keys? Really? This is one of the places that I just blast through. I, uh. Yeah, I really hate, uh. What are they called? Halls of Vort and stuff like that. Like one of my most hated places in the game. <laughs> the enemies are so brutal. <laughs> and I don't know the layout. Like I just know very rudimentarily. Let's skip that. These guys annoy me. The beetles, the freaking charging guys. Ah, there it is. Ah, thank God. Death counter? It's high. Death counter is pretty high. I'm gonna be honest. For once in my miserable life, I'm gonna be honest with you. Would probably be like 20 deaths. 39? Come on, Ryan! Throw me a bone! Throw me a bone. I can tell you someone whose death counter is on at least once, though. That freaking spiders. So do we just get in here and do this? Oh sweet, that's actually kind of easy. I feel like that was a good layout for it though, this one. Fifty-five attack rating, that's incredible actually. On a largey. That's a high roll. Sweet. Alright, bros. Because the VOD's cut off at 11 hours and 55 minutes. In order to preserve the VOD, what I'm going to do is stop this stream here and start another stream so we can farm the Dickies, get the arm, get the lamb, pulse slash lamb, then we do Ubers. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, one, two, three, plan. So I hope to see you on the next stream. If you're watching the VOD, I will link the next bit in the pinned comments down below. How's that for forethought? Thinking of future schmuck. Thinking of schmuck in the future in VOD format. I'm 11 steps ahead, baby. Alright, see you in the next stream.